Hey guys, Fear back again with another VOD from Twitch. Uh, this is for the 16th of January 2022. It's a Sunday, so we did lots of transmog hunting and I finally moved on to all 12 classes rather than just the mage. Um, we spoke about so many different things, like holy cow, I, I don't even honestly remember. Just like little bits and pieces here and there, as per usual, just a, a chatty stream. We didn't linger super duper long on any one particular topic, I don't think. But I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. I will see you live 4pm Australian Eastern Standard Time on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday over at www.twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. It's F -I -A -M, M for March A. And that's about it. I hope you enjoy the VOD. Bye. Hello. Greetings. Hope everyone is well today. I reckon I'm gonna start the stream with some painkillers. Which is the this is the open end. Good. What are my quests for today? Uh oh, Templars. I'm gonna place Templars first because they're on the super long cooldown. There we go. Place your units. Let's get going. Uh, where's my ATT? Right, so we have, where's my spreadsheet? So first thing we're doing today is working on... I need to refresh. Oh, I've got it open in two windows. <laughs> Go me. Um, right, all... Okay, what we need to start with is getting Fear all of her dungeons and raids over 70%. We're not far. However, I did notice a couple of numbers have changed in the latest update. I had a couple numbers change, so that's interesting. There was an ATT update in the last week, or longer than that, but I didn't update it because I'm... Look, I forget all the time. Uh... <laughs> And Nomragon's number changed. It was like 69 something, and now it's flat 60%. So something has changed, and I'm not sure what. Almost like none of my settings have changed, but something has changed. But that's okay. Nomragon is still, unfortunately, my lowest percentage. So we're going to go there. But the easiest way to get there is taking the pet battle portal. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Because I don't have to fight through all of the Alliance people who are trying to kill me. And succeeding, because they're all like level 60. Oh my god, please, just. These are the worst. The the painkillers, there's like a new covering that they put on them. Where it's foil, but there's also like a really thin layer of plastic. It's almost like a layer of cling film, as well as the plastic, as well as the foil. And it's supposed to be like more secure and more durable, but it's so much more difficult to pop them out. And the first pack I ever had them on was, um, I actually grabbed a pack of Panadol that was supposed to be, and I know painkillers don't actually work like this, but, um, it was supposed to be targeted for arthritis, right? Um, one that was specifically for arthritis because, for those of you who don't know, the autoimmune condition that I have causes, um, it was cirrhotic arthritis. Um, so my knee is fucked permanently, but that's fine. It is what it is. We just, we pick up and we handle it. Um, and so back when I was first diagnosed, I picked up a few packs of this painkiller that was like targeted for arthritis because my knee sucked. And, um, and I went to pop them and I'm like, can you imagine if someone had fucking rheumatoid arthritis in their fingers and doing literally anything was hella fucking painful and they make it harder to pop them out? Like... Good lord. Fucking Jesus. But I guess people who legitimately have trouble with, like, blister packs and stuff, I would assume that they would see their doctor to get scripts for painkillers that come in more easily openable packets and not blister packs. Because that shit would suck um, if you couldn't move your fingers properly. So, no more gone. No more gone. It says here that when- now it's changed again! Wait, what the fuck? Now it says 9 of 13 again. In. Oh, fucking Jesus. And now it's 69. Po Literally, I was logged in two hours ago updating all my numbers and it's changed. I have not fucking. For the Alliance! I don't understand. In the slightest. Whatever. That's fine. 
Now it says Alderman's my lowest. Fuck that, we're doing Nomragon. Uh, alright. Uh, in fact, where's Alderman? I reckon that that one's probably different as well. Yep, it says 14 out of 21 here, and it's 12 of 18 in here. Okay, well that's the same number anyway. Ugh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's do this. Right, let me catch up on chat now that I've had my, my afternoon rant. Um, yeah, so I had a couple of, I don't know what happened exactly. It wasn't an internet dropout because everything else was working just fine, but OBS balked and, uh, it told me that my st my stream key was wrong, which is real fucking funny because I don't use a stream key in OBS. Like, so, so when you're, if you're a creator on Twitch, there are a couple of ways that you can send it through to your specific page. Um... So, you know, when I hit go and it sends it to Twitch, it's like, which fucking URL do I send this fucking image to? Um, and the... Um, do I still have this quest in my... I don't. I abandoned it. It's fine. Um, so everyone gets in a unique uh, stream key and you can, re you can refresh that stream key at any point. You can just jump in there and, like, generate a new one, please, and it will. And it's perfectly fine. Um, but I don't need Grubbus, do I? Can I just skip Grubbus? Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna, because I don't need anything, and I don't think it's a necessary boss. The only one that's necessary is Mechjanir Thermoflux, so that's fine. But I do need the, vis the viscous fallout, which is this one. Um, yeah, and I'm like, but, I don't, but then the other thing is you can actually just log in with your Twitch account in your, um, in your, in your broadcasting software. So that's another option there. I just, I thought it was hilarious that it's like, your Steam, your stream key is wrong. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> um, and it seemed like something had timed out in the bot as well. So I just kind of did a little refresh there. So apologies. It is a thing. Uh, where? The fuck am I going? So Holy Gears was upstairs. Now I'm at the dormitory, which I've just killed this one. I don't need Electrocutioner 6000. There's the launch bay that has Crab Pummeler, but I don't need him either. And then Tinker's Court, which has Mechjanir Thermoplug. How do I get Engineer? Oh, that's how. <laughs> oh, there's a toy. Okay. 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 Um, isn't that the one that I couldn't... Solo. Spawn his health scales to max level. Pretty sure that's the one you can't solo. We're gonna find out though. We're gonna find out. But there's also the quest in here that I need to pick up. So maybe I should do this. No. I always get lost here. Defeated Grubbus. We don't care about Grubbus. We've defeated... Let's guess what's it. There we go. Cool. Alright. Um. It was fear. No, yeah, it was indeed. It was indeed. It was me restarting the bot. Where's my Prime logo showing here? Uh, good question. You can check your, um, if you have a look at your, uh, like, settings underneath chat, you can customize your appearance. Um, maybe it just kind of flipped back to default. Good afternoon, Seeker. Hello, everybody. Uh, Yori has grabbed last, Zam grabbed first, and Squalotron here might as well. Indeed. Indeed, Seeker grabbed second, Squalotron a little late to the party, just a touch. Just a touch. And third for dupe, even though they were second. Uh, Nova with Thread, hello. <laughs> X with 69th and a boogie. And all of the fucking hydrates. Yeah, I'll get there. I'll get there. Um, Gilded Prowler. Gilded Prowler. Need to take. No, fuck. God, I'm an idiot. Oh, 
Oh, goodness gracious me. Uh, wasn't there a chat badge based on the number of gifted subs we'd gifted? Yes. There should be. Yours has gone missing. That's odd. I don't think they expire. Yeah, you check the... I mean, it looks like Dupe has checked the chat identity thing because Dupe's one then switched to the cheer badge. But, um... On the way to work, enjoy. Does it reset? I don't think so. I don't think it should. I'm really confused. Right, okay, this is, this is, this is the, the G team. This is where I picked this up. Mm, drugs, yeah. Nice to meet you. Right. Yep. Uh, did you give me some... Thank you. Thanks, starting with painkillers doesn't bode well. Well, I've been trying to hold off on it all day, and so the headache is still here, so I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Let's just kind of... Let's deactivate that <laughs> so I can get through stream like with energy and shit. I try not to take painkillers if I don't have to, um, but sometimes you have to. Um. Where are we going? Uh, this way, okay. Um, good afternoon, months. You know more content in this economy, I know, right? I know. Be the last to defend never gone for further looting. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, when are people with severe arthritis with those plus effects? The child safety locks on bottles, they don't. They can't. Like, they legitimately cannot. Um, I think usually the idea is that you see your medical professional or your specialist or whatever, and they end up getting you, like, what you need, but in a e more easily handled bottle type deal, I think. The laundry head sitting. Oh, brilliant. Well done. Well done. Yeah, my room never feels clean and tidy because there's just so much stuff. Um, not, not like clutter or whatever. There's just, like, there is so much furniture in my room and there is so little floor space that it just never feels clean. Um, but... You know, there's nowhere else I can stream. There's nowhere else I can put any of the stuff. So it is what it is. Um, yes. Uh, okay. And now we go all the way, rest of the way around. Oh, the next year, the depression, next year, to function. My clothes are now done. Feels good. I'm glad. Like, Ophelia isn't happy about her afternoon <laughs> rent. I wouldn't go that far. It's just that when I start talking, I often don't stop for a little while. Um, because I have lots to say sometimes. Hey, Kim, how you going? Chunky is wrong because it didn't exist, I guess. OBS be old sometimes. It, it do. It do, Keggy. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you might make up today. Is it Ban Lu just to get it started? It is not Ban Lu. Uh, but thank you. I'm glad you like it. I, when I put it all on, I like looked at my face and went, ah, fuck, I look weird. <laughs> um, there are, there are some parts of it that I really like and other parts where I'm like, I just look like I have some kind of eye infection or am dead. Um, so I'm glad you guys like it. I'm glad it shows nicely on camera. But yeah, I, uh, mm, the colors are interesting. So, um, this one, I do own it. Um, it does not fly. The, the colors we have are like a, like a pale blue aqua aqua blue it's really hard to describe kind of color in in my crease like up next to my eyebrow and stuff and then there's like a super 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 dark brown borderline black but it is it is brown um on my outer corner there then there's the purple in the middle like a like a red like a quite a pink purple um in the middle of my lid and then a uh it's really tricky to see on camera, but just under here is like a green olive kind of shade, which probably narrows it down a shitload for a whole lot of people, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> and then I've got a, like a yellowy, pale yellowy sort of color um, in just a little bit in the middle here, just to kind of brighten the whole thing up. And because of course it is a color that is represented in the mount that I am wearing. Yeah, that's it. Um, 
Next is required. Power sometimes washing builds up. It's a thing. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It is definitely a thing. Um, the only, like, the only reason washing doesn't build up here, like, if I, I could wash my clothes probably once a month and still have enough clothes to, like, wear day to day. Um, because, I mean, it's all got holes in it, as you know, as you all well know, but I could get away with it. Jas, on the other hand, cannot. He has very, very, very few clothes, and if I, if I skip one week of washing, if I miss one week of washing, he runs out of underpants. <laughs> so I have to do it every week, and I have to, like, make sure it's done uh, and dealt with every week, um, because otherwise... He runs out of clothes and he, he can't get dressed and he can't go to work and then we can't pay rent and then we don't have a place to do the laundry. So, so I mean, yep, it's all a bit, a bit, a bit of a thing. Uh, 10 of 13 in Nomragon now. Um, so that puts us at 76.92. So we're over 70%, which means I don't have to run it again, but I want to go back. I want to go over here and turn in this quest before I forge it. Um, I am also going to try this and see if it actually does scale to like 60 because that'll be funny. Um, you? I'm sure you'll enjoy that. And we're now 11 out of 13. So what do we do? Step one, kill last boss. Go to the back of the pillar on the left side of the room's entrance and press the small button. Is it this one? Engineer a mega pleb will spawn. Health scales max level. Stop the bombs from spawning. Must disable the conduits in the room by pressing all the larger buttons in a counterclockwise format. This is the first conduit on the right as you enter the room. First conduit on the right as you enter the room. This this one then. No, hang on. The back of the pillar. All right. So not this one. Back of the. Yeah, push me. Um, Super conduit in the room by pressing all the large. Uh, this is the first conduit on the right as you enter the room. So we start over there. Kill the boss. All players can loot the toy. Let's watch me get annihilated. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's level sixty. He le he level sixty. All right, brilliant. This will be entertaining for everybody involved. I don't seem to be popping back up, so I think I'm pressing them in the right order, but I feel like they're all going to pop back up again once I pull them, which will be highly entertaining yet again for everyone involved. Okay. Ready to watch Fear die? Ready to watch Fear totally faceplant? Oh no, they've popped back out again. Feck. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Good. Cool. So that's going to need to be done as a group, but that's fine. Uh, good. So this is Chrome Goal. Uh, I'm going to Ulderman now. So I'm going to zone out. And we're going to head to Ulderman. Um, can't swallow this. I couldn't on a hunter. I knew, but it was fun anyway. It was a quick way out. Uh, <laughs> jumping in now to look at mounts. Yas. Link. Can someone else look for their gift badge? Blazing Drake? No. Gift of sub badge has gone too. Weird. Maybe more Drake of the Four Winds. No. Um. Which of Drakes which have similar colors? Blue Shadow Pan Tigerino? No. Hello, Cormac. Welcome on in. I know it's a bit late for the welcome, but I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Light of a job, Twitter photo looks great. Oh, I'm good. I'm oh, looks even. That's uh, I for a second there. I thought you meant it looks even, as in I did the same thing on both sides. I'm like, oh, thank fuck for that, because um, there were some there were some moments that were touch and go. Which is cold would vacate. I'm alive. Hope you well too. Yeah, I'm not doing too badly. I've had like a chronic headache for the last kind of week or so, but beyond that, I'm I'm doing. I'm alive. I'm alive. Excuse me. Um. Thanks. Two mounts so far today. Well done. Azure riding crane. No. Hard to see on phone. I can imagine. No work shirts too. Yes. You do now have, I think, like seven work shirts. Before you had five 
or no, six. I think I, I, may, I made you purchase a sixth one so that you had overlap on laundry day so I could wash five whilst you were wearing one at work. Um, but I think you've got seven now. Maybe. I think there's one in the basket and then you've got six in your in your cupboard. Fund for new undies for Jess. <laughs> uh, no, honestly, it's probably a good thing that he has as many as he has because it means that I, I do have to do it. It gives me a reason and it gives like, it pushes me to get it done, which I'm not, abs I'm not angry about, you know, like if it was just me, like if I missed out on something because I didn't do something, then I just kind of more likely to brush it off. Whereas if somebody else is going to suffer for my lack of energy or lack of um, getting shit done, then yeah, it's a little more important. We need a button. <laughs> no, busy boy needs more clothes. Um, Fia, can you put some bonds up on throne for Jazz? I'll, clear, I'll gladly chip in. Oh dear, donate mine to Jazz. <laughs> Fell saber. No, we all took this tangent and ran screaming with it. Look, look, you lot. Look. Um, I know it's a thought that counts, but it's a tad strange even for you. Gun night how no. You'll know they're comfy if they're pre-worn, right? You've worn them in for him. It's it's like breaking in a new pair of shoes, right? Same thing, same thing. Viridian Face Hunter, no. Golden Riding Crane, no. Hello, Grubin. Good morning. Remember how hard that fight was? Still can't solo it. Rough. No, well, it scales to max level, so it's scaling to level 60, which I am, so I can't solo something at my own level. No, unfortunately. Green Shadow Pentagon, no. Uh, man, I had to wash my work clothing every two days because they wouldn't supply enough uniforms. Yeah, fuck them. Luckily, Jess wears, like, high vis, standard high vis. It doesn't need the logo of the company or anything like that on it. So we can go to Target and get a couple more. Like it's not highly specific uniforms, you know? So that's, um, that's good. But make sure you're at least claiming all that washing on tax. Like, because it's like claim all your, your, um, detergent and, and stuff on tax. Cause that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. <laughs> Sorry, my mouth a little on the Bray one undies that is. Oh dear. Lurid blood tusk. Nope. Right, so we're no longer doing Nemo. We're doing Ulderman. Ulderman. Oh, fuck. Right, it's all goddamn zone drops. Eek. Eek. Um. Bleak Hoof Ruin Shredder. No. I haven't had to worry about it for two years now. Oh, good. Okay, well, that's. Yeah. Fair enough. Brilliant to die, big. Nope. Pretty sure laundry expenses cap out at three fifty without receipts. Every year I'd just be up that amount. Yeah. I mean, the other option is you can just keep your receipts and claim more. Like, just keep them one year and see how much it ends up being. And if it's under three fifty, then don't bother again. If you're in a if you're in a place where you're um you know doing the the same stuff for more than that amount of time anyway. Ha. Ah. Um, Red Skill Little Horse, no. Did you show you I'm Live Come Catch Me story for today? Yeah, I did. Erg. It said done and everything. Like, it said it had been uploaded. Why? Did you not? That's fucking annoying. Oh, and I have to redo everything as well. Fuck me. I typed all this up and everything. God damn it. Everything just went kasplat today, didn't it? One moment, please. Err.
There it is. It should be there now. Weird. Oh well. Well, cold fist grumbling. Nope. Uh, Snow for the hunter. Nope. Just got killed in org. Oh no. Oh no. Green Karaji battle tank. Nope. M horde. Ah, oh, damn it. That's annoying. Grove warden. Nope. Gorse rider grumbling. Nope. So if you know main city, think again. God, it's a bit that way, isn't it? Wandering Ancient Winter. Nah. Um, so I have done the Wandering Ancient before, um, and I'm not going to double up. Even though it has got four different skins, I'm not going to double up um, on anything until I've gone through and done everything, which is going to take me a long ass time, considering there's 900 plus mounts. That's literally several years worth of mount makeup. But yeah, just because there are so many, I feel weird about doubling up on stuff, even if it's got multiple skins. Uh, it's not the Surf Jelly. Gifted badges on any channels. I, that's odd. Have you Googled it? Like, it sounds like it's global then. If there might be like a global thing that has gone boop and they may have tweeted about it. They may have like... You know. Okay, well, Twitch support hasn't tweeted about it, but yeah, report it. Is your best bet. Report bug to Twitch. We will have justice. Alrighty, let's kill all the shit. Because of the four fucking zone drops. At least I have the fez. Um, don't remember what you've done? Yeah, there's a there's a spreadsheet for it. Um, exclamation mount makeup. It's not like up to date to the day, but it's it's pretty close. Um, let's raise in bed. Get some gill and XP. <laughs> Big Lizard Bear, nope. Summer Wildling, nope. Swift Olive Raptor, nope. So if it will, for as long as any gift sub you've given is active, disappears when your gifted subs expire. If you gift another sub, the badge will reappear. As you purchase more sub gifts in the channel, your badge levels up. That makes sense. And there you go. That's a... Uh... So it's intended. That's a good thing that it's not a bug. All the damn. <laughs> ah, just gonna get it to. Gonna get it to so hopefully 70 plus. It's on 6666 at the moment for 12 out of 18 um, on the, the global one, not the not the individual one. I don't know why those numbers are different. That's weird, but whatever. Um, I think. So if I get 13 out of 18, it'll put us to 72. So I only need one drop. It doesn't have to be a zone drop. It can be a boss drop. on Facebook for you is live right now. Hi, yeah, if you share to Instagram, it offers to share it to Facebook for you as well. Dope! With a gifted sub to Keggy. So generous of you. It was absolutely, definitely not for selfish reasons at all, was it, dupe? I'm so happy. So, so pleased. <laughs> Love that. That's amazing. Thank you so much, genuinely, for the gifted sub. That's awesome. Um... Where are we? Blue Skeletal Horse. Yes. Yep, it is the Blue Skeletal War Horse. So, Shiba. Number from you, my dear. Hated that instance back in the day. See, I started playing in um, Burning Crusade, so I didn't really get, like, the full... 
especially like these later game ones. I, I did things like Dead Mines and stuff like that pretty frequently, but I didn't really do many of the later game classic dungeons, if that makes sense. So I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Not as much as others seem to, at least. Um, the the whole massive amount of zone drops thing is really annoying, though. So um, that will forever eat away at me. I had no idea it worked like that. Neither did I. That's honestly that's the first I'm hearing of it as well. So there you go. We've both learned something new today. We've both learned something new. Um, there we go indeed. My bit badge disappeared here ages ago. Really? Your bit badge? That's odd. Yeah, the bit badges I've never heard of disappearing. That's very strange. Um, I wonder if they're kind of similar, like it has to be within the X amount of time or something. Very odd. <clears throat> Let's ride in the world again, 69 for the memes. Alrighty. Again for Shiba, nice work. Shiba's really good at this game. Not going to lie. Stygian, Reign of the Old Ones. There you go. Uh, hello! Hello, Lei. Welcome on in. Didn't live in Strathholm or Uberus, no. No, I started playing in Burning Crusade. So I, I lived in, like, Hellfire Ramparts and things like that. Um, switching my background to luck mode. Enjoy! I just remember groups getting so lost in rage quitting without finishing. Your time thing? That's so interesting. Uh, can we get battle plans in that battle? You most certainly can. Cade and Little, congratulations to you on your bonus shit. I struck them so often I got the Riven Dead Death Charger on both my lines and Horde Paladins. Nice, nice. Oh, it's a token chest. Make sure you place those units, guys. Ah, uh, Transport going, doing some red BGs right now. Yeah, so far so good. We've only just really started, so... Going alright. Um, where's my healer? There's my healer. Let's flunk that down. And let's pop in some battle plans per request and continue trying to find all the goddamn trash in this place. Okay. So I've done Yep, so I've done- there's that bit done, so we've got to go the other way. Yep, cool. You see, Rip Hellens are finally allowed to exist. You see, when I finally played Shaman, was not look behind being a cow anymore. Indeed. I think. I need to go this way. Well, hang on, let's- this is a dead end, so let's- in. Ah, right, the enchanting trainer. Have I? I've gotten everything from you, don't I? Yeah. Safe trap. Then I got sausages, peas, corn, on rice, fried egg, and Japanese curry sauce. Sounds delicious. Sounds lovely. Okay. I know I've killed everything through there because that's what I made sure to do. So now we hook up and around through here. Oh, that's a boss. Okay, I didn't get what I needed. So that's boss drops out. No more boss drops for this run because um, everything else I've got. But there is still the chance for plenty of zone drops. So I'm gonna just clear it out. Because, um, I know the one time I decide not to, 
<laughs> it'll be sitting there on the loot table all lonely and sad. So. Mm, I crack a try of anger. The amount only have 17 out of 61 and 11 out of 38 of the drops. Hopefully something else will drop. Oh dear. Yeah, look. It's it's one of those, like, uh, the world bosses are hell. Absolute hell. And that's the quick way to get out and reset. Pizza, delicious. Jack and drop PvP gear, that's why there's so much. Yeah. Like the entire loot table of PvP shit. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, the people waiting at 60 lines, man, are gonna get smooshed probably. What level are you? Sarah, how are you doing? Welcome back. How's the farm going? Yeah, not too bad. Jumped into Nomrigon, picked up a new transmog, so that's above 70 now. Um, and now I'm in Alderman, trying to get that above 70. I only need one drop, but um, four of the six drops I can get are fucking zone drops. So, you know. Um, how level are you when you get the people first? I've already got it. I've already got it. It dropped in, like, the first handful of runs that I did, and... We're all like, ah, shit. The person's gonna hate me. Yeah, I've already got it. Which is why it's not in this list. God, this little kid's so fucking creepy. Mm. Alright, 
Um, gems. A grime encrusted object. Yeah, that can fuck off. Hello. It's very valuable that I make you ma at least make you yell a little. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Need to get my head in quick enough. Oh, hang in the air too. Worried about being killed. Oh, yeah. Are you on war mode, Seeker? Arcadus. Uh, okay, yeah, that's if you're camping world bosses, it's probably a good idea to toggle war mode off. Um, because yeah, you will you'll miss the kill, absolutely. Uh, that's ordered subway, fantastic. Yeah, you can toggle it off. These days you can, Keggy. These days. Oh, Keep is not open, dude. Literally just said giveaway is not open, Dory. <laughs> um, did I miss it? No, you haven't missed it. I just haven't done it. Love how you guys like expect and you know. Yeah. My day PvP was always yeah, mine too. This is why I changed servers. <laughs> Oh, God. What all about the Argent Gruntling? The Argent Gruntling is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Like, accidental, like, oopsie with something in your bank. Pull out the Argent Gruntling. Stuck in a, in a raid, in a dungeon or a raid where you cannot, like, mount up and sell your shit. Pull out the Argent Gruntling. Unfortunately, like, even though the pet is account-wide, you, you can't use it account-wide. Each individual character has to have unlocked the ability to get it themselves to be able to use the, ben the benefits of it. Um, so Fia is the only one who can use it. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a, definitely a thing. Right, okay, so... Might be worth me zoning out just to... I've got a couple of greys in my bags. Oh, one. Boys from last boss. Okay, let's go again. Uh, let's reset. Um, is Pavlovitus? Did you clear your bags? Yeah, I already did. Already did. <laughs> Okay, let us do it again. Hopefully I'll get a boss drop this time. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. 12.5, 16.6, look. Uh, it's, it, look, it could be worse. It could be like 0.66% drop rate slap on the like, fucking Baradon hole. I enjoy your luck, Keggy. Enjoy your luck. Oh, I feel like cooking at massive breakfast here. Maybe you get a rare BOE. Maybe. Fingers crossed. I would like to. That would be very nice. But um, we'll see how we go. Given the drop rates, I may even spend the rest of the stream like in Alderman. I would very much like to not do that. Because I'm really excited about getting everything above 70 and going and doing 
some other classes. Like, that's super exciting to me. Starting to really up my percentage because that would be nice. But look, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We can be hopeful. We can drop our items, right? Look. Look. <clears throat> well, up in here is our first chance. We have the Lost Dwarves, who may or may not drop the Nordic Longshank. Oh my god, you guys. They did the thing. 13 out of 18. Where am I? What is it? 72.22. But I am going to finish the run, even though it's going to take me fucking three years. Because I don't like dropping out halfway through a run, because there's always a chance we could get more drops. Always a chance. Plus four zone drops. Like, I'd be silly not to. And then we're going to head to end time. I'll pull that up here, actually. Be the next one we head towards. So we're sitting at 69.23 on that lovely one. None may steal the secrets of the makers. This place is just such a fucking labyrinth, hey? Are you? I'm doing all right. Thank you, Chaos. I hope you're doing well. Imagine doing it before dungeon maps or thing. Yeah. No thanks. I'm good. I'm good. I felt like it went for an eternity. Yeah. Yep. It's okay. <clears throat> this is one of the benefits of doing just like passive gold farming always is that when you get to the point where the only stuff left in a dungeon is zone drops, you can potentially just go buy them. Potentially. You don't have to bash your head against a wall constantly for forever. Twenty K, ten K, half a mil. And uh what's that one? It doesn't say. It doesn't even have a minimum, so I don't know why that's not showing up, but that's I mean region sale average. It's okay. Obviously it would be nice to uh, to be able to actually get them myself. And keeping in mind that I do have uh, 12 classes to go through. So I'm not just going to buy them because fear doesn't need anything else. Ah! 
<laughs> That's all the boss drops from this instance from Age. All of them. Everything. It's just zone drops to go. So when I get to this point when it's only zone drops for a particular class, I tend to start farming them on other classes who do still need boss drops. Because that way, like, I'm not losing out. Do you know what I mean? So I can jump through here on a warrior, for example, so I can start working on the plate from the boss from the bosses, as well as working towards those zone drops. And then if I get, like, if I got through all 12 classes, no boss drops required, only zone drops to go, then I'm probably gonna go try and buy some of them. Cause that's just, the drop rates are entirely too low for that to be a worthy use of my time. I'd probably be faster to farm up the half a mil than it is to farm up the half a mil worth of boss, uh, but worth of BOE, you know? Good evening, fairy. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, indeed. Everything's coming up here. Look, so far, last like last farm, uh, last run was trash. This run, much better. Much better. GDQ just finished. They raised over 3.4 mil for charity this time. It's quite a bit. That is, indeed. Well done, them. <clears throat> Alrighty. Alrighty. Male BOE. It's one I don't have. I'll take it. Not bad at all. Not a cloth BOE, but that's okay. Not one I can use, but that's totally fine. I can definitely use it on an alt. I'm just thankful to have a BOE. This has been a good run. It's been like a really good run. some mailing to alts. is hella fucking keen for Chef Squad on Wednesday. I'm hella fucking keen. I can't goddamn wait. It's gonna be ridiculous. It's not gonna be a chill stream, that's for goddamn sure. It's gonna be like, hectic. So hectic. I guess. Fine then, dupe. Fine, be that way. Oh, it's gonna be ridiculous. I wonder, like, I'm wondering how long it's gonna take me to sort of get into the flow of how the game works and stuff. Ah, uh, so excited. May or may not have cancelled a planned trip to ensure I could join, but also considered likely COVID. Of course, of course. Yeah, it's a little, uh,. It's a little sticky out there at the moment. Um, end time. End time is a, um, what's it, isn't it? End time is a, uh, a 
What's that thing? You know. Caverns of Time. There we go. Uh, can I recommend disabling emote only for that stream? Uh, or if people redeem it, I can just refund it and not do it. Because I tell you what, I will forget to turn it back on. Three instances in the caverns of time. What? Yeah, if, if stuff like that comes up that's going to prevent you guys from, yeah, no, I will absolutely just refund them and uh, do it that way. Just because I'll forget. I know what I'm like. And time! We're not doing time walking. We're just, and it's, oh shit, it's one of those heroic only ones too. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, that just means I might have to cycle through a few characters, but I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> Um, the end time instances. Uh, no, fairly sure it's one instance. You just port through different stuff inside the same instance. Okay, and common boss drops. Super fun. Super fun. Alrighty. End time. One portal, one instance. Beautiful. Just like... True, you can just like the three that were in ICC, but they're three separate instances as well. Okay, not according to ATT, and not according to the world map. Um, the world map, at least, for like... I know what you're talking about, Pit of Sauron... Um, uh, Halls of Reflection and the other one, Forge of what's it? They were actually three separate portals. You could port through them to the next one to the next one, but they're still three separate instances. This one is literally flagged on the map as one, one instance. That's very different. Uh, how do we use PC if possible? Just squad. There's less lag. Yeah, I'd imagine so. I'd imagine so. They're all considered part of end time instances, at least back in Kata, it seemed like that anyway. Which which three instances are part of end time, though? That's what I'm kind of confused about. Because it's just the one. Like, even, even on the map, it's still one portal. There's also, like, there's Hour of Twilight, which is a separate one, and then there's the raid. But the raid is definitely not <laughs> part of a dungeon. Um, yeah. Druid's almost at 200 base movement speed. Well done, Mikey. Well done. Okay. Where are we going? Time is a tangled web. Try not to dwell. City and Dragon Shrine. Brilliant. I know that there were a bunch of like there were like a few different the undying bosses that it could like choose from, kind of like back in when we had um the I sense much Fuck, you know what it's called. The one in, um, the one in, rage the prison me. one in, uh, in Dalaran. How it could summon different bosses and the bosses would, like, rotate each that. every so often. You which means that I may not get the Echo of Taranda and I may not get Mar Uh, no wait, Marazon's the last one, isn't he? You. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna get Marazon, but I might not get Taranda. But we do have the common boss drop, so that's fine. Hopefully we can get that to drop, at least. Like that. Good lord. Okay. Um, so that's 10 out of 13. Which puts us at 76.92. So we're where we need to be for this. Which is good. Oh, you know what? Why am I doing this? I have fucking jumpy jumpy. I'm an umpty. There we go. I don't remember the names of the ones you were in. The Hour of Twilight and the one that took you back to the War of the Ancients. Well, yeah, Violet Hole is the one that I was thinking of in Dalaran, yeah. But, um... Ancient versions, yeah. So, yeah, Hour of Twilight and the one you took back to the War of the Ancients, that... 
Will of Eternity. Yeah, but that's not like. A great battle shattered the time waves. Why can't I go into the map of caverns? It's really annoying. You must reconstruct the fragments. Ah, no, that's not what I want. I want here. Defeat the trapped spirit to proceed. And then I want Kata. I want End of Time. And I want Show Map. No, no, that's not. That's not what I wanted. I wanted show portal, like show show entrance. Whatever, it's fine. But no, they're not. Um, they are they are three completely separate instances. They may all be in caverns of time, but that doesn't make them the same instance. Um, I don't even do these ones even connect the same way that the three Wrath of the Lich King ones did. I know with Wrath, when you finished. Uh, forge of whatever, Desolate Forge, at the end of the dungeon there was a portal that carried you through to Pit, and at the end of Pit there was a portal that carried you through to Hall of Reflections, and that's how those three were linked, and they were linked storyline-wise. But I didn't think that these ones were linked like that at all. They were just all three of them in the same subzone. Um, uh, what we're talking about, um, Nicholas said that, um, End Time was three separate, was actually three separate instances, and I'm arguing that no, it's not. Just because it's in the same subzone as two other instances does not make it the same instance. Like, they, even the three ones in Wrath, they connected to each other. They had portals to each other connecting them in order of storyline. But you could still run them as three separate instances, because that's what they were. They were connected, but they're not They're not one instance. Whereas I didn't even think that they, these three from Caverns of Time, I don't, even, I don't think they're even connected from memory. But, I mean, I'll find out at the end of the run, won't I? If there's a portal to the next one. But, um... From memory, no. Uh, right, Will of Eternity, that was the last one. Knew that was the where, but didn't connect to the instance name. Kept wanting to call it Zinashari. But even still, even if they're all in Caverns of Time, that doesn't mean that they're connected. It just means that they may have been released at the same time or whatever, but they're still three very separate instances. That's, I'm, that's what I'm not understanding. There's a portal to the next one if you have the quest for it. In, in these three? In the Caverns of Time ones? Or in the Wrath of the Lich King ones, Grey? Because I know that they're in the Wrath of the Lich King ones. Linked in terms of a chain storyline. Yeah, but that doesn't make them the same instance. What you said was that they that end time is technically actually three instances and no it's not. <laughs> like it's it's totally not and completely not. Um right, I'm still missing two fragments. Oh, there's one. Ah, oh, and there's the other. Okay, cool. In this end time. So you did the the, the portal only pops up if you've got the quest or it pops up regardless. You guys have just got to keep in mind that because um, I'm occasionally featured on the launcher and stuff, we quite often have quite new players jumping in here. And so saying stuff like that, it's exceptionally confusing to new players. Like, and it's it's not, they are not all the same instance. You've just got to be really careful of, like, that kind of shit. If you look closely, you'll see my character panicking and running away to play Wordle. Congratulations to Zam, Cade, Death, and Meaty on all your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Ooh. Right, it was the token chest. I hope you all got a wonderful number of tokens and it unlocked at least a tier for you. It takes me so few tiers, so few tokens to unlock each tier because I'm a captain that it, like, boom. One, one chest and bang. Bonus shit! Woo! Once you kill the last boss, the portal shrine has a new destination appear on the list. Right, okay. Here we go. Come on, let me in. But they are still different instances. You can enter any of the three by themselves. 
It is not a mega dungeon like Return to Kara or something like that. It is, they are three separate dungeons. Um, assists with armored units. Assists with armored units. I think the Centurion was the one to do with that. It was the best one to get that one. Just because of the buffy thing. All right. Um, so I've killed Jaina and I got her last couple of fragments. Uh, bronze, bronze dragon shrine. Onward we go. I could see them being referred to as the dragon soul dungeons, maybe. Yeah, but they're they're not the same dungeon. Like, like it's not the all three are not one. <laughs> dungeons in a question with a convenient teleport, exactly. Yeah. This is a blessing. You like saying that end time is comprehend. is three dungeons in one is not correct. For the alliance, can I have? Yay! I got the jagged edge of time. I cannot follow you. Amazing. Accept my blessing. Amazing. Our glass of time. To defeat Murazan. Um, Murazan's already well and truly gone, was Jomu, sorry. Like, it's done. <laughs> um, alright, 11 out of 13. Not too shabby. We're now at 84.62 with this one. Yeah, now it just takes me to the entryway of time. That's it. Perfect. Awesome. Alright, so I don't have to jump characters, which is nice. Um, ne- oh. Okay, so we're going to Cathedral of Eternal Night. Um, good. Good. No, wait, wrong one. Fuck! Broke the thing. Here we go. It's, um, this cathedral, good. So it's broken, sure. Let's teleport to Dalaran in the Broken Isles. Um, I'm off to my dinner. Enjoy dinner. Talk to Maru for the quest. I've already done the quest, so you can't connect them if you haven't if you're not on the quest, apparently. Uh, broken Jane, it was a mercy. Yes, Jane is always a little broken. That was a fully broken. Yeah, she was all sorts of fucked up. All sorts of fucked up. Alright, Cathedral. Don't be a bitch. Give me what I want. The number of times I have run this fucking dungeon. Just give me what I want. Uh, so we're going to close end time. We're going to close Kata. We're going to open Legion. Open. Oof. It's fine, 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 it's fine. So we're going to run Mythic first. Uh, and then we're going to run Heroic. If we have to. And we may have to run it on a few other levels there. I know I can't run... Um, I know I can't run Mythic on other tunes because it's Legion um, and all my other tunes are 50 that can get this stuff. So we've got what we're looking for. There's cloth robes, uh, a back, which I could technically get on any class, which would be nice. Um, uh, another cloak and a, a, a zone drop that's a green that's also cloth. So I, I could actually... I could actually run this on my other 60s to try to get that cloak. A uh, tormented fragment of Jaina Proudmoore has been split and infused within the shattered pieces of her staff to restore balance to the time where this echo must be defeated. However, the devastating magical power possessed by the once proud ruler of Theramore is hardly lost to her time havoc to Spectre. In this future Azeroth, she is only divided and waiting from the adventure guide. For oh no, when <laughs> waiting, dot dot dot. And then that was copied and pasted from the adventure guide. I, I thought you were saying, I thought the dot 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 was that you couldn't fit it in one Twitch message and that you needed to send a second one. So I thought it was the same sentence. <laughs> Look, my brain sometimes is a bit fucked, all right? <laughs> I'm like, and waiting from the adventure guide, that's not a correct sentence. Oh, wait. Yeah, look, it's fine. It's fine. I hope you enjoy my broken brain. 
I hope you enjoy my broken brain. Right, so there were only very specific um, mobs that can drop the green one, and there sh it shows in the tooltip like that. So I can just sort of do that and try for it. I look forward to ripping those horns from your skull, betrayer. There is nowhere you can flee that I cannot reach you, demon. Illidan, curse that imp. So I'm going to try to skip as much as I can that I don't need to kill. Just because it'll make it faster. <laughs> that's what my brain does sometimes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. I have to kill these ones because I can't get past them, I don't think. And then I can boop, blink through them. Just kind of mousing over, checking all the tooltips. Don't want to accidentally not kill something that could drop my beautiful zone drop. None on my server at the moment. That sucks. Do I need it? like? I don't think any of these. No, none of those drop it. Okay, so we'll just head up the stairs. So we're not on heroic at the moment. We're on, we're on mythic. So I'll minimize the other thing. I do have to go through here because. The um the world quest one is in here. And ah, oh, and it can drop the battle cow. It didn't. That's fine. Uh, advice: getting leather working on a rogue or a hunter, or engineering mining on a rogue or hunter. Trying to cover all professions. Uh, honestly, it doesn't fucking matter. It it really truly doesn't fucking matter. If you're just trying to cover the professions, it doesn't matter. Um, so I have jewel crafting, enchanting, on my mage. Where's the professions? So I have, on my mage, I have jewel crafting enchanting. Skills. Then I've got um, herb and mining on a druid because it's just so much easier to have both gathering professions on one character and they can herb without dismounting. Um, my monk has just leatherworking because there is an odd number of professions. My rogue has alchemy and tailoring. My priest has skinning and inscription. My death knight has blacksmithing and engineering. So I did the the mage first because she's my main and I wanted her to have something that was useful to her. So I picked enchanting and jewel crafting for her. The druid is always going to have both gathering no, professions. No, 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 no. Um, the rogue is always the third one that I level. So I gave her uh, alchemy and tailoring because that's stuff that I might actually need for my mage. Um, it made sense to me to have my DK have blacksmithing and, and engineering because they both use ore and metal and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then my monk and my priest were like my last two that I had. So I was like, eh, you have inscription and skinning and you can have leatherworking. Um, and it was done. I probably should have put skinning and leatherworking together and then inscription as the odd one out, but I didn't and I don't really care. Because it just, it works fine. So yeah, it, it's... Put whatever you want wherever you want it, basically. If if it's just to have all the professions, then it doesn't matter. I took the gold mine in East Frankie territory. Good lord, so much gold. Well done. Well done. <clears throat> oh, I don't think there's anything in here that can drop my my dear green hat. But I could get the Fell Pruner's Shroud. But I didn't. This, is this not legacy loot rules are enabled? Then why did I only get one? Oh. Fuck. He's not gonna let me use he's not gonna let me use my trader either. Because he's gonna be. Hey. <sighs> Bugger. Uh what I can do though. Good day to you. Is send all the stuff. I'm just going to send everything. I don't care what it is. Um, I'll deal with it later.
You have a great day now. Touch. I feel like fully expecting immediate jazz luck. It's going to let someone else just put a little Leroy. It was on cooldown apparently. No, um, yeah, individual cooldown exists. Um, to let the, to try to let the sound commands be spread out between individuals. So well organized professions. Not really. Um, the, the pairs that they're in are not exactly optimized, but I don't really care so much because it means that I, I've still got all of them. And I've got my, um, I've got my achievements for, um, like I got my Shadowlands Master of All. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Very good. Awesome. There we go. Can I please loot my gear? Um, right, where the fuck am I going next? <laughs> um, right, checking for... From memory, none of these could drop the helm, but I need to just double check because it was a little while ago. Yeah, no, okay. That's fine. And I have to be sure. Have to be certain. As I'm sure you all would be as well if you were in my place doing the farming farming. Um, did fear empty bags? No. Good morning, Z. How are you going? Siege of Orgrimmar didn't empty mine either. At least Siege of Orgrimmar, most of that is, like, outside. It could, it could be worse. It could be indoors. <laughs> I've done Agronox. Hopefully someone else gives me some loot. So I don't have to run it again. It'd be really nice of them, wouldn't it? Just so, so nice, so lovely. <laughs> I think any of these can do anything except the named mom. Hello, Les. The Legion? Think again. Um, can you use the mailboxes? In in siege, I think some of them you might be able to. Maybe I don't know. It's outside time to mount up. Yas, how are we? Yeah, not too bad. Sunwell, pretty wicked headache. Ah, Les, thank you so much for the resub. So kind of you. Much appreciated. It's just a portal. I don't think there's actually like you know. Okay. Ah. Oh. So I was never This is not a right, and this is not a boss. Okay. Just fine. Do you really think you could elude me, Illidan? Run again, and I'll shackle you like the beast you are. Posture, if you must, my Ev. But for yeah, now, that's, just, that's totally fine. You do not a problem. Follow me. All right, here we go. Double tracks. The Legion broke our lines. They pushed us out of the tomb. Just kidding, have to cut off front gun. Aww. Aw, oh, that's lovely. They are coming. 
<clears throat> Can I please have a cloak of the unending assault? Forgive me if my glaive finds your heart ill at it. So many things about it. It's hard to distinguish from the rest of this. No, I may not. Okay, Mephistroth. Last chance to get something from Mythic. It's very little, but not a kitten. Oh, It's not very good. May I please have the Nathrazim Acolyte's robes? No, I may not. Good. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna do it on her oak. It serves those who fight for Azeroth. Maybe someone in the area tried to gain its trust for scared would hide from me every time I went out the front. Yeah, it makes sense. Especially if it's been a whole bunch of fights and stuff. Okay. I'll switch to heroic and in we go. She's scared by cat trap, caught it and brought it inside. Take to vet and check for microchip. Yeah. Our forces have engaged the legion on the ground mm. floor. We must be the mailboxes. Ah, gotcha. Before our losses grow insurmountable. Oh, our guests of honor have finally arrived. I look forward to ripping those horns from your skull. And microchip. There is nowhere you can flee that I cannot yeah. reach you, demon. Illidan! Curse that impetuous demon hunter! Sounds like it might have just been a genuine stray. Just wants to cuddle and have pats. Hmm. There wasn't anything around there from mem like all the way around, so I just have to go to the stairs and then I can stop, I think. Memory at least. Yeah, they were all clear. This one can drop it. Nada. You will. Where did you come from? Eat it. If you want to know, I saved you and get one back up. Or anything, I went up to other two cows to rescue you. I'm really capture to play with. Lovely. Oh, that's really good. Alright. Let's see if this boss will actually give me my fell pruner's shroud. Please and thank you. You are not. Ah, oh, cricket! Hello, lovely. Welcome back. How are you? I hope you've had a wonderful stream. Oh my goodness. All of the raid messages. My god. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Chat Charismatic. Welcome on in, Tara and Staker and Ekim. Uh, do you get the notification cancel my property? Yeah, fair enough. Hey Tug, welcome on in. Hey a fly, hey princess. Thank you for the cast of command, Shiba. Much appreciated. Welcome in Daphne and Miss and Osiris. Let's get creaky with it indeed. How are you? That one doesn't have anything I can use, so that's fine. It's okay that it didn't drop me anything. Hey, Lord. Welcome.
welcome indeed, playing Pokemon Go Community Day. Oh, wonderful! Those Community Days seem to be like a lot of fun. Like just so much for you guys to all do together as like a team and as a group and stuff. So that's really cool. That's super fun. Yeah. Hey, Omega. Hey, Adon. Welcome on in. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and have really enjoyed your time with Cricket. I hope you'll enjoy your time with me. I'm Fia. Welcome on in. It's lovely to meet you all. Hello. I am uh, predominantly a World of Warcraft streamer, but I do play a couple of bits and bobs on the side here and there. Um, but overall, we're just we're chill. We uh, do a lot of like con collecting and completionist sort of stuff. Think Pokemon, but like on a <laughs> like a massive scale. Uh, like as you can see, maybe up in the corner here, there are fifty-four thousand two hundred and seventy-four things for me to collect. So, so it's mm, yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, no, we're just friendly, welcoming, safe space kind of deal over here. Yeah, I hope you enjoy your time with us. I hope you decide to stick around. My freak cat, really good. How are you going? Should I start playing Pogo so we can be in every- I mean, I did way back when. Like, when, when it first kind of hit and was being, like, the big thing that, like, literally everyone was doing. I absolutely did. Um, it's... Uh, it's, it's a really tough call for me. Just because, I mean, I know, I know a lot of you play from, like, the safety of your own homes with, like, I, I don't know, there's some kind of software type deal where you can like where it where it will move you around but you don't have to leave the house i need to like figure that side of things out because i don't know if that counts as cheating or not because there seems to be like a lot of people who do it but like is that frowned upon is that normal i don't know because i am um, i don't really want to leave my house right now there's scary things out there um <laughs> <gasps> they dropped! Oh my god, look at that cricket, you are my lucky charm. Love it. The Nathrazim Acolyte's robes have dropped. Wonderful news, I just need to wait till I fucking drop combat so that I can actually check the number. But that's that's fine, it's fine. Why am I still in combat? Um, WoW does have Pokemon too, we call them battle pets. Um, you can collect them, level them up, pit them against each other in 3v3, like one at a time, but you have a team of three rather than a team of six. And um, they have a couple of uh, limited abilities that they can use, but there are still types and strong uh, strengths and weaknesses. A much simpler, like a much more simplified version, but it's still fun. And the collection thing still stands. Absolutely. Um, Two cases strictly inside. Then okay, shift to six, which is the cases of the super. I can't open up around, never at the front, of course. Of course. So we're going to a does. Okay, she can do more months. Play again, do it. Ooh, I don't know. That's cheating, not that one. No software on the house option. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so I. Um, because I have an autoimmune condition with the, the panini that is outside, um, it is a hell of a lot more safer for me to stay indoors away from other humans who probably have Omicron. Uh, <laughs> um, like it's, it's quite dangerous. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a lot safer for me to like not go outside, but maybe one day when it is safer for me to leave the house and I, I actually feel comfortable going outdoors, then, uh, then I'll definitely jump back in. I'd love to play with you guys, but yeah, I have to consider my health first, unfortunately. <laughs> Who to thunk it, right? Uh, right. Can I shift left click? Let's see if it, like I'm still technically in combat, which is weird. I shouldn't be in combat. Maybe if I zone out. I've got enclosure for them. Yes. Uh, if anyone from the readers is interested in cool well met makeup, would you rather questions check out this? So Aw, thank you, Seeker. Thank you. Lucky charm. Yas, Cricket. Fantastic. Always worth the gander forever. A fun time. Bigger enclosure. Press the lunch where I live. Kenny is a great and play from home. On incense. Ah, oh, so you can do that. Right, that's the item that you use and it like summons Pokemon to you rather than you using a cheaty thing to go out where they are, right? Is that, am I getting that right? 
Is there only like, do they, does the incense summon like Pokemon from all over the joint or will you still only get like what's really near you? Because I'm so close to the city, all I get is fucking Zubat. Like, <laughs> it's literally like everything I get, although maybe it's updated since then. It's been a little while. Ah, uh, timber shortage. Good times and everyone. Hello, Faye. Good time zone to you. So I do put an incense to summon Pokemon to me. It's from all over. Oh, cool. And heaps safer. Um, all right. I'll, maybe maybe I'll have a look and see. Maybe I'll have a look and see. Why has it all of a sudden? It's not on account mode. Why are you broken like this? What did what happened? I'm so confused. Maybe it's because I was trying to refresh while I was out of a. What the hell has happened? It's like, it's like I don't have anything anymore. It's just completely, I'm on unique mode. How did I manage that? Where's, how do I turn that off? Oh my God, how did I break it? How did I set it to unique mode? How did I, there we go. All right, now it's refreshed. What? How? I'm so confused. Something broke when I tried to, I think it because it refreshed it through the loading screen, something broke. That's fine. Everything is fine now. 20 out of 26. 20 out of 26. Ooh. Oh, I have numb lock on. Oops. 76.92. Ooh. The next one is Serpent Shrine Cavern. SSC, baby. If I spelt it correctly, it would work better. <laughs> All right, we're heading to Shatrath and we're gonna empty our fucking bags. Uh, I'm at 69.57% for Serpent Shrine Cavern. So this'll be, we must be getting so close to 70% and everything. This one might be the last one. If you wanna play, I got you with all the updates and new stuff. 100% keep yourself safe. Of course, absolutely. Keep for bubble tea with you when it's safe outside of you. Me too, Crick. Me too. Oh my God, me too. I would love to like go have like sushi and bubble tea with you. It would be phenomenal. Holy cow. I'm I'm wondering if if maybe I should uh, take my nail polish off for, for our Tuesday catch up and like <laughs> do it on camera so you lot can watch. Oh God. Uh, did fear break the thing? Always. I always break the thing. Always. Ooh, I wonder what bubble tea I'm going to have tonight. Guess it'll, it'll be whatever Jas is in the mood for. But, um, because I've got DIY bubble tea, of course, in the cupboard. Mmm, delicious. None of the things. All of the, yeah, look, I had none of the things for a hot second there, didn't I? That was, I, I, ooh, that was not good. I was very scared. Very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. So what am I missing from SSC? Not much. Look at that. Not much. This is so exciting, you guys. I'm nearly at 70% across the board. Across all 12 characters, I'm at 62.76. I feel like at the start of every Sunday stream, we need to like log what the number is, like check what the percentage is and then see what it is at the end of the day. I can just see the pro, like watch the progress, you know, like actually watch it. I feel like that would be cool and fun. The next challenge. You know, 96% on my 50-50s or something, like 96 or something. So like, what do we got for our, for our, all the dungeon and raid things? Oh my God. I feel like I'm accomplishing shit, even if it's just in a video game. You know, I feel like I'm getting stuff done and that's a really good feeling. I Like, even if the world is going to shit, I think that it's really important for some people, not for all, obviously, everyone's different, but I feel like it is definitely really important for some people's mental health to just feel like you're accomplishing something each day, even if that something is making the bed or eating breakfast that isn't like a packet of chips or do you know what I mean? Like just something, you're accomplishing one little tiny thing each and every day. Um, so yeah, even, even though this technically doesn't mean anything, 
it's, you know, whatever. I don't care. I feel like I'm achieving something. I feel like I'm accomplishing something. And that's like, that's a huge deal. I hope you're all feeling similarly. I hope you're all feeling like you've got something to do, you know? Stream Raiders! All right, there's a person out here who I can sell shit to. I'm gonna do that. I think so too. Start small. Do something that you can do. Exactly. Exactly. Just do one little thing that you can get done today. And then, you know, maybe try stepping it up tomorrow if you feel like it. If not, maybe look at a few days from now. You need a sound command that's just clear your fucking bags. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Pro probably. Uh... Nah, 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 nah. I've got so many redemptions. I should probably do some of them. Jazz hands emote. <gasps> That's so cute. Uh, congratulations to Dupe, Loza, Seeker, Mai on your bonus shit. I hope you all got a lovely sum of gold from your gold chest. We're going to start heading towards the skin chest. All of a sudden, I am starving. What the hell, body? Why you do this? I've got no assists, really? Maybe the paladin will help. Um, uh, hey, Hendrix. What was the add-on you used that told you what spells you used and when heating up on the screen? Uh, oh, I'm going up again. God damn it. Um... So the, the fire around me for heating up, that's just part of the game. Like, that's just default. That's not a weak aura or anything like that. The, the actual fire, hang on, I'll have to... Um, I'm still on thingy. Give me a second. Uh, wait, let me... Doop. Um, I have to hit something to be able to show you. So, but the fire that comes around me for heating up and for hot streak, that's part of the default um, UI. That's just Blizzard. That'll happen even if I turn off all my add-ons. Um, but I think what you might be talking about is MSBT, is, um, mix scrolling battle text. Oh, fuck, it's this- I always forget just how annoying this dungeon is for, like, lifts and shit. Um, so if you type exclamation add-ons, you get a list of everything I use, which is a bit, um, but the one you- it's in alphabetical order, so the one you're looking for is under M. It's mix scrolling battle text, M for Mary, not N for November, M for March, um... And that's the one, so the that there, that cooldown, that's MSBT. Those little fiery bits, that's Blizzard. But then the stuff that's coming up here and the stuff that's scrolling down either side and then the stuff that pops up here, that's all MSBT. And then those bits there and stuff with the gold and what I loot and shit like that, that's all MSBT. And it's highly customizable, like super customizable. You probably need to take a little while to kind of figure out exactly what you want from it. Yeah, hopefully that helps. Yay, indeed, my congratulations. Oh. Sniffle, sniffle. Uh, okay. Where are my Hydros? Oh, two things from Hydros. Fathomstone and the Robe of Hateful Echoes. Look, I'll take one. Like, I don't need both. I'm not, I'm not greedy. I mean, I am, but I'll, I'll take one. No, that's a lie. That's a double up appearance. That's a shared appearance. Uh, okay, so Hydros gives me nothing. I uh, will head to Lurker below for the cord of screaming terrors. It's exactly what I need in my life right now. I'll check it out. I haven't played for a little bit. Main Fire Mage 2 looks like it can help. Oh, fantastic. Well, I hope it does. I hope it does. Nothing I love more than helping people out. Actually, that's a lie. I really, really, really like bubble tea and sushi. So, <laughs> so like, I have to, you know, have to be truthful here. Got to be truthful. <laughs> Is fear greedy? Honestly, no. When it comes to some stuff, yeah, for sure. 
like if if Jas tries to take if we if we've got like twelve nugs and he tries to take a seventh, I will smack it out of his hands, cause like. But um no, like honestly, I don't I don't think I'm greedy. I don't think I'm greedy. Should slap me so damn hard. Oh fucking oath I will. But like if we get a pack of, of nugs from like Aldi or something and there are 13 in the box, I will give Jess the extra one. Like I will I will absolutely take six and give Jess seven. Um, because he has a bigger appetite than I do and he works like he his job is physical labor and stuff, so he he needs more calories than I do. Um, but like if we're splitting something evenly, oh you don't you fuck don't you fucking touch it. Like, <laughs> that is mine. Do not. Uh. <laughs> Nugs of life, they are indeed. This is why I get 20 packs from places? Fuck yeah, 10 each. That works. That works. Speaking of which, Jess, are you hungry? Like, why am I hungry this early? What is what is going on? Okay, Leotheras, and then Fathom Lord Carathas. Okay, let's go through that way then. There are no zone drops in here, are there? No, there's not. I'm just gonna. So who else? Okay, if you're if you're a collector, if you're an AT tier, as it were, when you're doing dungeons and raids like this, and there are no zone drops, do you kill everything anyway, even though it like doubles the length of your run, just in case you get world drops and and all that kind of shit, or do you just skip through and do the bosses? just to like get get the run done. Like what is your, how, how do you run stuff? Cause I, I'm torn every time I end up in a place like this, I feel like I should be killing everything in case of greens I don't have yet. But also that takes fucking forever uh, because you haven't eaten all day, but I have though. I had, um, I had essentially a Vegemite sandwich. I had two slices of bread with Vegemite and butter and I've had a packet of chips. I don't think I had like proper actual like breakfast, but hmm, depends. What does it depend on, Mick? Uh, I skip to the bosses and lie to myself that I can always come back to farm trash. <laughs> yes, I love I love that you're specific that you lie to yourself about it. Yep, that's exactly it. More often than not, I do that very thing. But if I'm in a hurry, I do it at least on AOE classes. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Just gonna snack then. Do anything that's close and be with yourself for a bit. For the pork on now though? Okay. It was just... No. Oh, good lord. I'm not a paladin. I'm not a paladin. Clearly. Very much not a paladin. Alright, so the consensus is I should be killing the trash. Noted. Probably make more gold that way too, hey? Maybe not a whole lot, but like some. The one part that I, the, like, the bit that I really fucking hate is instances that have trash that leash. Out in the outside world, I get it. I, I absolutely understand leashing because you don't want to have people being able to kite for goddamn world bosses to capital cities. Like, I get it. I get that. But in an instance where you cannot kite it to places where it shouldn't be, stuff should not leash. Stuff should not leash. Are you going to play Lost Ark? What is Lost Ark? Does that probably answer your question? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Sorry, Oz. I hope you're having a wonderful day, though. Yeah, I'm. I'm super bad at like keeping up to date on new releases and stuff. Like, I, I don't have the money to pay for most things, so. I just don't bother. Uh, right, so that's Fathom Lord Carathras, and I needed Soul Strider boots, which none of these can turn into, so I didn't get what I needed. That's okay. I don't know, cutting more bosses, capital cities is actually pretty far. Look, I know, but I can understand why they don't want that to happen. I, I get it. I get it. But, like, leashing should not be a thing within instances within like little locked off worlds from everything else. 
You're evil and want to kill noob Sam. <laughs> Thank you to coming out in a month. It's free to play. Uh, well, yeah, I don't really have time to do much other than what I stream, so <laughs> no. Sorry. Yeah, look, I, I love World of Warcraft. I wouldn't still be playing it if I didn't absolutely love it. And it does take, like, the, the kind of gameplay that I enjoy, collecting and stuff like that, takes enough of my time that I don't have a whole lot of... Ooh. Oh, it's bop anyway. Um, I don't have a lot of time to play much else. Um, so for something to take time away from WoW for me, it has to be... Like, it has to tick all of my gaming boxes, like, literally everything. Um, and in 15 years, nothing has done that. So, yeah, like, I give things a try here and there, but nothing, nothing too out there. Uh, that was a shared appearance, so that is not actually something new, unfortunately. Um, even though he could have given me two things, he chose to give me nothing. Because that's fine, I guess. That's fine. So I have one thing that I could possibly get from Vash. <sighs> and if that doesn't drop, I'm going to have to switch tunes and do it on a different character. But that's okay. Uh, Lost Ark is like a Korean AR uh, ARPG MMO, although it didn't feel MMO to me really. Interesting. Okay. Ooh. That's interesting. That's a pattern I don't have. Nice. Cool, it's cool. Enjoy, I will. Thank you, Oz. And I hope you enjoy whatever you choose to play as well. Oh, that's a, yeah, it's a crafting region. That doesn't matter as much. I'm like, ooh, purple. Oh, I don't care. Uh, does fear have time? Spoiler, no. Yeah, no, never. <laughs> yeah. I, um, look, one day maybe, but, uh, <laughs> mm -mm. I'm a, I'm a busy little bee. Um, yeah, I am, I am a busy. That's okay, though. I'm not sure how people operate with all this free time stuff. Like, I just, it's been years since I've had free time. Everything's always a project or a, or work or, you know, this, my business or something, you know, it's always been, yeah. That's okay. I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. Wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. Hey, Akram. How you going? Free time in this economy? Exactly, right? Like, what the hell do people think this is? <laughs> ah, it's okay. Ugh. Mm, okay. So we're about to kill Vash, who has a... 5.2% chance to drop me the vestments of the sea witch that I need. And if that doesn't drop, I'll have to have a look at what's on the loot table and see what I should switch to. It might just be straight to another mage, but it might be to a priest or a warlock or something. No. No luck. Um... Poop. Poop. I didn't get it. I didn't even get any tokens that were appropriate for my class. I'm just like looking through. Champion, 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 defender. Good lord. Good lord. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna hearth out to my garrison. And I'm gonna jump onto I think Mickey. She's fifth she's level 50, but that should be fine for fucking BC. Got a particular craving for bubble tea tonight. What's on the menu? What do we have? What's in stock? <laughs> I'm assuming whatever we have, we're gonna have it with pearls. That's my first assumption here. Because I know we're, we're um, high stock on pearls. My free time starts on Friday for weeks long service leave. Nice. Amazing. All right, let's hop on down to Mickey. I'm going to turn that off because I'm getting a little bit chilly. My um, 
air conditioning doesn't know when it's time to stop. <laughs> so it just keeps going and that's fine. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do some hydrates real quick. Ah, uh, heat wave, so gaming in the aircon, lovely. Lovely. Milky or fruity. Um, if we're trying to use up pearls, I'd probably prefer milky. Honeydew and original. I think, did we have honeydew last time or did we have original? I think maybe we go with original and you want to dump a tablespoon or two of brown sugar in there as well. Because <clears throat> I know we've got brown sugar and I want to use it up. Like actual brown sugar, not brown sugar syrup. Aha. Um. Hang on a second. Um. I might come have a quick chat with you when the next ad rolls in a few minutes. Uh, okay, so we're gonna pull up ATT, and I'm gonna open up. Seven Shrine. Oh, oh, there's zone drops now for this one. Shit. Um, okay, that's fine. If stuff drops from the bosses, I can just count up manually. So my completion score for this character is different to Fear because Fear is not a tailor, but Mickey is. So I've got the zone drops in here that... Um... Yeah, but I wouldn't learn them on... Mickey anyway. I'd learn them on Alexia. Shit, I didn't realize there were actually zone drops that I should be aiming for anyway. That's fine. That's fine. Oh gosh, me doing Siege of My Own means slow progress as I must kill ATT. Do you want to, like, are you trying to 100% it, Seeker, before you move on? Question the chat, reward, blame a mod. What happens if we redeem it? Um, so whichever, basically, it's just like, we're blaming Jas for whatever just went wrong, or we're blaming Sheba, or we're blaming Rump, or we're blaming Chair, or whatever. It's just for shits and giggles. Like, nothing happens except for, like, anyone who cares just sort of, like, ganging up on the moderator in good, like, in good humor for just a few moments. Like, it's not, yeah, there's no, like, sound or visuals or anything like that. It's just for shits and gigs. Um, she calls me a butt, yes. Sheba is innocent. Are you though? Are you really? Megabats! <clears throat> Enjoy the rest of the stream. Will do, Mikey. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I hope you have a lovely day. I can't believe it's already halfway through January. What the fuck? What the fuck? Fine, time isn't real, everything is fake, we live in a matrix anyway. Yeah, but like... But like... Oh my god. Allies of the scenario and expedition, so I can't... Oh fuck. 
My bags are half full though. Good lord. I only have to go just within the pipe, don't I? I can mount up just inside the pipe. I don't have to go all the way out. <clears throat> I forgot that I, I was um I was going through um because I I wasn't doing the lowest percentages first because I know I have to do that on stream, but um I went through and ran a few runs of um black uh, black wing lair. I think it was. I think it's black wing lair. Um, trying to get fear to a hundred percent. I'm fucking close. I'm really fucking close. Uh, so I ended up doing a run on Fia, and then a run on Benedica, a, a priest, and then Kira, a warlock, and uh, and then Mickey, another mage. And I made some, I made some progress, you guys. I made some progress. May your feet find good trail. I have many, many wares. All right, now we hop off this and we go and do the thing. They're not empty, empty, but they're closer to empty. Uh, all right, I'm gonna be back in just a second. Hear me. Run away, little girl. Run away. Down. Have a snack. Let's do it. Let's get some fucking drops, shall we? You know, like the you know. <sighs> Look, and zero shade whatsoever. But like you know those like hype up streamers who are just like always, constantly going and yelling and ah. I just I can't. <laughs> I I cannot. Can you imagine trying to do that kind of stream with like transmog or like leveling? Or, like I just. I don't even know if I could. I don't think I have it in me. I don't think I have like the the capability to be. I mean, okay, don't get me wrong. At certain events and shit, I will hype the fuck out of everyone there. Like it will be amazing and incredible. I'm a goddamn fucking cheerleader. But um, like with just me in my room, the farming for a fathom stone. <laughs> I just I don't think I could. I don't think I could. Um, all hail our chair overlord. 
Yeah, so Jas was like, so dinner will be ready in about an hour and 10 minutes. And I just kind of stopped and I'm like, he's like, would you like a pack of chips? I'm like, yes. <laughs> that is too far away for me. Um, not like I'm not upset at him or anything like that. It's totally fine. Um, I just know me and my body and I know I'm starting to get hungry. I'm starting to get a little bit peckish. I don't want to get hangry. Plus ASMR stream. I'm kidding. Mm. Mm. Yeah, let's get all the transmogs and all the levels and yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, no thank you. I don't get nearly enough sleep to be able to do that. Right, the patterns are uh, the patterns are bot most of them. That explains. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, am I gonna get a drop? What am I, so I'm on 16 out of 23. I only need one thing to drop to push us over 70%. Only one. Just one. Do we think we're going to get the one? Oh. Oh, it's a bop anyway. Doesn't matter. I cannot allow you to use it here. Fathom Stone. Robe of Hateful Echoes. Stone. Amazing. So that'll bump us to 17. On fear. On oh, I'm 18 on here. 18 out of 27. Um, but that's because there's patterns and shit like that, um, which can't don't show up on fear. So that puts us at 73.91 for fear. I'm still going to finish the run. Uh, me thinks you're overpowered with this content. Yes. This is from the first expansion. Burning Crusade was the, the one after vanilla. Um, so yes, I'm incredibly overpowered. That's kind of what makes it sort of fun. Uh, so. Oh, okay. No, there is another, there is another sub 60 dungeon I have to do. I forgot about that one. Good evening, Fox. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Is VROB? Not usually. Not usually. Oh, shit. I missed Loco. That's right. Wait, do I have fishing on this turn? No. <laughs> Oops. I don't have fishing on this dune, so I can't fish up the lurker below. <clears throat> That's fine. Something to remember for next time, I guess. Ha! Remember. In this economy. I'm still gonna whip through and see if we can't get um, some of the other boss stuff. Because the more we get, the longer it'll be before we have to come back here for the rest of it. <clears throat> Unless I flip my mind and decide instead of focusing on the lowest percentage, I pick a dungeon or a raid and just finish it. Good morning, Kana. How you going? Could be having a wonderful one so far.
<clears throat> is there anything that is a threat to you here? No. Yeah, things like transmog hunting and stuff like that, it's not usually something that's going to be, like, threatening or, or whatever. Like, we tend to go back in expansions and collect stuff from there, so if you're looking for something that people might die in and is actually threatening and all that kind of stuff, the, the challenge here is the drop rate, not the difficulty of the content to actually defeat. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Yes, actually, gravity. I'm a mage. I absolutely fall. Gravity does not phase me. Besides boredom, no. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, no, that's the same plans as I got on fear. Twice on fear? I got them twice on fear, apparently. Oh, no! What have you done? I am the master. Do you hear me? I am. He couldn't drop anything for me, so it doesn't bother me. I like chippies. See, looking great as well. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Would anybody like a bomber? Buster, sorry, my bad. Um, Yori, Mai, Z, and Fairy, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. place my healer though I can. Alright, so let's do that. There we go. And then Moringram Tidewalk gets through here. Hopefully we'll get one of the two things that he needs, that I need from him. But we'll see. Oh, excuse me. Talon of Ajara, or Illidari shoulder pads. Lord of the Deep, take you! Ah, oh, noted. This pulls all the trash, almost all the trash. Great turns of Ah, oh, I got the shoulder pads. Yay! 
So that bumps us up to 18 out of 23. Oh. Wait, that's alright. And then off to Lady Vash to see if she won't drop me my vestments at the Sea Witch. There's always a chance. Always a chance. nomi has got his pen and he's ready to go. If you want to get a team together, type exclamation raid and then the amount you'd like to wager. <clears throat> oh, Dunno has triggered a raid. Dunno is trying to get a team together. Exclamation raid and then figure if you would like to join in. If you win, you get your koala coins back one and a half times. Uh, and if you lose, you don't get any back. Pretty simple. Uh, keep in mind that these are koala coins, not embers. Embers are channel points, which are handled by Twitch. This is a different currency that is handled by the bot. So if you're saving up for a currency reward, a channel currency reward, then no fear, you can still do this one as well. You can still participate. <clears throat> Spyglass of the Hidden Fleet. Delightful. It's a bop trinket. Hey, Barry, how you going? Welcome back. You've had a lovely weekend. And what I didn't do on fear, I'm gonna go clear this platform because I forgot about that. Forgot that that existed. Uh, so with the voice command, uh, the voice redemptions in the channel points, you, uh, if you actually read the redemption, uh, it says to pop exclamation voice into chat before you do the redemption. Um, so that you can stick the voice that you want into the channel, into the text box for the redemption. Um, because otherwise it's sitting in my redemption queue as voice and I don't know what that is. Um, I'm alright. We had a parry out yesterday. Oh no, Barry! I'm so sorry to hear that. That sucks. That sucks. I'm assuming you've got it back now, considering you said it was it was yesterday. It's fine. Like only three hours. Oh, that's not too bad. It could yeah, that could have been a lot worse. Uh, well done, Apathy, on winning the raid. Good job. Alrighty. Here we go, Vash. Please may I have the vestments of the sea witch. Yes, I can. Literally three times over. Look at that. Holy shit, that's amazing. Alright, so it's 19 out of 23. Um, so we're gonna switch back to Fear and we're gonna go to Zulaman. We're gonna hit up ZA. Wait a second. Oh, cause right, cause the old one's not available anymore, right? They changed it in the cataclysm. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to the place. Kick her in the balls. I mean, the lower half is like a snake. So like, she has like baubles in her hair though, so what if I kick her in the head? Does that work? Hey Gator, how you going? Welcome on in. Just type voice in first for redeeming. Indeed! Indeed you were. A stretch, fantastic. I do have quite a few things to get through. Give me a minute. I've got quite a few redemptions to get through. Because as per usual, I had like 20 fucking hydrates drop at the start of stream. Um can't do them all at once because I will drown. Kick her in the chest balls. That also works. We can kick her in the chest balls. <laughs> oh, Lord. 
I'm gonna take a pet bear to Z8. Any bear is fine. Noted. Um, I've already done a share stream. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wonder what the fa fastest way is going to be to get to ZA these days. stretch to do while I'm waiting for G-Hub to install updates. <clears throat> hey Josh. Welcome back. Strathon, perfect. No, 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 no. Enter the green portal. Yeah, let's go with the hydro bear cub. No, 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 fuck. That's not a green portal anymore. Is it ever a green portal, I wonder? I miss running ZA. I ran my guilds, ZA runs, back in BC, every three days after raid. Uh, we'd go in and we had, um, like, we, we ran with, like, DKP or, or some equivalent for the, the raids, but um, we had Zulaman points, or zaps, and uh, when we did the run, if you were the highest on the zaps that week, you would get the bear. And if there was a two people who, or two or more people who were tied for the top, then they'd randomly roll. Like they'd just do a roll slash roll for it. Um, <clears throat> and everyone, everyone who turned up for the runs, regardless of whether or not they were in the instance, um, we'd have people jump in the group and like sit in group three and four and stuff. And even if they were there the whole run, they'd also get a zap for for being there, ready to jump in if they had to. Um, so yeah, it was it was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. I had a lot of fun doing those. It was my first real taste of like proper raid leading. 
rather than just kind of helping with calls or helping with strats and stuff that was the first thing that I actually ran top to bottom. It was good fun. We're gonna doing Corthia's storyline when everyone else was doing it. So many elites to kill takes so long. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, we will likely, like, next round of story, 9-2, I will likely be doing it each Wednesday as it goes live, like I did this time round for 9-1. Just because, like, I do like to stay on top of that kind of stuff. Um, so as long as you can be patient and understand that I'm going to read every fucking quest aloud, then, uh, <laughs> then uh, of course, you'd be welcome to come along. Okie dokie. I need to re-bring up all this shit again because uh, I did the thing. Is this only heroic? Yeah, it is. Heroic, perfect, which means I only get one go. <laughs> oh, I forgot there was gear from the second and third chests as well. I don't think we're going to have an issue with the timing. I don't think there's going to be an issue, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, lips. Okay, I can do that. I'm still waiting on, like, G-Hub is still saying installing updates, so, and I can't do the mic, because the micro thing, the microphone thing, the, the voice change is through G-Hub, so I can't do anything with that until it finishes updating, um, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but if it does not, like, if it bugs out and it just, it says updating constantly, then I'll just refund you the points. No biggie. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's having a time. Aaron Flair? Right, let's see if I can remember this without the Zygo thing. So we talk to Vol'jin, tell him we're ready, and then we bang the gong. <clears throat> we have to hit the gong at the same time as Vol'jin. Well, we needed to have, like, you know... And sometimes it happened really quickly, and sometimes it took 27 minutes before we'd actually get one to hit at the same time as Vol'jin. If you don't hit it, he just walks back and he's like, apparently you don't want to open the fucking gate. I'm oh, playing Portal 2. <laughs> oh yeah, Jack. For fuck's sake. It was a lot easier when you had five fucking people or ten people bashing the goggle at the same time. One of us was bound to hit it at the same time as Vol'jin. <laughs> oh no, 
movie, clearly. Clearly. Come on, dude. This isn't broken or something, is it? Like, they haven't bugged out. I'm gonna get fucking RSI on my finger. Remember? Yeah. Come on, Vulgen. We can hold. We can hold. We can and holdin'. Nothing's happening. There we go. Took a sweet ass time, eh? It's fortune's time. You just go open the door. No. No, fairy, that's the that was the mechanic for the for the whole thing. That's how you open the door. <clears throat> Alrighty. The spirit's gonna feast today. Begin the ceremonies. Sacrifice the prisoner. Oh, fuck. Are oh, the hex sticks? <gasps> After the run, oh my god, the fucking hex sticks. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm gonna make the time of you guys. I'm a little nervous. Cut real close. Oh, I know, right? Super fucking close. Like seconds to go. That's one item down. I'm pretty sure that puts us over 70%, but I'm still gonna do the full run, because I always do. And I've got so much shit to get from here anyway. <clears throat> get the move on, guards. It'll be killing time. Luckily this whole place is all outdoors, so even though I forgot to empty my bags, if they get full, I can just mount up and run while I sell. Gods, go already! Who you be more afraid of, huh? Them or me? Right now, 
Ride out there and bring me back some heads. <coughs> smell the strangers. Don't be delayed with my patience. Come to me now. I make your sacrifice soon enough. Nellarak, Brutes of the Ursine. Bam. Analyze the next one, right? Yeah. Stuck on turret. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Ow. Excuse me. I'll get back here. It's been so long since I've been in here. This is fun. All right, Janelai. May I have Janelai's spoulders? Your spoulders, if you will. Be your yes, I may. Guys, three for fucking three. Where's the? Don't be shy. Thousands have come before you. you not be alone. Where's the me. prisoner for this one? Or is there not one? I guess not. I can't see one, and there's no one yelling at me, so... Obviously doing it wrong. Clearly, clearly. Ah, uh, no K on that one, Jared. Like Murloc. Murloc's spelt without a K. <laughs> there you go. Hope you're doing well. So many fucking hex sticks, holy shit. Actually. Uh. 
I have many lucky dudes you like. <clears throat> yeah, I'll do it. Baby tune da 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 baby tune da 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 Oh, that pull was so deadly. You get a tank to inch forward and then run back. Want some of my jungle love. And there's a bunch of little ones, it's fine, but when it's all big ones, ugh. I'm wondering if your beer's watching the cricket. Well done. Well done. Yeah, I'm not doing too badly. Ripper of a headache, but um that's alright. Any of my priests be happy to accommodate you. A fucking Hex Lord Malacras had a trinket, I think it was, that I wanted so badly. And I couldn't like it would not drop. Oh my god, I got the one item I needed from him too. The wrist wraps. Holy shit. Assist me. How are you? And then you had to run around and break all the faces. Yep. <clears throat> There's a circle in like where they hit you guys to know if it's seen that high. Uh, I don't think so. We had the marine warning, but I don't think we actually got any weather. I don't think we got any actual weather weather. There's the Armani Battle Bear. What about the other chests? Like where do they pop up? Do you have to go back to the other platforms and grab them? I think you did. Killing Nalak Bear, add five minutes. Killing Axe on Eagle, add five minutes. Other bosses were not good. Uh, loot from the event is dependent on the number of hostages you rescue. Do this and talk to Vulture and start the event. 15 minutes per. Five minutes. Um. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't give me waypoints for it, but I feel like it must be like at the actual platforms where I rescued them. Just, just uh, love the new merch. Oh, thank you. Um, it's not particularly new. Um, we've had the merch for a while, but I am working on getting some new stuff for my sixth year anniversary, like my six year anniversary on Twitch. Uh, so keep an eye out. The range will expand soonish. So do you realize your hair was I don't like sit down off it. It's just been cut actually. I got I had like a good couple of inches taken off it. Um because it, it was like it was down to like here, like under under my boobs, basically. Um, but it was all like straggly and gross and the ends were totally dead. Um, so yeah. But yeah, no, I had it cut very recently, which is good. Hey OV, welcome back. Thirsty. Uh, right, okay. Why is there a winky face with that? I don't get it. Uh, make you sad to cut off the brush? No, not at all. Um, I wanted it, firstly I wanted it shorter because it was getting to the point where it was kind of a little bit hard to manage. Uh, and secondly, I cut off a lot of damaged hair. A lot of the hair that's left is really quite healthy. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. Um, ah, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. So there's coins and satchel. Coins, 
coins. Brilliant. So obviously I'm supposed to stick around and unlock the stuff, but you know. Oh well. <clears throat> Fresh starts indeed. So you diet often. If that much is healthy, you must look after it. Um well I used to be permanent dye. Um back before the pandemic I used box dye from like Priceline and that did damage my hair not just that but my autoimmune meds also did some horrible stuff to my hair um so it was really dead really really damaged at the end that kind of stuff but then when the pandemic hit and I came off my meds and I came off the box dye and I that's when I started using manic panic um since then my hair's been a shitload healthier so yeah that's kind of the where the change has happened you could almost like when when it starts to fade, you can see a line in my hair where the the um uh where the what's it dye the semi permanent sticks better, um and then there's a part where the box dye is damaged it so much that the semi permanent just kind of falls out of it after a while. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Where is the? Oh, there we go. Trunk. <clears throat> Leather boots, that's okay. I've got a really decent amount of loot from this run. I am not angry at it at all. I want to see if I can find where the... I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be another hostage at the next one. So that's that second chest one. And then there should be a third chest up at the next platform. But I, um, I didn't, I couldn't find it. Oh, um, it's cool. There's to be so much about hair beauty, such a kind help. But notice that's okay. Totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, no anger at raid. Good, good. Yeah, for sure. Oh, there he is. Okay, there's Nokani. All right, but I can still. <clears throat> so this should be the third chest. So I could get a voodoo hex blade from this. Could. We'll see. That's right, I remember like waiting and I'm like, guys, this is a timer, fucking, yeah. So it's really sad who's used to use this as a dummy often, of course. Of course. G Hub is still installing updates. Maybe if I close it and restart. Big tanks. There we go. So it was plate, but that's alright. At least I found it and opened it. That's what matters. Alright. Now, we're gonna hop on through and visit Hex Lord Malakas. Man, these minis are actually really nice. Agreed. Agreed. Look at school. The shadow gonna fall on you. Oh now, everybody try to keep the Amani Empire down. Now we got friends. We with the Zandalari now. We part of something bigger. You can't stop us all! The whole world going to drown in blood! <laughs> the Zand maybe me for, but the Amani Empire. And another one. Going to die. There we go. Holy shit. 27 out of 32. We start at 23. Why does it say 32 now? It should be 33. Ugh, whatever. Um, shit, not bad. 27 out of 32. And my lowest is now 70%. That's terrifying, but also wonderful. All right, cool. So that's done. 
<clears throat> Fucking so many hex sticks. I think I've got, yeah, I've got everything from the hex sticks. So that's all right. So what I'm going to do, we're going to start working on all 12 classes. How terrifying is that? Battle? Fantastic. Hey, nurse. Welcome back. Oh, let me trace my sheet. It's nursing homes together. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, so, I'm switching to warrior. What the hell? Fear on a warrior? What the hell? So, let us jump to the warrior and we're going to go and do Seat of the Triumvirate. And then he'll get out. I mean, all three of my 60 ults are melee. I have a DPS monk, a feral druid, and a rogue. So, you know. It has been it has been thought that the only reason I play Fire Mage is because it plays like a melee. It's fast. It's quick. There's no, like, waiting for cast times and shit. Uh, congratulations to Yori, Doop, Faden, and Fairy on all your bonus shits! Which would I enjoy? Me too. Me too. Oh, it's a skin chest. You ready? We've got, excuse me, three skins that we can pick up. Let's see what we can find. Warrior, but that's not a mage. I know, right? Plays like a paladin. Look, get fucked, yeah? <laughs> oh, dear. All right, can't play Templar just yet. Um, get assist with armored units. I could have sworn I got at least an assist or two. How have I got none? my healers. I collect the event tokens because there's another one after this. <laughs> sure, maybe we'll try. But hey, Lux, how you going? Okay, okay. Seats in Legion, right? Yeah, it's the one that like look at look at this. Five out of thirty-eight. Good lord, that's such a low percentage. Um, there is also a quest in here, though, that's going to ma make a massive difference. Um, so... God, not having portals is going to trip me up so much with this. There's cheesecake. Oh, I fucking love cheesecake. Garrison gameplay. I mean, that's home for all my tunes. They just sit in the garrison because that's what I used to make gold. Cheesecake is delightful. Love me some cheesecake. Okay, and then it's the... The one up here. I don't think I'm going to be able to do Mythic because I'm only 50. But we can try. We can try. Lurking place things immune is about to head to bed soon. Not a problem at all, Lox. Jamaican chocolate American baked style. Chocolate high ink. Enjoy. Enjoy. I don't think we have anything in the house for dessert. There's jelly we can make, but that has to set. Brownie? I don't have the ingredients for brownie seeker. I don't tend to keep flour and stuff in the house because um, it's not good for my belly. I also don't have any cocoa. 
because I intentionally used all of that up and then haven't purchased any more. Jelly crystals on ice cream? That would involve needing ice cream, which I don't have. Trust me, if I had dessert in the house, I'd fucking know about it. Yeah? <laughs> I know what I'm doing, y'all. I know what I'm doing. Alright, let's give this a go. See if I can do this on Mythic and just, like, see how we go. so far so good. Obviously trash is not bosses, but that's okay. Yeah, but I'm also trying to not gain weight, so if I was going to make a dessert, if I was going to actually intentionally have a dessert, it would be something like uh, bananas blended with coconut milk with a dash of cinnamon uh, in a popsicle mold. Like, I'm not trying to put on any more weight than I already have, because like others, I've put on a shitload of weight during the, uh, the panini, and I'm actively trying to work against putting more on, because it's not good for my joints and stuff. How much am I eating? This isn't the heaviest I've been in a while. I think a lot of people are, Vee. I think a lot of people are. Cool. I mean, as, as much as I love baked goods and shit, like, absolutely. Yeah, it's, um, there's, there's a reason I don't have any flour in the house. It's, um, I'm trying to move back towards at least some semblance of AIP, but there's so much food in the house that isn't AIP, and I can't just throw it out. That's such a horrible waste, and one thing that I'm, like, really, I cannot, food wastage pisses me off. Food wastage absolutely pisses me off. Um, so I'm trying to, we're trying to use up everything that we have that isn't AIP. Um, like we've got a, a big tub of peanut butter and I've been doing peanut butter overnight oats for Jas, So that he eats it and it gets used and doesn't go bad and doesn't get tossed. But I'm not the one having it kind of thing. Um, and that's how I used up all the cocoa that we had as well. Um, cause cocoa is not AIP. Um, I made a bunch of like choc mint overnight oats or like choc raspberry or... or just plain shock um, uh, oats for for him. I think we did a shock strawberry at one point. We had leftover Nesquik, um, and so I dumped a bunch of powdered Nesquik and some cocoa into the overnight oats mix. And he said he really liked it. So hey, there's that. In case anyone's like, how do I use up this drink thing without actually using milk? Um, that's a thing. But yeah, so I mean, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. But there's still, there's still a few bits and pieces in the house that I'm trying to get rid of. But yeah, like the like banana cinnamon, maybe a tiny dash of honey. It does, like depending on how ripe the bananas are, you don't necessarily need the honey. But um, yeah, that kind of shit's delicious. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Follow me. It sounds super tasty. I feel like you're peeking. The mo who sticks the pre cut wasted by kids' fruit in the freezer. Yeah, right? And but that's that's perfect. And that's so good as well because frozen fruit makes baller fucking smoothies or popsicles or what you do with the yogurt and stuff, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, running cupboards down as I was concerned, stuff wasn't being used, seems to be going well, food costs have been down the last few and isn't it awesome? Like when you do like a whole goddamn fucking week's worth of groceries and it only costs you like 20 bucks. It's like, holy shit, what am I doing? Have I missed something? It's so good. I mean, obviously yours would be more than that because you have like multiple, like more people to feed. But yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, what's AAP? Um, usually in WoW people call say AAP to refer to Azeroth Autopilot, but I assume, Mesprit, what you're looking for is AIP. 
um, which is autoimmune protocol. It's an elimination diet that's designed to pinpoint um, food intolerances in somebody with an autoimmune condition, like myself. Um, the idea is you eliminate a ton of shit, like a ton of stuff. It's easier to talk about what you can eat than what you can't eat. Like the, you eliminate tons and tons of stuff. And then once you've been doing that for a few months, it's not intended to be permanent. This is not a permanent thing. Um, you start adding things back in one at a time to see what your body reacts to. Um, but yeah, it's it's rough. I did it for, for a while, a while ago. Uh, and my body was the healthiest it's ever been. Like by a long shot, I was, I was so healthy. Um, it was amazing. And then the pandemic hit and everything went to shit. And I was, I was really not, not coping well with life in general. There was a bunch of stuff that all sort of happened at the same time for me. And, and I, and I went for comfort food because comfort food makes me com you know, comfortable. Um, but I'm, I'm looking at going back and, and trying to do the AIP thing again and then reintroducing foods as I was supposed to rather than just all at once because of stress. Um, but we'll see how I go. We're only human. We can only do the best we can do. And uh, I have limited willpower. <laughs> There's supposed to be a quest around here somewhere is it gonna show me oh for god's sake trivial quests there we go i think maybe trash drops a quest item or something in here that's how i get those um appearances the uh the um nine appearances which is gonna knock a decent chunk out of what i need to actually collect in here um um Oh, your smallest ate four frozen smoothie pops for dinner. Again, thought mummy had gone mad. That's amazing. That's awesome. That's hilarious. It's so cute. So cute. Wait, shit, where am I supposed to be going? Oh, it's all the way up there. Whoops. Let's go up there then. Um, how is everyone tonight doing well? Yes, Earl, AIP. That's right. Who does AIP understand? Fantastic. But yeah, it's, um... It's hard. It's it's really, really rough. Um, you basically, uh, when I was doing it uh, here in Australia, there was nothing pre-packaged that I could just buy and eat because everything had something in it that wasn't AIP. Um, so every like if I ate anything, it had to be prepared by me, which that takes time. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes energy. And um, it's so yeah, it, it can be a bit rough, uh, especially when you're just you're exhausted or you're just run down or there's like, you know, you're stressed or you're sad. Something has happened and you just you don't want to deal with life and you just want to go grab something easy for dinner. But you can't because you can't eat any of it because there's stuff in it that you can't have. So it, it sucked in some ways, but I was just super fucking healthy. So I really want to give it another go uh, and see if I can't, you know, work something out. But we'll see. We'll see how it go. Are you going through that? Yeah, it was a while ago. I don't know what I trying to explain. Oh dear. Uh, there was so much willpower involved. There was. There was a fair bit. It was a, it was a, it was a fair bit. You should have a command for AIP. There is one, but I disabled it a while ago because I'm not on it anymore. Um, Cheesecake is how you're doing. I think otherwise doing okay. Because shortly. Chilling life did an elimination diet for over a year, lost 80 pounds, all the, th all the things, the weight loss and elimination was supposed to help actually got significantly worse for about six months on, uh, which was way too long in the first place. Yeah, that's, it's the thing. It's, it's an elimination diet. It's designed to be done with your medical professional's involvement. None of it, like this kind of stuff is, not, and, and AIP is a very, um, they call it a weight normalizing diet. It's not weight loss. Like a lot of people hear diet and think, ah, oh, they think weights. But it's not at all the case. A diet is literally what you eat. If you have a diet that is heavy in meat, or a diet that is vegetarian, or a diet that is vegan, like these are all different types of diets. Um, so, yeah, it, it was just, it's designed to not be done super, super, super long term. Um, you can do it for a little, like, a, like the ideal length of time is around three months to get you. So the idea is you get yourself to a baseline of health. Once you are healthy, 
that's when you start adding things in and notice things like if you're getting bloated or if you're getting like if you start experiencing insomnia again or if your other autoimmune symptoms start showing up then maybe that's a food you should avoid um, or you can eliminate it again and once you get back down to the baseline again you can try it in like a smaller dose or something to see okay maybe i can only have a little bit rather than a whole fucking glass of milk maybe i can only use it as a cooking ingredient or something like that you know what i mean it's it's yeah, because everyone's different. Everyone's body is going to be different. Um, but yeah, it's it's designed that you don't do it forever. Um, there are some people who do. There are some people who, after they add in the one or two things that they really, really love and can't live without, they stop adding more things in because they're happy with what they're eating and, and it's balanced and they're fine with it. And sure, why not? And key, they continue to be healthy. Like, that's it's really important. Um, it's You've got to listen to your body. You've got to really kind of... Uh oh do that kind of shit. but as with any any changes to your eating or anything like that you should absolutely consult a medical professional before doing anything like that i did i did and they checked over it and they said yep okay this is fine as long as you make sure you eat plenty of this particular food on the list and this one and that one and the other one like they were they were very clear with me um with how far i could take it kind of thing um, but yeah, as long as you listen to them, you should be fine. Uh, hey, a tree. Eighty pounds is a lot in six months. What did she eliminate? I started growing food again to help me eat healthier. Hey, if I was able from stream for ages, moving an IBC into a new spot to water my new gardens. Beautiful. Throat's still sore. Lost voice now. I'm gonna get it tested tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. Uh, based around a daily rotation and she worked with her primary on it but things seem to be going so well at the point we should have started reintroducing things she just kept going until it was too long just needed to stop haven't managed to go back and try it in a more measured way yeah so it sounds like um the the diet although it eliminated a bunch of stuff that was obviously not so great it also wasn't particularly balanced in like all the nutrients and stuff um vitamins and minerals and whatnot so after a while maybe again not a medical professional but it, it sounds like from my own experience it sounds like after a while um she started becoming deficient in stuff which made things worse but um her primary would know much much better like far better than i would obviously obviously void more is up interesting okay um What am I missing? My pets hunger. I didn't interrupt that. I didn't, and I'm an empty. Perfect. Tactical. Pay more attention, actually win. Noted. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good lord. Am I actually on Mythic? I am. Yes, okay, cool. This will do nicely. You'll it's find their viceroy near the entrance to the fish. temple. You're always the first boss. Cool. Um. Starting point less is strange for me as my job is so physical. I can get everything I want and still drop a few pounds in a long week. Yeah, but not everyone can, McBainy. Um, as you said, like, you know, it seems strange to you, but other people, like, both my jobs, I work two jobs, and both of them are sitting at this desk. Literally. Um, even if I was going to my place of work and not working from home for my day job, um, I'd still be sitting at a desk. Um, I don't like, you know what I mean? Um, whereas Jas, my, my head mod, housemate, all that kind of stuff, his his job, his full-time job is physical labor. So he's quite similar to you. He eats pretty much whatever he wants, however much he wants of it, and he doesn't gain weight. Like, it's it's just, it's like that. Um, because he's burning off so many calories during the day. But again, not everyone has, not everyone is able to do that. 
even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to work a particularly physical job because of the damage I've got to my joints because of my auto autoimmune condition. Um, but yeah, like everyone, every everyone's bodies are different and stuff. <gasps> oh. Oh, hey. Thank you. You're welcome. Yum. Thank you very much. I like bubble tea. Mm. Mum did something like that. Mm. Mm. Interesting locks. After two years of just changing to healthier foods, she was down 30 pounds. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, what we put in is a big part of, like, health. Everything in moderation. Mm, definitely more along for you, so I think it's easier to say what she could eat. Yeah. Yep. Uh, friend does a keto diet. He says it helps him manage to say BDC seems happier and healthier. So there's that. That's awesome. That's brilliant. Like, yeah, happy, happier and healthier is the big thing. Um, and doing it in conjunction with a medical professional, even if that's just your GP. Like, if you have a more complex medical condition like I do, and you have specialists that you see on a regular basis, like I do, absolutely, like, talking to them about, hey, may I, you know, I've heard about this thing, do you think maybe it might help? Um, and then, you know, a lot of the time they'll kind of, either they've heard of it before and so they'll be able to give you an answer, or they haven't and they'll want to go away and do some research before they come back and say, like, this is what I think about it in relation to your your personal medical conditions. But yeah, like, definitely just keeping having someone keep an eye on your health while you do that kind of stuff, because, you know, it may be, like, AIP is exceptionally balanced. If you do it right. Like, there are, there are certain foods that it recommends you eat, like organ meats, liver, and heart, and kidney. Like, awful, right? So if you do AIP, but you don't incorporate those types of things because, ew, icky, then you're going to end up deficient in shit. And that's not going to be healthy for you to do. So you need, like, when you're doing these kind of things, you absolutely need to make sure that you have a medical professional involved so that you don't end up damaging your body long term. Because I'm assuming, yeah, you know, if you're trying to, if you're trying to get healthier in whatever shape that takes, it's not always losing weight. Sometimes it's just a reduction of symptoms and things like that. But if you are looking to be healthier, the last thing you want to do is fuck yourself over long term because you accidentally didn't have any X. You know, like, yeah, be careful. Legitimately take care of yourself. Don't just jump on a fad diet because it sounds good or because it worked for your friend. Everyone has a different body. I want to have fresh food available. I'll eat it rather than junk. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Just by us. Even me, McBain, even also if you eat shit all week, it makes you feel mentally shit, even if you don't put weight on, etc. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's it's like putting subpar fuel in a car, I would imagine. I don't drive. But, like, what you you get out what you put in. Uh, I took a bit for her and struggled, but it was just getting a baseline of your health with healthy foods and meals. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I can't deal with the textures of waffle. Fair enough. Fair enough. Much agree. Yeah, I agree with the food comments. Mm. Yeah, it's a. Uh, um, I found a lot of ways to use offal that were absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Um, I found that liver, when chopped up really, really, really small, uh, and cooked like cooked properly, not just like kind of cooked like a steak, but like cooked properly, borderline overcooked. Um, it has the same texture as mincemeat. And so what I would do is I would make a pasta sauce or something, uh, except obviously no pasta. <laughs> um, I, I would make some kind of like mincemeat based dish, but I'd sub out a quarter of the mince for chopped up liver. And it was perfect. Excuse me, that is very rude. How dare you push me out like that. But yeah, like it, it's not gonna work for everybody. Um, and if that kind of stuff doesn't work for you, then it's not going to be the diet for you. Like, you need to be careful and be sure and, you know, it's that kind of a... Yeah. That's why it's so important to have um, medical professionals involved with you. And with your experimentation. Hey, I finally got something! 
And it's an upgrade. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Is it actually an upgrade? It is by 10 item levels. Holy shit. Holy shit. So what is this? Ensemble Venerated Triumvirate Battle Plate. Understood. Champions, once the door is open, clear the way to Luna. Venerated Triumvirate Battle Plate. Ah, uh, hate living with kidney cook normally. I love haggis. Amazing. Do you want to apologize? I was made aware I may have been oversharing before. I'm sorry if it was. Ah. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, thank you for apologizing, but I, I don't, I think I'm okay, but it, someone else may have felt that way or something, but that's, that's totally, yeah, no, I'm. Thank you for recognizing that it may have been an issue for some people. That's, that's, you know, awesome of you to, to step up and, and say that. So I think I'm fine, but. Yeah. Uh, Alright, what am I? There's Ensemble. Venerated. Triumvirate Battle Plate. Alright. I need to figure out, because I know it's a quest, but I don't know how I get the quest. An award from this quest. Because I have a feeling I need to get onto the quest before I start my heroic run. The quest chain for this starts from glowing key fragment. Such chaos. Such anguish. Okay. Harry Forge. Covering the pieces. Forging key to the past. See the Okay, so it's a. Uh, falls into void this way. The few cases I know of have occurred when mortals were involved. What fascinating implications. So it can drop from literally so anything in here. Made, including the bosses. Okay. Alright, so I might have to go back and kill all the trash after this is done. Mm. Ooh. I love the way that sauce is caramelized. That looks amazing. Seize the power of the portals a little. It can become your weapon. Thank you so much. Sorry. <laughs> I did a little bit at it, please. When I've finished this boss, I need to show you guys. The sauce on the veggies. Oh, holy fuck, that's hilarious. That's okay. Um, we've got, I think we've got like hoisin. Do you like hoisin? I like hoisin. I have to show you guys, it's fucking hilarious. Um, always have to apologize for something if I was at fault for it. Yeah, well, the, yeah. Weakness will become your strength. Um, I just wake up alive. Hello, Kylie. Welcome to the land of the living. Is that Jas? It is indeed Jas. It was, yeah. It really is. GG Jas, head chef, indeed. It's at the back of the fridge on the top shelf. <laughs> it's in a glass bottle. Yellow lid. Upside down, I think. Because I was trying to get it to get to the bottom of the bottle. Top of the bottle. Hey! More collection. How do you feel? Alright, so do I have this glowing? I don't. Okay. The voices are louder now. 
I just want to play Mario Party. It's so much fun, isn't it? So this is dinner. It's it's the apricot pork we had the other day. But um, check out, do you see this little brown like sploosh just at the bottom here? That's the sauce that Jess managed to get out of the bottle. Thank you. See, upside down. Glass bottle. Let's see if I make a mess with this. It seems my training is complete. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're making a we need to test oh, the yeah, limits of this delicious new taste power. Do what? 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 Hmm. Are you okay? Hold it. Hold the bottle with that hand because it's cold. It's so nice. <laughs> The meat looks delicious. It looks phenomenal. Like the sauce is just caramelized beautifully on there. It didn't last time, but this time it has just got, oh, mm, yes, yes. Fuck COVID. Yep, agreed. Bedtime, good night, luck. See you next time. And some warm water, that'll help. The, oh, the sauce. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. I like, I like cold sauce. I know it'll melt it and like get it down to the bottom and stuff, but then I have to wait for it to cool down again. All right, so we need to like. <clears throat> get the tablet out of the trash. But apparently it's like a super rare drop, so this will be fun. Tomato sauce in the fridge kind of yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I really like temperature differentials in my food. Like really, really like temperature differentials. So um, hot food, cold sauce, cold food, hot sauce. Um, so like um, cold tomato sauce, as you said, except I am definitely more of a barbecue sauce gal. Um, uh, fucking apple crumble, hot apple crumble out the oven with cold custard or ice cream, uh, ice cream with hot fudge sauce. Um, that kind of stuff, like those sort of temperature differentials are everything. They just, it's just good. It's just fucking good. Mm, nothing better than a hot meat pie with cold tomato sauce. Exact opposite, hate hot waffle with a dollop of ice cream on it. Fair enough. Is that, is that because you don't like the hot and cold or is it because you don't like that the ice cream melts and makes the waffle soggy and stuff like Because there are different reasons to dislike something, you know. Hot and cold, that hurts me tooths. That's interesting because I've got really sensitive teeth but it doesn't hurt my teeth at all. 100% right, we can be friends. Sure I don't like the hot and cold? Fair enough. Fair enough. I found the hot and cold. Totally fair. Teach their own. Exactly. It means that if we're having ice cream, I get all the hot sauce. And if we're having waffles, I get all the ice cream. Okay. Now that I'm not in combat. Did I get a skin? I did! Wait, didn't I already have that skin? I am confused. That's fine. Yay for skins. Let me know if you got a skin. Uh, congratulations to Lox, V, Meaty, Seeker, Dwarfy, Yori, View, Zam, and Faden on all of your bonus shit. So many bonus shits. <laughs> Winning, good point. Uh huh. Always looking, well, always trying to look for the positives, V. Always. I'm sad. I don't know where dad keeps the drill bit, so I can't even be cool and put up the shelves I want myself. Aw, Shiba. Um, is there anywhere in your house that would make sense for them to be? Um, some places are obviously things like garage, um, but also like the very bottom drawer in the kitchen is a really popular place for like simple construction bits like screwdriver and hammer or drill bits rather than, you know, there's not going to be a fucking 
chainsaw in there or a circular saw um but just like the little like the furniture fixy uppy kind of bits might be in there um yeah i'm trying to think of anywhere else that you could think of uh no templar get five assists with armor. why am i not getting any assists with armored units am i gonna place one fucking tank and get all of them no because there's no assist like i'm trying to get scrolls at the same time Maybe the vampire? I don't know. Look, let's just try. Let's just try. Oh. I can level up my fucking vampire. Oh, and my artillery witch. Beautiful. Beautiful. Place your units, everybody. Okay, so they don't respawn at least. That makes me feel better. I mean, if they respawned, I doubt they'd drop anything useful. Um, should, have you got a Demon Hunter tune that you play? Uh, define play. I have four Demon Hunters. I don't play any of them to, like, I play my, the only character I play and, like, keep up to date with gearing and stuff is my mage. But I absolutely play all of my tunes. I log into all of them at least every couple of days. Ah, uh, Master Butterfly Rock got all the good shits that raid. Ah, uh, 666 photo shit. Yes! Absolutely, we have a big toolbox. It's such a mess. I don't know where to look. It's so jam- Oh, no. I mean, see, this is- This is- Okay, brains, right? I'd open that and be like, Oh, the drill bits are probably in here. If I pull everything out and organize it and find the drill bits while I'm in there- it will make it easier to find next time. And then I will clear it out and it will be beautiful and neat and everything. And then I'll put it away and then I'll be like, right, what's next? And I will entirely forget that I was ever looking for the drill bits in the first place. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, we killed them too quickly. A tank isn't actually able to tank them. Fair, fair. Like, I'm just, I want to get, I want to get my assists, but I also, like, I need to, like, I don't want to place a level 30 because I feel like it's a wasted placement, especially considering I get to place one every half hour. <clears throat> uh, I just load up my stream has got a bunch of skins. Apparently gifted. Is that normal? Yes. So if there were skins that were a part of, like, an event that you participated in, um, you will get those skins gifted from captain.tv or from like that. Yeah, that's them. That's like the company. Um, so that's ones that everyone got for participating in a particular event. Yeah. Well, you assume I'd want to organize that thing, Lamau. Yeah, fair. Yeah, fair. Um, it's the community challenge, this event. Yeah. Because it was a lot of skins. It might have been from the last couple as well, potentially, um, depending on how often you log into that account. If you're logging into your viewer account, that you usually use as a captain. If it's been a little while, it might be a few. Also, it has the dates of everything. It'll still have some in that list that you were that you actually got like months ago. Um, so the dates might be like, it might go far back. It just pulls up the entire history every time you get gifted one new one. You can every time you stream. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Would you ever do a stream on your Demon Hunter? Uh, I do all the time, Kylie, when I'm doing leveling streams, because I'm still leveling two of them. <laughs> it just depends on whatever's the lowest level at that time. Oh, we didn't get a bunch of skins. Mm. We've unlocked nine skins so far this event. Yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll happen. I, um... I didn't get mine when I logged in today to start stream because I actually logged in earlier today because I saw that there was an update and I wanted to get it updated before stream. I was actually prepared for once in my fucking life. Updated today. Mm. So they probably, um, if we've unlocked nine, they probably dropped all nine at once rather than like dropping them as they happened because that'd just be a fucking nightmare logistically. <laughs> yeah. Like, they do a lot of work, but, like, fuck that, you know. Mmm. 
being a streamer unprepared in this economy can't relate. Mm-hmm. Look, sometimes I'm alright. Sometimes. Not often. Sometimes. <clears throat> Time zones and miss all the streams. Mostly, oh no, Kylie. That's okay. Well, it happens. It happens. Um, I'm watching about myself, especially this month. We've been all over the place. Obviously, the reasoning's been fair, but still, yeah. I, but it still feels rough. Like when you're trying to figure out, like, okay, what do I need to get done? It's like, well, I missed all this shit and blah blah. Like, I get it. I get it. Um, and yeah, it it is fair. It's you guys have been. And especially as a team as well. Like, I can't imagine if my being able to stream to my fullest was dependent on somebody else. I, I just, I can't. Um, I've never done it like that, and I, I don't think I'd want to, but I have a very particular personality when it comes to that shit. Like, I'd just get super hella frustrated if I was holding my, like, if I felt like, not saying either of you were, but if I felt like I was holding my partner back from doing stuff or or that all the work was on them because I was unwell and then I imagine that I'd feel quite overwhelmed if they were unwell and all the work was on me like I just mm -mm, mm -mm. but then at the same time you can't just clock out entirely when one of you is down especially if you're kind of wanting to get on that growth grind like you've got to keep it up even if it's just one of you who's able to work you know and it ugh, I just couldn't I just absolutely I couldn't <laughs> So much respect for, for you guys and for anyone who, who streams as part of like a, a duo or a trio on one channel. I just, I could not. I, I much prefer it being like on me. If I get shit done, then I get shit done. If I don't get shit done, then that's my fucking, my, my own fucking fault. It's on nobody else. It's my responsibility. Um, but I'm a bit weird like that, so. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm um, just curious what graphic settings do you have? Wow, set to getting a new PC soon. Oh, fantastic. Want to compare specs? Give me just a second, Shad. One moment. Let me have a look because I don't know. Uh, no, not interface. It'd be system, wouldn't it? Uh, five. I'm on five. I think, is that custom though? I think it might be customized. That's what I have, but I know that my PC can do more. I know that my PC can do more, but I, I turned things down a little bit because when you get higher than that, especially at these kind, like I want my PC to be able to devote as much processing power as possible to stream. This is a thing. Like when you're when you're rendering stream as well as rendering a game, your PC is going to handle it differently. Um, so I turn my stuff down because when you're watching it on stream, if I bump it up much further, you're not. You guys aren't going to notice the little differences. Only I will, and there is a potential for the rendering of either the game or the stream to slow down if I bump it up. So this is kind of where it sits for, like, you can't really notice that it's worse than anything and it's still optimum performance as well. So it's kind of a balance between those two. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at your own settings. They will likely be different if you're not a streamer. Um, but, you know, that's okay. Everyone has to use their own settings like, that works for their situation, right? I don't use a two PC setup for streaming. I cannot afford that shit. <laughs> I know there are a lot of people out there who like, they game on one PC and then they send everything through to a second PC and that second PC does all the stream rendering. I am fucking broke as fuck. No, <laughs> I cannot afford to have multiple PCs. Like if I have a PC, I need to sell off the second one, like the, the original one to be able to pay for the fucking first one. So yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't go down there, okay. That's fine. Um, but yes, that is that is my personal situation. So you might find that you'd be able to jack your settings up a fair bit, even if we have the exact same setup. Um, happy Christmas and New Year's is over. I can settle into a stable routine again. Look, I've been trying. I've been trying. It's little things just keep popping up, but... Um, I mean, that's... 
Excuse me, I kind of, at this point I'm assuming that that's just the nature of self-employment, that it's gonna happen like that, and I just need to figure out how to fucking handle it, get over it and move on, and, and get shit done regardless. Um, but it does, that doesn't make it easy. <laughs> it doesn't mean that it's easy. Um, I'm still, definitely still learning, and I feel like I'm always gonna be learning, you know? I, I don't think I'm ever going to be at a point where I'm like, cool, so I know everything there is to know, done. Uh, they've been dropping them as they were achieved. Uh, but if you didn't log in, then you got them when you logged in. Yeah. And I imagine that if you are logged in at the time, it might kind of save them until the next time you logged in to actually give you the notification as well, right? Um, if it were anyone else, nah. Yeah, fair. I mean, you guys have made some, some other level commitments to each other beyond just streaming, hey? And I would also imagine that if the stream ever started to kind of come between you two for difference of opinions and stuff like that, then you just kind of cut it off as well, because it's just not worth losing that kind of stuff over over this. Uh, if you're interested in seeing the skins achieved and working towards, click the community goal button above the captains. Yes! Um, on the map, I've got that little button uh, for me as a captain. So if anyone else is on their captain account, um, you can see it on the map up the top right. When you click it, it opens a page in your web browser. If you're a captain and you're running the program, like the actual desktop application, um, it will open a page in the browser. It does not display it in-game, unfortunately. Because I would have loved to be able to open that up and show you guys what's going on, but they don't do that, so... They just open it up in a tab. Um... I don't all respect for your grind. Ah... Uh, sometimes. I need uh, what I want is a laptop. I would love a laptop that would be able to deal with basic bitch streams, like basic bitch streams. Um, not because I mean I don't plan on fucking traveling. I mean it would help when when Pax kicks back up again and all that kind of stuff. But like I want to go and go on a treadmill and do stream shit. Like I want to check my emails and, and schedule social media posts and all that kind of shit while like on a treadmill or something that would be ideal because then I can multi-fucking-task but not actually multitask you know um I that would just be awesome but that's money I don't have um we have treadmills like, I live in an apartment building and we have like a, a mini gym upstairs that has a couple treadmills and a couple of other machines and stuff so I wouldn't have to buy that but I don't have the money for the laptop okay I think I've literally killed everything at all oh, Actually, I think there's still trash up top that I haven't killed, but I don't know how I get back up there. Let's see. Um, you want PC stream doing you? Yes, because I cannot afford that. Um, Twitch rendering is a little poo poo. Look, it's um, it's interesting. Let's let's say that. Uh, my current PC is set to one. I get like 30 FPS. Thank you, my new PC is similar to yours. I'm happy. Ah, oh, fantastic. Awesome. So you'll probably, if as if you're not a streamer, then you'll probably be able to bump it. I think prior to streaming, I was running it at about seven. Still custom because I had a few things that I just did not care about and other things that I'm like, no, I need this. Um, so I think it was on, I think it averaged out to a seven, but I had a few adjusted. But yeah, being on stream, I bumped it down to a five just to be doubly sure. And it seems to work really well. So yay, go you. Even five is larger than one, so that's good. <laughs> that's wonderful news, Shad. Best of luck with the new PC. Hey, it's such an exciting time. Hey, when you un when you upgrade such a, I mean, here I am is making assumptions about your life, but I don't know about you, but I fucking like game is my thing, and my I use my PC upwards of sixteen hours a day between my day job, my night job, which is streaming, and then like my own personal whatever time. Um, I I use my PC with everything like it's just it's it's yeah <laughs> i spend more time in this chair than i do in bed um which is you know too, yeah mm -hmm. um so having like upgrading a part of that setup just holy fuck it makes you feel like a new person sometimes like just everything is oh so good oh uh, you're gonna skin latches hey fantastic congrats yuri i hope you're feeling better is fear learning always always learning Love your headset. Thank you, Voz. Thank you so much. This is a G733 from Logitech. Uh, it's wireless. It is in the shade lilac. It also comes in blue, black, and white. Uh, and it is so comfortable. It's just so comfy. Um, I got a little microphone cover on here. That's that's removable. That's not like 
<laughs> they're purchased separately. You purchase them in a little box that has like a thumbs up and a heart and lips and a mustache and um, and a star. But um, yeah, no, it's super comfy. Really, really good. Really good quality headset. Much recommend. Did you know you're currently featured on Battle.net app? I did. I did. It's been almost a year. You guys, what the fuck? It's been almost a year since I've been featured on the Battle.net app. On and off. Like, it's. I'm not always up there, obviously, but... Um, yeah. Holy cow. It's been such a journey. Such a journey. Ah, uh, we open the same page plays. Get since open a new tab for us too. Yeah. I'd say it's probably identical. Yeah, you're right. I don't think I'm going to get this item that I need to drop. It starts a quest. Like, it's going to be pretty bloody obvious if it drops, but um, I feel like I'm not going to get it. And that kind of pisses me off because I want to get my ensemble so that I can clear off this um, thing. That's okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, the 1st of February was the first day I was featured on the launcher. So it was about, it was around about this time a month that I actually like announced to you guys that it was even happening. Oh, it was so exciting. So exciting. Tell you what, streamer, just choose up my PC resources. Really? I can't imagine running a game and stream at the same time. Interesting. That's the, the website, Yevi. Um... I know that the so there have been reports previously that there's some kind of potential memory leak in the website um, for stream readers. Um, so I don't run it through the website. As I'm a captain, I have access to a downloadable like desktop application for it. I don't run it through a web page. Um, so like when I get an update, I have to shut down the program and restart it and all this kind of stuff. Whereas you guys just kind of refresh the page. Um, there have been reports in the like the troubleshooting channel in Discord that I've seen them every so often. It pops up that people are saying it's chewing through resources. I would definitely recommend jumping in there and posting your own experiences if possible, because of course the more the more exp the more info they have, the better the chances of them finding a solution. Um, but yeah, it's. I've never experienced it myself just because I don't use the website. Um, which is why I can stream with it. Oh, so it took a long time for it building it myself. Ah, so I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. The big thing about PC building, I've built seven... I think this is the, the, the PC I have now. I think it's the seventh time I've built it from scratch. Like, built it from parts in boxes kind of thing. Um, the big thing with building your own PC is that as long as you are gentle and don't force anything, like don't force something to fit into a slot, like if it doesn't click in naturally, it's not going to go. So if you don't force anything, the chances of you breaking something while building it is slim, exceptionally slim. So if you go to put something in, like the times that I, the, the number of times I've built a PC and I've pressed the power button and it just hasn't turned on and I'm like, fuck, fuck fuck, what have I broken? Shit, 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 shit. And so, and then I'm like, oh, what do I do? Um, I think one time it was, oh, what? One time it was the restart. I pressed the restart button and it booted up and it turns out I'd plugged in thing. I'd switched the plugs over on the motherboard. Um, and there was another time where I think it was like a volume up or a pause button or something had resulted in the PC turning on. It's just, it's always a result of you plugging something into the wrong place. Very, 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 very rarely are you going to plug something into the wrong place and have it result in it exploding. It just won't do what it's supposed to do if you plug it in wrong. It won't, it won't make it die, it won't fry it, it won't break it, it'll just not function at all. It just won't work. So, like, don't stress too much about it. Read the, read the instructions, and I know people don't like doing that. But fucking read the instructions. The amount of money that you're spending on something like a PC, you don't want to fuck it up. So read the fucking instructions. Like, have a read through, see where things are meant to go. Not just, oh, this looks like it fits here. Let's give that a go. Actually read it. Like, everything. <laughs> everything. All the little pens on the motherboard are labeled. A lot of it's labeled in massive abbreviations or little confusing symbols, but if you read the like the manual that comes with the motherboard, it will explain to you exactly what all those little symbols mean. So just take your time, work through it, and you'll get there. 
um, bring a flashlight <laughs> or like the, the, the light on your phone works just fine as well. Um, it can be helpful to have access to a second set of hands, even if that second set, like I don't let anyone else build my shit. Like if I'm building my PC, I am the one who touches it. Nobody else builds it. No one else even plugs in one thing for me because it's my PC, it's my baby, I'm doing it myself. However, having someone hold the light at a very specific angle can be very helpful. <laughs> so having someone around who's willing to help but can keep their hands off is very, ha very, very good as well. But yeah, you'll, you'll do just fine. I promise. You'll be fine. Does fear swear answer yes, you'll survive. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Damn, good date. It was... Do you mind in the Chrome browser? Yeah. Yeah, I actually remember when I first started watching, it was when you were Logitech comp, you were still affiliate. She's time is funny. That fucking comp, never again. <laughs> never again, holy fuck. If I ever say, oh, you guys, there's this competition and I need votes to win, please tell me no. <laughs> Usually know what happens is not clipping things because you're scared to push out. Yeah, totally makes sense. You'd be concerned. Of course, of course. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Awesome. Thank you so much. Going to jump on. Wow, now I'm following you down. Aw, thank you, Shad. Much appreciated. Building a PC and it doesn't turn on. That's normal. Trust me, I built so many PCs. If it turns on the first time you're building it, I actually worry. Yeah, it's like, okay, so I got that one in the right place. What else? What other possible things? The power button is the best thing to get wrong. Because you immediately know. Immediately. What awesome job did you get? I'm apologizing in advance for this. An illusion. <laughs> fine. That's fine. I lo okay, sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still waiting for my wall mount to ship. I'm so impatient. Oh, no. Someone clipped the no roof of proof when she wants to enter a vote company. Yeah, but like, look, when, I, when it act, if something, honestly, if something pops up that has a vote competition and I still want to enter it, the reward is going to be damn fucking good, hey? Like, if it's so good that I'm actually still considering entering, what does that tell you? Alright. What I get to? 11 out of 38. So I still got some decent drops. And I'm no longer the lo lowest anymore. All right. So we're switching, we're still doing seat, uh, but we're doing it on the shaman. If it turns on the first time, I'd be worried it's about to short out. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm on board as soon as Fierce says I want to do a thing. Oh God. Yep. Mm -hmm. God, that, that contest was something else. I don't think I've ever, like, I think I've never done anything like it. And I don't think I'll ever do anything quite like it again. Like, it was just such an experience. Such an, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world because it, it kind of, like, for those of you who weren't with us, back in April, May of 2021. <clears throat> um, Logitech and Blue Microphones Australia ran a competition called Clash of the Creator. And um, we we had the option to enter, we didn't have to, um, but I, I was approached by the PR company that sent me the microphone um, and the headset. And, uh, and, and now, you know, is my, is my uh, like I'm a Logitech affiliate uh, and that's the, the PR company is who I do that through. So if I need stuff for giveaways or I'm interested in a new piece of Logitech gear, that's who I reach out to and I talk to them. Um, so they invited me to apply and I went, oh, that sounds like fun. And then I saw the prize and I, I, f I just didn't know what to, yeah. Another hydrate. Um, <laughs> so it was, um, the, it basically it was a $5,000 PC. It was um, Logitech gear throughout the year um, for, for 12 months and Logitech gear for giveaways for 12 months and, and an affiliateship 
with Logitech for like being a Logitech ambassador, a Logitech and Blue Microphones ambassador for 12 months. Um, uh, all this, like just all this kind of stuff to do with, and you know, promotions on their social media and all this kind of stuff. And, uh, and I, I just was like, holy shit, this would change my life. This would literally change my life entirely. Uh, and I was, a, I was a Twitch affiliate at the time. Um, it, was, it was just after my fifth year anniversary. Uh, and so I entered and, um, and I just talked about it and I was passionate about it and I, I shared it and I said, hey, here's the link, please do vote. Like this is, this is a big thing for me. This is, this is really huge. Uh, and after the first couple of days, um, I was on top. I had the, the most votes. Um, the whole idea was that um, the top five, the people who had the votes who were in the top five of by, by number, by ranking, um, would be the names would be sent to a panel of judges, and then the panel would choose a winner out of the top five, uh, and that winner would get the whole shitting, uh, and the other four wouldn't. Uh, there was no there was no runner up prizes or anything like that. It was just it was the winner, um, and uh, it was six weeks. The competition went for six weeks, and there was there was drama. There was um, just just so fucking much, um, uh, and so and I like I met met you know online uh, a bunch of the the people who were in the kind of top um, seven or eight, and I as as the days went by, I saw more and more people jumping in the list of of people who, and I'm like, oh, I know that person, and I know that person, and blah 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 blah, um, and as the weeks rolled by, for a good like three or four weeks, I was sitting like in that number one position, and then. Others started getting a lot more votes uh, and started put, and I, you know, I dropped down to, to second and to third and to fourth and to fifth and to sixth. And when I hit sixth, something clicked in my head, something snapped. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, I actually, I really want this. This is not just, oh, wouldn't this be fun? No, I fucking want this. <laughs> and, and so I, we we changed. We uh, we went all out. Uh, I did extra streams. We um, did all sorts of um, like we pushed. We campaigned. Every five or ten minutes, it was there's this thing. I was giving this whole spiel. I was farming for midnight at the time, and it didn't drop. Um, not until afterwards, but um, on the night, like we we were we were pushing. We were pushing, and. Um, on the final day of the, like in the last three or four days of the competition, the rankings from first to sixth kept shuffling, kept chopping and changing and shuffling around and all this kind of shit. And it was the most stressful period of my motherfucking life. I tell you what, um, oh, <laughs> it was just, it was ridiculous. It was posted on all the social media. I had so many people uh, across all my, like my personal life and all this kind of stuff also pushing and posting and all this kind of shit. And um, on the final day, voting closed at midnight. And there was a big timer on the page, a big timer on the page that showed um, when voting was gonna end. And, um, and I, in the last kind of week or two of the, of the thing, I was drawing hearts on my face because it was the little vote thing was a heart, like a like button and you clicked it and that was a yep. And um, so every time we got a new vote and I was verifying, refreshing my page, every time we got a new vote, I, I drew a heart on my face. Um, and on that final day, I think I ended up getting about 200 fucking hearts on my face. And, uh, it, so much so that I had no room left. And so we got Jass in and I started drawing on his face too. Uh, <laughs> and then, um, and then midnight came and we counted it down. We counted it down. And, uh, so I was sitting in sixth at the start of that stream and we pushed and we pushed and we pushed and we pushed and we moved up into fifth. And we kept pushing, we kept pushing, we kept pushing. Uh, and then uh, the person who was in sixth, Dark Mech, you may know him. Um, he was in sixth and he decided to stop. He shut off his stream and he was just like, yeah, I'm done. We're, we're finished. This is, I'm exhausted. I'm done. Um, and, uh, and then the countdown happened and it hit midnight and we were in fifth place. We were in the top five. And I just fucking lost it. <laughs> I broke down. I was a mess. I was an absolute fucking mess. 
Um, and I mean, that was just the first, obviously that was just the first step. Then the council, the, the council, the fucking, uh, the group of people who were making the decision obviously had to make a decision. But um, we, I always knew in my heart of hearts that they would have gone with first place, whoever got the most votes, and they did, uh, which was not us, obviously, we got in fifth. Um, and the fact that it was a top five was just as like a, a um, like a, a, a protective thing for them, like a safety bar like a, a um, safety thing for them in case the person who got in first was some fucking problematic YouTuber who constantly went on racist rants and all this kind of shit, but had this massive trolley, you know, edgelord following who managed to push him into first. It was just a safety barrier for them to be able to say, oh, no, but we said top five. So we're going to pick the same person in second because they're not racist. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it was always going to be that kind of thing. And so we didn't, we didn't win, but that was kind of like that whole competition. Firstly, I met some amazing people through that. Like I met some absolutely incredible, awesome, awesome people. Um, because of that, I, I got my affiliate ship with Logitech because they saw that I fucking wanted it and I pushed and I, I, I ended up getting, I didn't get a five grand PC, but I'm a Logitech affiliate. Um, as you can see, occasionally, is it this side when I'm, yeah, here, over here, I have like, if occasionally a Logitech thing comes up, so like headset, second headset, microphone, keyboard, mouse, giveaways that I've done, all of that has been from Logitech, gifted from them, which is just incredible and what the fuck. But above everything else, it showed me, it made me feel that this is not a hobby anymore. It made me realize that this is what I want to do. This is what is right for me. This is what I want to do. And this is what I want to be as my career. I want to do this. I want to create content. I want to connect with people and I want to fucking have fun and, and spread positivity and all that kind of shit, right? Congratulations to Grubin, Sika, V, v Tree, Heiko, Channel, Dwarfy, and Fairy on all your bonus shit. And also, might I remind you all that that final day of the competition, that final stream that finished at midnight, was the night we hit 75 average viewers. The next day, I put in my first application for partner the day after that competition finished. They did reject me. <laughs> they did reject me for fair reason. Um, I'd had a couple of really, really big raids through that competition for people trying to, you know, support me and help me and get me more votes and shit like that. And so Twitch wanted to see that I could um, maintain those numbers without those pushes from other streamers. And that's totally fair. I get that. Um, I, I didn't hold that against them. So they said, you know, apply again in four weeks. Um, and and we'll reassess. And so I did, and I got it. I got my check mark, uh, and I'm just yeah. So that like that whole journey, like that competition gave me something that I may not have had otherwise. Like and the fact that I dropped out of that top five, and and realized how much I wanted that and the push, the energy that I gave this thing and, and the, the, <laughs> the time and the energy and the mental everything and all that kind of shit. Like, if I hadn't have had that opportunity, I may not have learned exactly how much I wanted this. I wouldn't have, I would never change that experience for anything, never. Never. Uh, shut the fuck up. What went wrong with the contest? Sorry. Oh, um, no. The the big thing was that there was rumors that one of the people were um breaking the terms of service. One of the contestants that was in the top five um did things that they were not supposed to do. Um, but they didn't win. So that's like you know, we kind of figured that they wouldn't really care. They just wouldn't pick them if they happened to be in the top five. We were pissed because it would mean that they took a top five position from someone else who deserved it more. But, like, whatever. But yeah, it was a, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, always forget the eight pin or don't push the 24 pin fully in or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. 
I remember that. Um, an intense campaign. It was intense as fuck. Yeah, if you got competitive. Oh yeah, absolutely. Where are my buttons? I've got them on my um on my leveling tunes, but obviously I don't have them on this tune. Oh, excuse me. Wind Fury, that's what I want. Okay, so one, two, three. Um uh, I was just hearing this, no sleep, always on. Oh, hell yeah. Like, I, for the last three weeks of that competition, I didn't fucking sleep. As soon as I dropped out of top five, once I started seeing me slip, I was like, oh, you know, this should be fine. And then once I hit six, I was like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> nope. Fuck this. And it was just, yeah, I, I maybe got a couple hours sleep a night, if that. <laughs> I was, and then when I, like, I woke up the next day, um, I was, I was just so, the nut, like once it was over and when I just had that cry, like that really good cry, like not, not sad, like obviously we'd made it, but it was just this relief that it was done. <laughs> and, um, I didn't sleep particularly well that night. Um, but when I woke up in the morning and the button was there to apply for partnership, um, I did that and then kind of just collapsed on and off for the next seven or eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucked. I was so fucked. If you're in someone else was battling for fifth slot too, the other person ended up bowing out and I sent the viewers over to Yeah, it was dark. That was dark. Um and yeah, like Good lord, yeah. He's awesome. He's and he is he is like since then, he has helped me with so many little things. Like I, I've actually DM'd him a couple of times on Twitter, just being like, hey, I'm so sorry if that like if <laughs> if you're not interested just fucking ignore me for realsies but like can I ask you a question about this and this and this um and he has been so unbelievably helpful and just generous with his time and so kind with his advice and like he's he is such a good dude like such a good guy honest to god um if you haven't gone and like if you if you haven't watched a dark he's not he, like his streams are very different to mine he's quite competitive he's a very high-end player plays a death uh, death knight he's so good at what he does like holy fucking shit he's sponsored with bdgg he's fucking awesome but he's also fucking awesome as a human so like fucking hell go send him some love for realsies <laughs> jazz is such a legend jazz is always a legend jazz is always a legend uh, also clips of drawing hearts, etc. There are. There are. Dead said the first time I saw you was when Yori was watching you. I saw you with hearts all over your face and she forced me to vote for you and now I'm stuck watch I'm so pleased. I'm so- yeah, it was- it was really one of those things. It was like everyone was being that annoying friend, asking their friends to do the thing and stuff. Like, it was just beautiful. Even my father- do you guys remember my dad wrote a whole thing on Facebook trying to convince people to- to vote for me? And I- I read it aloud on stream, omitting my name, obviously. Um, and I just- I was crying. I was like- basically bawling my eyes out just reading these beautiful things my father had said about me and my career and stuff and now I'm getting all worked up again. It, you know, it just... Holy fuck. Holy fuck. It just the whole time was so emotional and so... Fuck. Like, oh. Yeah, it was a thing. It was a thing. I'm gonna clear all this trash now, I think, instead of doing it like I did with the, um, warrior, just because I'm gonna have to anyway, I think. Actually, no, there is trash that I have to kill, and that might drop, so we'll, we'll work our way back if we need to. Follow me. So, Vix did not spawn. Zural dropped a thing, and that's nice. Um, so we're heading to Saprish now. Uh, the council down with the rogue TikTok humor, sorry, fair enough. Um, Council of Logitech, Lord of Accessories. <laughs> awesome person and great. Aw, thank you, Tree. Thank you so much for your kind words. Um, for anyone who's jumped in Shadow recently, I'm seven minutes behind on chat, but I'm trying to catch up, I promise. That was when I watched your first stream. When this comp was on, oh, it was a time. So many people found me throughout that time. It was just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Just give the word, heroes, and we can begin the assault. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, a lot of good came out of it. Like a lot, a lot of good. It is a good day for our hunt. Doesn't mean I'd ever want to go through it again, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Figure out their motives <clears throat> and put a stop to their efforts. Such a good story. It's a bit of a long one. I know it's a bit of a long story, but um, it's such an oh, integral part of push you back. of who I am and how I got here and all that. Like it just. It's a huge part, and it will always be a huge part of my streaming career. It's like that push and and learning, learning how to market myself and learning how to post on different uh, social media platforms to to get that engagement, to get people to click that fucking link and vote for me, and what like all of that, all of that learning, and all of the um, all the connections that I made throughout that. Like even even my rep from like even the rep from Blizzard was DMing me on nearly a daily basis <laughs> saying, Hey, I have this person that I was talking to. Reach out to them and, and they wanna they wanna have you on their stream so that you can you can plug yourself and all this kind of stuff. And have you have you tried doing this on this platform? It seems to work really well for our our accounts. And you know, just all these little like oh my god, I learned so much. Like I learned I learned the power of fucking social media. And that's when I started, you know, looking into things like I use Buffer now to to pro, uh, program to schedule Facebook and Twitter. I, I use Plan with two N's to schedule Instagram, uh, both posts and reels. Um, and the posts go through to Facebook as well. And also to schedule TikToks, which are the same as my reels. But look, hey, cross-platform shit. Some people are on TikTok, but not Instagram and vice versa. Um, and just all these little like learning how, the importance of all that stuff and how to use it and things like that. It was all through that fucking competition. That pushed me to learn all this shit so I could succeed. And that has contributed massively to my success since. Massively. Um, so I I do not know where I would be without Firstly Blizzard. Um, like, you know, Putting me on the launcher was what led to the PR company reaching out to me and offering me the World of Warcraft microphone that I have, and then then reaching out and asking me to apply for that competition, and then everything I learned through there, like, it's just... Fuck, man. <laughs> I, I would not trade my journey for the world. I love my story, and it's mine, and I love it, and I would never change any of it. Um, cheeky job. Yeah, look, it was a, it was a whole thing. And I don't, I don't like shit talking and I don't want to like, you know, slander and all that kind of stuff is, is, you know, it's just, it's serious business. Um, so I don't want to do any of that, but yeah, there was, um, there was some really potentially shady shit going on in the background that some of us were really pissed off about, but you know, not much we could do. Um, hey, Anab. Uh, what race is this shaman? Uh... Orc. Oh, he seems like a genuinely good person. He is. Can vouch. Can vouch. It was such a cool feeling the whole stream in the last day. So much hype in the air. Everyone pushed so Oh, it was. <laughs> I did not know I had that much energy in me. I did not know I had it in me. And by the end of it, my voice was almost gone. I was just fucked. I was so fucked. Like, <laughs> so unbelievably fucked. Ugh. Oh. I can't wait for PAX to like to actually happen again. I hope it does. I hope that COVID wasn't like the death knell and that it doesn't come back. Like I, I really hope that they bring it back. Cause um. I shall always be one step ahead. Yeah, like so many of you have just been so fucking supportive over such a long period of time, and I just I feel like it would be fucking magical yes. to be able to meet you guys face to face. Nicely. Or, you know, mask to mask, depending on the situation. <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, it's, uh... Yeah. Uh, Fiamma Dad is good dad. Fiamma Dad is an exceptional dad. Just exceptional. Absolutely. 
We stand a supportive father. We do. We do. And mother. And mother. Like, I have to say, like, mum also pushed so goddamn hard. Every goddamn day. She was like, so I was jumping on Twitter every morning to give an update on where I was in the ranking and stuff. Um, and I was doing the same on Facebook because I'm like, sure, you know, I need to do something. And every day, every day, mum was like reposting my Facebook update to her own page and to her business page, getting her fucking clients to vote. It's like, it was just, yeah, it was a whole like, oh, I fucking love my family. I know that not everyone has a super supportive family like that. And I, I respect that. It sucks, but I understand that. I just, I'm, my family is everything. And the fact that I haven't seen them in nearly two years, just, <sighs> however, good news, something happy. Um, my mommy is planning on coming up in February because why not any other fucking month of the year? <laughs> Um, <laughs> and so, um, <laughs> and you never believe the serendipity she's coming up during Lovers in the Air. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck my life. But there's gonna, there's gonna be a couple of schedule adjustments, uh, because my family is everything. Um, family is definitely something that, that comes pretty damn close to first in my books. Um, so when she's here, I will, and, she, and my stepfather, I will absolutely be spending time with them. And that means that some streams are gonna have to be shuffled around. Usually I would just cancel the stream if it's a Friday, but it's lovers in the air, so <laughs> I'm not, I'm just moving it. Um, but it's not, it's not all confirmed yet because um, obviously the situation that we're in at the moment may change. They may actually decide to close borders and stuff. So, um, but yeah, when we, when I know closer to the date, um, everything will be in the schedule on, on Twitch. So you'll be able to jump into the schedule tab. Um, when like you click my name, like where it says about Fiyama, you click Fiyama and then it has like the tabs and one of them is schedule and you can click that one and it'll convert everything to your own time zone. Um, so some of the February streams are going to be a bit messy, like in terms of when they actually are happening. Then I'm going to try to be as consistent as possible, but there will be a couple that are not going to be like in line with all the other ones because they just can't be. They just, they just can't be. Um, so in those cases, I will absolutely kind of like highlight that for you guys so that you know when to be here. I'll be definitely recommending that you turn notifications on across all the platforms where I post that I'm live, which is literally all the platforms, um, so that you can like make sure you're here if you want to be here and not miss a single Love Rocket run. Sorry, Heartbreaker run. But yeah, look, we'll, we'll, get, we'll deal with that when we get there. Do that when we get there. Um, I think I joined right at the beginning or right before the competition. I don't even know why. It was so random. And that's okay. We love random. It's fine. It's fine. Like I said before, I'm not a fan of where I love to listen to the wide words. Oh, crumb. I mean, they're not always super wise. Sometimes, look, <laughs> sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying. But hey, it's fine. We have fun. And that's what's important. I think it was an amazing time to join. Oh channel absolutely i think anyone who kind of jumped in and stuck with us right before the competition or like throughout it it was just it was such an exciting we our, our viewer numbers like our viewership dropped off massively after that whole period because you know the competition was over and the like i got partnership and all that kind of stuff and so all the hype kind of died down and some people really love the hype and that's fine totally okay but i can't maintain that i cannot maintain that um, emote only, thank you. Understood. Um, you're not keen to meet you and Jazz, honestly. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm keen to meet all of you fuckers, like, seriously. Seriously, if we ever meet, I'm bringing you a big ass water bottle. Filled. I love that, X. I love that. Al Gibson, thank you so much for your prime sub. Welcome to the Fionati. I hope you're having a wonderful time. I am now, uh, only a couple minutes behind on chat, but I'll get there. I'll get there. Um... I'd love to meet you, but alas, I'm like a 30 hour flight away from you. Look, one day, Shibs, one day. One day. And I mean, look, never say never. Who's to say that I won't one day have the opportunity to attend something like TwitchCon? There's no TwitchCon in Australia. 
So there, there is, I'm never going to say, there's always a chance. that I, I did I did always say throughout the entirety of my, my streaming career, I've always said I didn't feel like there was much point in me going to TwitchCon without being partnered because there's not a lot for affiliates because there are literally millions of affiliates, whereas there's only, at the moment, I think there's only 60,000 partners or something, and not all of those people are active either. Um, so, like, it's... And there, are, there is so much behind the scenes that happens for partners. Like there are, like not lectures, but like panels and stuff that are partner only for you to like learn how to grow your brand and learn how to do this and that and the other, all this kind of shit to do with Twitch. And so there would actually be quite a benefit to me attending, except money. So, so, but hey, look, maybe one day I'll have an opportunity to attend. Never say never. Birthday, yeah. So my mum's birthday is in February too. In fact, of the of the seven of us, so that's me, my mum, my dad, my stepdad, my brother, my stepsister, and my stepbrother. So seven of us. Four of us are in February. Four of us birthdays are in February. So <laughs> Um, so I think, like, the plan was that- their plan is that they're gonna come up to visit just for a couple of days, um, but kind of close to our birthdays. Um, and I'm like, yes. She's like, are you working that weekend? I'm like, yes. Of course I am. I work every fucking weekend, mother, but I'll, fi I'll figure it out. Like, <laughs> I'll find a way. Because, um, seeing her after literally two years of not seeing my mother face to face, no, fuck that. Um, I will- I will move heaven and earth to see her. Uh, and of course my stepdad. Move heaven and earth to see both of them, any of my family. Um, but in this case I don't have to move heaven or earth, I just have to move a stream. So I'm good with that. <laughs> a lot easier than the aforementioned heaven and earth. Um, right, okay, so what am I at now? 9 out of 38. How do you feel? Oh shit, I'm on the wrong- okay, I'm like, why does that say 11? The voices 9 out of 38. Louder now. Good. Okay. More insistent. I can half. But they do Fuck the. Control. I'll get the trash stuff later. You asked me to teach you to use the mm. weapon. Is fear mama gonna get on stream? There is one stream over the days that she's here that would make sense. Like would be able to attend. Um. So she wants to come in and have dinner on Friday, a boozy lunch on Saturday, and then like breakfast on Sunday. Um, and I said, oh, you could swing by and we could do, we could do stream, um, on, like, Saturday evening after, after lunch. And she's like, is it a good idea for me on stream after I have been drinking? And I'm like, yeah, probably not. <laughs> so maybe, maybe we're not a hundred percent certain. Maybe. Uh, teach you how to farm the rocket? Yeah, look. Well, that's, that's what I'll be doing. So there's, the Saturday streams, like, I don't usually stream on a Saturday, um, but I will be if it hasn't dropped yet. This is the other thing. If if the if the rocket drops, then the rest of the rocket farming streams are cancelled. And I go back to my normal schedule. So <laughs> you know, um, so it'll be a little bit interesting to see how it goes. But um if it hasn't dropped yet, then uh, I absolutely will be doing um a, a heartbreaker farming stream on that Saturday. But only until I've done all 50 attempts. I'm not going to do a six hour stream every day. I can't do that. I don't think that my my health will allow me to do that, honestly. Um, so the idea is on my regular, my usual days off. So Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll start a stream. We'll do all 50 attempts and then stream will end. Regardless of whether it's been two and a half hours or five hours, it doesn't matter. It will finish when the 50 attempts are done. Uh, and I think that that's going to be the right way to do it for my health. Um, but we'll just, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. <clears throat> Should we watch much streaming? Yeah, Mario Party in March? Probably. No, I'm gonna, like, um, the Mario Party stream is uh, on, like, really high on my priority list in terms of scheduling February. But there are some other things that cannot be moved that have to happen in February. So, like, like, 
love this in the air. Um, so that kind of stuff will go onto the calendar first. <laughs> and if I have like when then I'm like, oh, look, there's a spot there. We can stick Mario Party there. Then we'll do that. Oh, um, Logu Grogu. Um, Logu Grogu. Oh, this baby. Um, when, when we were talking about this back in December, uh, people were like, oh my god, I want one too! If you want to, we're gonna do it on stream, we're gonna build him on stream. If you want to build along with me, I would advise ordering him pretty damn soon. I'm going to, we're gonna schedule it for the, for the start of February, so it'll be before Lovers in the Air. Um, I think. We should be done with 50-50s by then, so I'm pretty sure this will be the start of February. Excuse me, so if you want to build along with this, I'd probably advise getting your orders in, like, now-ish, so that it doesn't arrive late what, with all the delivery delays and stuff like that. Um, oh. But yeah, we'll have a load of Grogu stream. Because I don't want to leave that until the end of Feb, because that's like two full months since he was ordered and stuff, and I just... I'd rather do the thing. Right, so I'm on my Hunter which is now the lowest. Um, the lowest percentage is 15.79, and it is Seat of the Triumvirate. So <laughs> I just didn't do this dungeon at all. Like, I didn't need to, so I didn't. Um, effed up February, just got more effed. Oh, fuck you, yeah, Amini. You have, you have no idea. Like, I mean, you have some idea, <laughs> but like, there is more shit that is happening in February that I haven't told you guys about. You're such a diligent streamer and honest about your diligence. I try to be. I try to be because, like, the amount of effort that consistent streamers put in to their shit, like, into their content and their socials and their and growing their brand and stuff, it's not something that's talked about very much. And that's why you have this kind of thing that's like, oh, you just play video games and get paid. It's not that hard. Fuck off. Yes, it is. <laughs> that is not at all what I do. That is what you see me doing. But that's not at all what I do. Um, like, playing video games is is such a small part of what I do. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, a whole, it's a whole thing. So I really, like, I think education is super important, especially, especially for people who want to get started and they see success in, in people. Like, you know what? Yeah, no, fuck this. I am successful. They see someone successful in streaming like me. I try to be really humble with this shit and don't use those kind of direct words sometimes, but no, fuck off. I'm successful. I may not be someone else's definition of success. I haven't made $7 million, but I think that what I've done is, like, I think that what I've got here is a successful stream. Um, and so in order to get this, in order to achieve this, a lot of people may think, oh, that's really cool. She can do it, so I can do it too. You can. Be prepared to put in the fucking work. I work more than a full-time job on this stream more than 40 hours a week. If you are willing and able to put that kind of effort in, then fuck yeah, give it a go. But it's not just about the numbers either. Like it's not about putting the hours in. There's a lot of statistical stuff, like learning how to read your stats and how to interpret them and stuff is super important. If you don't like math, find someone who is willing to help you figure this shit out because you're gonna need it. Um, like, just all that kind of stuff is just so important. So important. Um, but yeah, like, it's, you are, you are capable. Unless you're not. You know, you know if you're not. But if you are capable, then you can absolutely do this. Just be prepared. Six years I've been doing this, and this is what I have. People go viral, and people get partnered in a couple of months. It happens. Not often. Not often. You need a special couple things to line up for that kind of stuff to happen. Anyway. Hmm. If I were you, I would only travel when it's safe to do so regarding COVID, but that's just me. Um, yeah. Thank you. No shit. I don't leave the house. This is why I'm talking about one days. <laughs> not, like, I'm not talking about traveling to America tomorrow. Like, fuck. Thank you so much for that opinion. Um, I figured out I love that sort of resolve. Love her honesty. No drunk stream. Look. It depends on how drunk she is. Um, the so the the biggest issue that both both she and I are aware of 
um, is that her, is her love of telling stories. Like when she's with her kids and when she's had a few drinks, she loves to tell stories about her kids. And I mean, like, fuck, why wouldn't you? You know, like I love telling stories about my mom and my dad. My benefit is that I can call them mum and dad and stepdad. Um, and sometimes when you have had a few drinks, remembering to call this human that you gave birth to 32 years ago and gave a name, remembering to call her by a different name when you're plastered is not so easy. So our concerns mainly revolve around doxing. Uh, <laughs> and being doxed by my own mother on my own channel would not be the most pleasant of experiences. <laughs> but it's okay, we'll, we'll be just fine, I'm sure. Oh, I forgot to update my numbers because I've just done this on a mail wearer. That's okay. It's actually nine of 38, which means it's not the lowest, um, but that's okay. We'll run it anyway. Um, I feel like watching a post breezy stream would be hella entertaining. Absolutely it would. It's just a matter of safety. That's all. Because I know you guys, like, you guys would probably just wipe it from your lines and move on and have a giggle and whatever, but not everyone is. Unfortunately, there are more malicious people in the world. And I'm sure that probably some of them may be lurking. Um, <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um, potentially, like, there is always a potential that we go and have the boozy lunch. And then, like, two or three hours later is when we actually stream. And so Champions. a bit of it's worked out of the system. Like, my system as well. Like, fuck. I'm not going to sit there being entirely 100% sober while my mum's having a couple drinks. I'll probably have a drink or something. Um... I don't often, but you know, it's a special occasion. Um, mm. But yeah, so it's, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Hello, Murray, how are you going? Welcome on in. Once it drops, you should ask Blizzard to put a second mount to the event with the same drop rate. No, I've got uh, plenty of other ones to get dropped, like the fucking Shah, which is one in 2000, same thing with um, Nalak, and same thing with Undasta. We have enough mounts with massively high drop rates. We do not need another one just yet. Need a Twitch poll for Will Heartbreaker drop today. Oh, we can definitely do that. And we can begin the assault. We can definitely do that. Um, the only problem is with that that um, like if it's a prediction or something. Um, we could probably do predictions, but it would have to be really fucking quick. Um, we'd have to do one for like every. Why can't I? One for every drop because the problem is like. Why can't I talk to you? What is going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that in a second. What is... Oh, I've just DC'd. Okay, here you go. Um. Are we good? We look good, I think. The box has gone green again. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened there. I think we dropped out for like a second or so. But OBS says I'm good now. Let's try catch up. Um, agree with your mum on stream, maybe. Oh, maybe. That'd take a while though. I'm making chat your Valentine. <laughs> Special secret in Feb. Saltor and my fave. Preach it, girl. If it's so easy, you go do it. Yeah, but I don't want to be snarky about it. Like. So you did when you stream every single night that you're playing. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I would say you spend more time off stream working for the stream than on stream. Um, not quite. Not quite. Um, I do spend, uh, most people will probably spend more time off stream. But, um, I think in December, where's December? Uh, where was the export button? Right, okay, if I do... That... Is that...? Yeah, so, um... Mm, 
My my total so hang on. So I streamed 124 and a half hours in December. 124. And in total I worked oh shit. No no no, that's not what I want. Show time. And in total I worked 184 and a half roughly. So I spent 60 hours off stream doing other stuff. So half the time I was live, I also spent offline. Does that make sense? So a lot of people do spend more time offline than they do on stream. I don't, but I, I stream a lot. Like in terms of most streamers at my sort of level spend a lot more time off stream doing background stuff. Um, but I, because my streams aren't as, I, rem I very distinctly remember early on, um, Somewhat like someone who was much, much larger than me looking at my schedule and saying, holy cow, I can't imagine streaming being live as often and as long as you are. I couldn't like the level of hype we have in my streams, that energy that I put out, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that for that long. But because our streams are more chill, they're more chatty, they're just kind of relaxed and, and conversational and stuff, I'm able to do that for longer and it better suits longer streams. When I was streaming for shorter amounts of time, my numbers were lower quite substantially lower so it really it really depends on the individual streamer and what they do in their streams it's so like oh it's so individual so individual uh married heiko bod cheerful low sodium danny i love your username channel and grubin congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit well done well done boss defeated 350 bosses annihilated. All right, we're gonna go for the skin chest and then the tokens. So we're gonna go here. Um, uh, thank you for the host, Josh. So many clueless people. There are, but I mean, there are, there are certainly things out there that I'm clueless about because I've never had the, like I've just never had the information. So that's why we talk about it because that way people get the information and then they can make informed decisions about what they wanna do with their lives and stuff as well. Because it is really important, like, if you're going to quit your job and, and do something full-time, that you know what you're getting into. Super important. Um, success isn't judged by money. No, it's not, but for some people it is. For me, it's not. Um, and that's it, but it's totally fine. If you judge money, uh, like, if you judge success by money or income, then that's totally reasonable. That's totally valid. Everyone's judge of success is different. So many to have raw talent, something viewable, be able to keep it up and think of new interesting things. Uh, potential for doxing by accident. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, look. Streaming, like anybody, anybody who has a PC and a stable internet connection can stream. Anyone. Uh, it is easy. It is as easy as downloading the appropriate stuff, loading up your scenes and pressing go. You don't need a camera. You don't need a mic. Like, you can just do it. You can just go. Like, it's it's that easy. But to be entertaining, to be watchable, to be engaging, all that kind of stuff, that's a completely different kettle of fish. It's a completely different kettle of fish. Um, be potential for slip-ups. <laughs> Doxing by mum would be a first, surely. No. <laughs> no, she's called me while I'm streaming and I've put her on speakerphone. And then she'll go, oh, oh shit, 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 no, fear, fear, fear. And I'm like, uh-huh, yep, sure. <laughs> like, it's yeah, well. definitely not a first. Luckily, when it's on phone, it's kind of, like, blurry, you know, audib audibly blurry enough um, that no one could really figure it out. <laughs> but no, no, mum has definitely doxxed me several times on stream already. Uh, I mean, her name is not Fiam. I've been living a lie. I know, right? I have, I have genuinely considered changing my name to Fiamma. Um, but, and before I say this, I recognize that there are exceptionally valid reasons for people changing their names. Totally valid reasons. This is my own personal thing for my situation. I feel like it'd be disrespectful for my parents, um, because they chose this name for me and all that kind of stuff. But again, as I said, that doesn't mean that there are not 101 incredibly valid reasons to change your name. Totally and unbelievably valid reasons to change your name. They just don't apply to me. That's all. In in my personal belief, they don't apply to me. 
Um, so yeah, nothing at all against people who have chosen to change their name for whatever reason. For whatever reason. Um, but it's just not a choice that I could make personally. Um, yeah. I reckon it'll be happening a lot. It does. <laughs> it does. I've stopped putting her on uh, speakerphone. Because <laughs> it just happens too much. Um, the only time she calls me during stream these days is when she's tipsy because otherwise she remembers that I'm live. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love her so much. She's just, she's a wonderful human. It's always accident. Like, she's, she's, she, I don't think she has a malicious bone in her body, that woman. I swear to God. Um, right. So I have in my chat box, I have the stream captain bot saying that we're ready for battle. And then I have Jas and Seeker redeeming hydrates. And then I have Chelsea redeeming a hydrate. So anything between there is lost because I DC completely. Like, stream cut out and everything. Uh, most cases, name changes due to personal safety. Yeah, sad to see someone go through situations like that. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Uh, it looks like it was only a two minute gap, but if there was stuff in there, I can't see it. I'm sorry. Like, it's not that I'm ignoring you. I, I cannot actually see it. It's invisible. Uh, most cases, yes. I wonder if you could add Fiamma to your middle name. No. No, not, not, I'm, yeah. I'm named for a family member. Um, I'm actually named for my godmother, my aunt. So no, I wouldn't do that either. Um, not, nor do I need to. Like, Fiamma is enough part of my identity without making it a legal name change to me. Just, just my own personal opinion. Um, I can see why others would, but I don't feel that I need to. Um, I think, like, there's gonna be probably one day, because I don't plan on stopping growing, uh, so <laughs> I'm sure that there's probably going to be a day in, in the future where I'm I'm listed so <laughs> where I'm listed somewhere as first name Fiamma last name and I think that's probably enough like that's who I am I don't I don't need a piece of paper from the government to tell me that or to tell you guys that I need a fully name change because of me being trans totally fair and I'm so excited and that's that's one of the multitudes of reasons that is totally valid for a name change 100% absolutely you got a legendary? I did. These are characters I did not play very much. Um, and I've got all my legendaries in uh, Void Storage on Fear, so I'm getting double ups. I'm getting them dropping again because they're in Void Storage and somehow the game doesn't recognize that I actually own them. It's really funny. Um, mind you, if you were to change it, your mum will still likely automatically revert through Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Absolutely. God, I, I would automatically revert <laughs> out of habit. Like, I mean, I've been calling myself my name for nearly 32 years. Well, since I was able to speak up until almost age 32. So, that, mm, that's a long ass fucking habit to break. <laughs> long ass fucking habit to break. That's okay though, I, I used to hate my name. But it's who I am. Just like Fiamma is who I am. So I'm not, um, like, yeah. I did feel like cutting off a foot, I think, trying to, like, changing my, my legal name would just feel like detaching a part of myself, and I don't... Nah. For, again, for me personally, I'm totally down for other people to do whatever they like with their names within, like, legal guidelines and whatnot. Um, there are, I don't think in Australia you can, you know, call yourself a number or a symbol or something like that, but, like, I'm, I'm down for people to do with themselves what they wish, um, and, and calling yourself something, like, you know, changing your name isn't gonna hurt anyone. Um, it's, yeah, it's, a, uh, it's totally your own personal choice. I just choose not to. And there's nothing wrong with that. Family has been calling my oldest brother his nickname for so long, it's weird to hear his actual name. Like at this point, I don't even know how he remembers to introduce himself with his birth name because everyone else around him calls him his nickname. I would imagine that he just introduces himself as his nickname. And so people, like, there are people who know him who don't know his birth name and they just think that that's his name. Like, I have, uh, there's a family friend of ours who, um, his nickname is part of his surname. And that's what I, that's what I knew him as for years and years. And I'm pretty sure I was like 15 or 16. They, like this is, this is a couple who purchased me a stuffed toy when I was born. That is how long they have been a part of my family's lives, right? 
Um, they, I'm pretty sure my mum and dad introduced them to each other. Like she was a friend of mum's and he was a friend of dad's and they, yeah. Um, but yeah, so they, like, they've been a part of my life since before I was born. And I, I think I was 15 or 16 when I learned that that actually wasn't his name. <laughs> that, it, that he had an actual name that wasn't this weird. Because uh, I remember thinking like, is that like, that's such a weird name. How did his parents come up with that? And mum was like, no, his name is this. And I was like, what? <laughs> it was, you know, yeah. So it's, I imagine that he only uses it when he absolutely has to. Like when it's something to do with checking his ID or some shit. Uh, wouldn't changing your name to a streaming name make it a lot easier for people online to find you? Potentially. Potentially. I don't know. I've never tried to find someone using their username online. Uh, anytime I'm random not family members are to refer to him by his birth name. Ah, right, fair enough. Interesting. I wonder if he's not super much a fan of the nickname, and that's why, like, his adult friends that he introduces himself to nowadays, he uses his birth name with. Interesting. Yes, the Mm-hmm. People online want to find you, they'll find you. Yep. And then we block them and report them to the police. Champions. Once the door is open, clear the way to Lura. We will be right behind you. Mm, really doesn't want to explain the nickname to people because it's a bit strange. Hmm. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, the if it is a bit strange, that might even lend to embarrassment and things us. like that as well. <clears> hmm. <throat> it is really interesting. Shiba has become so second nature to me, honestly. I hear Shiba more than I hear my name. Well, really, like, super early on, like, when I took a couple weeks off. This was even before I started streaming. Um, because I've been fear a lot longer than I've been streaming. Um, but, uh, when I took a couple weeks off for an expansion to, to level through that and stuff, and when I went back to work, there were a couple of times where I didn't respond to my actual name because no one had called me that name for... Like, weeks. <laughs> like, two full weeks no one had called me by my actual name. And so I kind of didn't click to it. Um, that doesn't really happen anymore, though, interestingly enough. Um, I guess maybe because I'm, like, because I work so much. I wonder if... Mm, no, because even when... Nah, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, ban them IRL. I like that. Well, fuck yeah. Like, that's 100%. Like, it's not okay. Like, it's it's absolutely not okay. If, if there is an online personality who has given you personal information about themselves, that is as much personal information as you are entitled to. And even then, you're not entitled to it. Like, you are, like, they will share more with you if they so desire. If they have not, do not go seeking it. It is none of your fucking business. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, like DMs like, oh, I figured out where you live. How do you feel? Good for you. Enjoy this ban. Block. Report. Whatever. Like, no. Piss off. That's not okay. Right. Um. But they do not control. Nine thirty-eight. Right. So I'm still sitting on nine thirty-eight because I didn't get any drops from this one. But. Shit. Okay. Um. Vault of Archivon on the Druid is the next lowest. Mmm, this is gonna be interesting. Um it seems my training is complete. Let's let's see how this goes. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um the people I know that aren't known by their birth name, it's because their birth name is typically foreign and often hard to pronounce. Yeah, that is definitely like there are a lot of people who who adopt uh, a nickname that's easier to pronounce. Or that they believe is easier to pronounce for people because they just a lot of the time I've like people I've known have just gotten sick of having to explain to people how to be how, sick of correcting people like which is kind of sad honestly but and if that's the choice that they've made to to go with something a little simpler then that's you know it has the potential to make their lives easier for sure super creepy wait people really DM you that oh fuck yeah 
Absolutely. People are fucking weird. Like, in, in some, sometimes in the fucking best ways and sometimes in the not best ways. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of people out there who don't understand that, like, it's like the whole parasocial relationships thing. Um, they don't understand that, like, just because I'm here and we have conversations and all that kind of stuff, this is, this is where we have our conversations. And this is where, like, we, we have that kind of connection and stuff. Um, just because we're in a Twitch, just because you're, you know, interacting with a, a streamer and getting along really well with them and having a whole lot of similar interests and stuff, that doesn't mean that they want to go see a movie with you or, like, have, have a, a private lunch with you or invite you to their home or, do you know what I mean? Like, there are a lot of people out there who don't get that. They, they have a bit of difficulty differentiating between that kind of relationship and a genuine friendship. Um, and it can make things difficult for both parties. You know, difficult for, for the streamer or the, the internet person because they're like, okay, I need to set a boundary. How do I stop this person from, from crossing that boundary? How do I, like, separate myself from them? Uh, and then difficult for the person who has pursued that, that potential friendship because there's a chance that they haven't interpreted signals properly or they, they genuinely believe that there was something there and now they're, you know, heartbroken, not necessarily in a romantic way, but also in a, in a friendship way because there was this person they thought they were friends with and now they're being told they're not, um, regardless of whether that feeling, you know, whatever you think about that, it, it's it's how, it's a feeling, it's, it's a thing. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's, it can be, it can be tricky. <laughs> it can be, it can be tricky. Uh, we'll manage to ship. Ah, fantastic! We'll be arriving till the 25th. That's okay, it's less than 10 days away. Wait, I don't know what time it is for you. It's about 10 days away! Um, what did I miss? What weirdness do people do? Oh, um, people who are like, oh, I figured out where you live. And stuff, like, by picking up on, on, you know, little things that I've offhand said about stuff. And they've kind of followed that through to figure out the location of my home and stuff like that. And it's like, don't do that. <laughs> but, um, you know, not everyone understands that that's not an okay thing to do. And as a, as a, an internet person, sometimes it has to be us who say that's not okay. Don't do that. Um, but, you know, we, we all do the best we can, right? Uh, even if you know someone IRL, you wouldn't try and stop them. Yeah, I mean, if you have a friend IRL, like a friend that you've met at, at the gym or at school or, or at work or something like that, if they haven't given you their address, like, it's not okay to, like, figure out where they live based on, like, little things that they've said that are not meant to be clues in a treasure hunt. They're just things that they've said, you know? But, um... Yeah, it's, uh, but then, you know, there are some people who even in that IRL situation would still do the thing because that's maybe how their brains work or they don't pick up on the social signals or they've never been told and they need, they're the kind of person who needs to be told that's not what we do. Um, it just, yeah, it gets a little bit uncomfortable when, you know, as a total complete stranger, I am the one who has to say that's not okay. Um... But yeah, it's uh, you know, there are there are pros and cons to literally everything. Pro, I meet amazing people like you guys through chat almost every day, and it's like the this has been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done in my life. Being able to connect with people all over the world and share experiences and stories and feelings and thoughts and, and opinions and just all this kind of shit and food well not share share like but you know talking about the food um all this kind of shit but there's also um wait am i actually i can't tell until i get there can i <laughs> there are also drawbacks like the fact that on the internet uh in fact you know irl not everybody is sane but on the internet, it's a lot more difficult to, to tell when... Oh good, it's Horde, brilliant. 
Um, you know, it's it's a lot more difficult to tell when someone's giving off those red flags until they gather them all up and drop them in your DMs. And then you go, oh, we have enough for a quilt here, shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it can get tricky, but, you know, it's something you just kind of learn to do, hey? Um, still here just looking. That's okay, Les. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Um... That's what the difference. Yeah. Oh, hello, police. Yeah. Yeah, I've, uh, I, let's say I am familiar with the Acorn website. <laughs> That's okay. It's, um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, if you live somewhere in Brisbane, correct. If he lives on my favorite continent, Australia. That's about all I know. If I could deduce where a streamer lives based on clues, I would keep that info for myself. Yeah, look, this is, this is the thing. There's like... I understand that there are people out there whose brains just do this shit. There are people whose brains are like, um, you know, what, what do they call them, a steel trap? Is that what they, like, for, for information? Like, they just retain the smallest little interesting bits of info, and eventually their brain spits out an answer. And that's, like, if your brain is something that problem solves in the background like that, that's incredible. That's a fantastic skill to have. But yeah, maybe don't go sharing that shit around. Like, yeah, I think that's kind of like, if, if your brain goes there and you do manage to figure it out, it's kind of, you kind of, you know, you look at it and you go, huh, and then you move on. That's, that is, you know, cool. Your brain did a funky thing and you figured the thing out. Fantastic for you. That is the end of that. That does not need to progress any further than that, in my opinion. Um, I think as a woman, Having experienced this before and feeling very threatened as a streamer, I can relate a bit and it's horrid, yeah. Yeah. Ooh! Ah, oh, that was a shared appearance. Never mind. What am I what is my number? 47 out of 227. What is my number? 47 out of 2. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. I think I'm gonna have to run like all the druids. Uh, I'm gonna allow that through now so you can just because I've just read that. Uh not to say that men or people who may uh, or people may not feel the same, just Felt very physically intimidated. Yeah, I absolutely. And of course, there are definitely going to be people who are not women um, who have felt similar ways when they've been, you know, when they've had this kind of online experience and stuff. And that's totally valid as well. Um, it's definitely not gender based. Um, but I can absolutely like, yeah, I it was not a fun time. <laughs> it was not a fun time. Okay, this is Arakon. Okay, what is... Oh, all the currency shit. Oh god, yeah, okay. This is gonna be fun times. Archivon, please give me something from this list of shit. One of the things would be nice. Literally nothing. That's fine. Totally cool. Totally cool. How many druids am I gonna have to run through before I get something from this fucking instance? Just out of curiosity, how many do we think? Um, enough red flags for a quilt. I mean, look, I read, I had, <laughs> I saw it as a comment on Reddit. And I'm like, I need to use that at some point. I'm sure I'll find a way. And hey presto, several weeks later, here we are. Oh good, it's Horde, brilliant, said no one ever. Excuse me. Is that actually new? It is! <gasps> 50 out of 227. I have got an unlock on. There we go. 50 out of 227. Oh, good. I hate my life. I'm going to finish this run and then we're switching back to the warrior to do a dungeon that I really don't want to do. Uh, a quilt of awkwardness. Oh, first pick off flag by the mud. It did, yeah, which, which is why I kind of read them out in order um, and then responded. Um, talking about red flags and you discovered winter grass was controlled by the horde. You're not wrong, Nab. <laughs> Perfection, eh? Um, fake ATT. It's fake fake news. Fake news. We'll buy a few appearances from Dal. Ah. Oh, yeah. Is that with the Marks of Honor, maybe? Uh, that's fine. Everything is fine. Totally. My brain is deaf to the puzzles of kind because it retains so much useless shit and it sticks a bit together. So I kind of inadvertently build dossiers on my friends and family. It will bring things up much later. And people go, how the hell do you know that? Uh, you mentioned it in passing a year ago. Yep. 
Yeah, that's fantastic. Right, okay, so that's everything dead. And I got a grand total of one thing out of the 227. <laughs> Well, no, I got, it went from 47 to 50, so there were obviously a couple of um, shared appearances and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to head on out of here, and we're going to go back to the warrior and do Cathedral of Eternal Night. <laughs> I am a sad. <laughs> oh, I am a sad. How do we feel about this jumping all the fucking all over the place? Is this, is this hard to keep track of, or is this fine? Um, no oh god, my brain is terrible at remembering stuff like that about people, stuff am I really interested in? I can't forget, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a little bit the same with like stuff I'm interested in. However, that does not mean that when a person I care about tells me information, like I care about this person deeply, but what they have told me is gone. Like, do you know what I mean? It doesn't, like if I've forgotten something you told me not 20 minutes ago, that doesn't mean I don't care about you. And it also doesn't mean I don't care about your situation. It's just that my brain has decided it is not as important as 70 million Simpsons quotes. So, <laughs> and that's not me making the decision. It's my bitch ass brain. So like <laughs> very subtle superpower and curse. Oh, I can only imagine. I like, I am now very curious as to what you have retained about me. And that's very presumptive considering you said friends and that's obviously like, you know, but considering you do spend a decent amount of time here, I'm kind of curious to see what your, what your brain has retained about me. But I also feel like that would be a bad question for you to answer in chat. So <laughs> also I might've forgotten half the shit that you've remembered about my own self. So, so that would also be a little bit scary. Um, mm. Mm, sounds like hypermesia to me. Go mm as -hmm. 100%. Um, probably a lot, nothing of concern. Of course, of course, of course, of course. Like I, yeah, of course. I just, yeah, funny things in my brain. Mm -mm. Six out of 28. I reckon I can probably do this on, which came first, Broken Shore or Argus? Ah, ah, oh, Murray, thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated, thank you. Broken Shore came first. Yes, awesome. So which means I should be able to do this on Mythic considering I did um, seat pretty well on Mythic. Um, what do you remember, PS? Please don't talk to me. Uh, be like, okay, new person. Their name's Dave, their name's Dave, their name, ooh, shiny, five minutes later. Hey, shit, what was the name again? Yeah, yeah, I, um, I try to do that trick where I associate the person's name with something about them or something like someone I already know or something like I try to do that thing. It doesn't always work. I also repeat their name back to them while looking them in the eye. Like, not like, but like, do you know what I mean? Like actually making eye contact and um, repeating their name back to them. <clears throat> It seems to help somewhat, but yeah, I, I was always really, really bad with that. I'm somewhat better now, but not, still not great. Still not great. <laughs> because everything about Fia, uh, she exists. Yeah, correct. Mm, how many times has that resulted in you going, oi, dickhead? Look, sometimes I forget Jazz's name. Like sometimes, you know, you know when you know something, but the, the connection in your brain fails for a few, like for 10, 20 seconds. There are, have absolutely been times that like I've been on stream and I can remember his name name, but not his, not, not Jess. And then there are times IRL when I forget his name, but I know that he's Jess. So I just, <laughs> it's like the both of us use our names and our usernames interchangeably. Like, Hi, the sun well. Okay, with the 
with the resub. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Ooh. We're two minutes 40 off a hype train. Uh, Lies, you look him in the eyes like that. You do that to us all the time. Yeah, but I leave that to a camera. That's really different. Like, super different. Try the whole association and cannot do it. All the ways people say help remember things just straight up do not work. Yeah, that's totally fair. Totally valid. That sucks, but it's fair. <laughs> oh, snap, I knew what you meant. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the thing, it keeps food cold. What the fuck? No, you know, the thing with the wind and the fire. Yep. Fucking love that clip. Call the squids by my husband, sister, other sibling before I get to their name. Um, my mum often calls me by my aunt's name, her sister's name. But that's also my middle name. However, she also often calls her sister by my name. So, so you know, it happens. It's hilarious. Ah, Kay! Thank you so much for the cheer. Much appreciated. Good evening to you too. Doubt fear, it's the same. Yeah, look. Go my ghost. Do six names before mine every time. Oh no. But like, look, they how long have they been around? How many names have they had to remember all that kind of shit? Like, oh. I I have trouble at 30 years, like at, at 30 years approximately. I don't I can't imagine how much difficulty I'd have at like 70 or 80. Like, like good lord. Sunlight. Murray! Thank you so much for the resub. Realize mine ran out. That's okay. Thank you so much. So generous of you. How goes the water date? Very well, okay. Very, very well. We've been getting all sorts of transmog. It's wonderful. We're getting there. We're working our way. Which means all the people who are loved are remembered and referenced when thinking of you. Exactly. It's fine. Hmm. Mm. That last epic, that last second epic bomber, amazing. We love that. I'm trying to dodge all this trash, but I keep aggroing because there's a fifty. My aggro range is so much wider. Three minutes left on the hype train timer. Unfortunately, it has to be three things by three different people, so it hasn't counted the double ups. Uh, the end of stream. Really interesting. Aw, thank you, Nab. I really appreciate that. That's so kind of you to say. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Or wait, I don't know what time it is for you. I again, memory. Uh, <laughs> but I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and that the world treats you kindly. It's midday for you. Right, so yes, wonderful rest of your day. Beautiful rest of your day. I mean, even if it's early, you still want to have a nice evening, right? Of course! Of no, definitely not. Only if it's midday or earlier. <sighs> I'm kidding. Of course. But, like, rest of your day... Like, I, yeah, I don't know. If if they're, if they're going straight to bed, it's like the rest of the day is over. There is no rest of the day, you know? All right, give me just a second. I've just pulled something because I'm a numpty. A terrible evening, but awesome morning. Correct. Exactly. Oh, dear. She was very specific with the rules for her kindness. Correct. <laughs> Faden, Drabs, Seeker, Dunno, Channel, Bod, Zam, Gruben, and Heiko. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Ooh, tier 20. Delightful. Ruthless, I love it. Indeed. Indeed. Kindness is reserved for those who bring me bubble tea at packs. I'm kidding. Fuck. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Honestly, as fucked up as it is, it is like super, super fucking dangerous <laughs> for people to like eat or drink stuff that random people bring them at conventions. You don't want to get roofied. <laughs> Still nothing with the fucking armored units. All right. Let's put a tank down. Let's see, here we go. Like, a lot of streamers I know who like have PO boxes and stuff have a rule that like if you send me food to my PO box, it will go in the bin. I will not eat it because it you just you can't like yeah, it's just too unsafe. Which is you know sad, but also it's, the world's a pretty fucked up place. You are not ah! prepared. Alenia with the raid and a party of 29 at that. That lucky number. My dear, how are you? Is this going to respawn or have I just completely screwed myself? There we go. How is your stream? Len raid indeed. Hello back. Um, if there's a meetup at PAX, I'll send money to have someone bring you water. Uh, I was just about to say you would not eat or drink shazies. You didn't see made by separate bartender type professional. Ah, oh, for sure. For sure. Like, I mean, bubble tea is good in a way because, Hi, like, someone. you have- Ah! Back! With the resub. Thank you so much. Many generous. Hope you're doing well. Um, uh, bubble tea is a really good one in a way because when you get a regular bubble tea that doesn't have like a ton of toppings and stuff, um, it has, it sealed, it's heat sealed. Okay, so it's an instant cast. I can't stop her. Okay, fuck that. I'm just going to ignore her then. Um, it's sealed. It's heat sealed on the top. Like they mix the drink, uh, they pop the ice and everything and they do the, the plastic heat seal on top. So if, if I can like turn it all the way around and nothing leaks anywhere then I'm, you know, it, it's sealed. I'm, I'm golden. But, because no one really, you know, brings a pocket heat sealer around. I don't think that's a thing that exists. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, mm, it's unfortunately something that you've got to really consider safety. Uh, let me get you a thing. Sure, thanks. I'll have that store-bought seal product thing supplied by a vendor, please. I will add that thing to Throne and you can purchase it from there. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, and, and again, like, as unfortunate as it is, but it's, you know, you want everyone to be protected, hey? <clears throat> not just, like, the person consuming the stuff, but then, like, you know, if they eat it and they get sick... <laughs> And then they decide that you tried to poison them and they try to, you know, they they, sh they can prove I ate this and I ended up in hospital and it was from this person. They clearly tried to poison me. And then your mem may be fucked, but, but something was like, you know, not right with the packaging already. Like, it's just... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, I need to clear the trash. Oh, it's just not worth it from any perspective to do that kind of... Like, it's just, yeah, so much safer to, to just do it the other way. We've been cooking today. Oh, amazing. That sounds awesome. What did you make? Tell me all about the food because I have food so I won't get super hungry. Nine freaking months. That is incredible back. Like, holy shit. Where's your this day? How about the cooking? Making bolognese, chicken soup and pancakes. Oh, God, that sounds delicious. Twitch, baby. Some pics on Discord. Yas. Can't talk eating pancakes. Yes. Agreed. Do that. Yum. Oh, that's wonderful then. That sounds delicious. Good job. Good job. Draw the press down. Second one's not working. No, it's just spelt wrong. It's a nom. Not a plural. <laughs> uh, so you can make a read of Tron, am I right? Ah, talking food, make a big pot of chili tonight. Oh, delicious. God, that sounds incredible. God, can we just can we just appreciate batch cooking for a minute? Batch cooking is the fucking shit. Like, it's so good. And once I do move, like, once I've eaten the house out of non-AIP products, I need to find AIP batch cook meals because I just don't have the time or the energy to cook all the time. Like, I just don't. 
I just don't. Um, so I would love to be able to have stuff that I can cook up, stick in the freezer, or the fridge if it's going to be for the next couple of days, and just kind of go from there. Gosh, cookies is the way to go. Just can't be asked during the week. Yeah, absolutely, right? Or like during the day. You know, if I'm at work, I want to be able to grab food and eat it. Maybe stick it in the microwave, and that's it. And so batch cooking is, is the way to do that. The way. Oh, shit. I just wish we had a bigger freezer. I've got a chest freezer. I bought it a few years back. I don't use it nearly as much as I could. Um, I have honestly considered doing something like Lended, you know, a cooking stream and just doing like a long ass cooking stream where I batch cook a month's worth of meals and just stick it all in the freezer. Honestly, I think that would just be amazing. If I could, if I were a full-time streamer, like literally if that was my job, I would absolutely do like a once a month cooking stream where I just cook up a month's worth of meals. And then I don't have to cook for another fucking month. Stay close. We shall carve a path like, why the hell not? You know? Uh, batch cook then eat it all in a sitting! It does, batch cooking does take some, uh, some willpower, that is for certain. That is for certain. Are you getting one? We don't really have room for it in the unit, but could keep in the garage or laundry. Ah, so I have a slot. There's, so where, where my front door is, it kind of, you come in the front door and there's like a cupboard there and then it like, so like door is here. Then there's like a cupboard with like sliding mirror doors, like my wardrobe. And then there's like a notch and then it comes down and there's the kitchen, right? And that notch is meant to be like a study nook. So there's a PowerPoint there. And I have a bookshelf, like a little bookshelf and my chest freezer and they fit in perfectly. And the vent for the, the vent for the freezer is on the side of it. So the bookshelf comes up to like here and then there's like this much of the chest freezer and then there's the vent there. So it's all perfect. It's amazing. I'm so lucky that I like that kind of allowed. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I was very happy with that. What a chest freezer turned into multi beer cake chiller with taps, AKA Kiza. That's amazing, Krazy. Well done. Well done. Look at you go. Two for the price of one. Content plus cooking done. Pretty sure we'd love to see it. Oh, for sure. For sure. Um, well, I've, I've, de I've said a couple of times when the dentistry's paid off, one of the big purchases I want to make is a new PC from Artesian Builds because, hello, I'm an affiliate and I haven't even gotten to use their goddamn products yet. Um, so that's what I'm looking at doing. Once I have that, I, like, I have two ways I can go. Obviously I can get rid of the PC that I have and try to use like whatever I get from that to help pay, like to help replenish my savings after having the Artesian PC done. Or I can keep it and I can either do a two PC build, like a two PC stream, or I can move this baby into the lounge room so I can, instead of using the Steam Link, which is starting to die, um, well, I use a, we use the Steam Link to play games on the TV, to watch Netflix on the TV, all that kind of stuff. But if I had the PC hooked up directly to the TV, I wouldn't need that. Um, and I could also use it and just shift it a meter and a half to be able to do like kitchen streams without commandeering Jas's PC for a full day because I felt so, so bad about that. Like that, I just, oh, he could, he had to play, he played video games from the fucking kitchen for a day. I just, I felt horrible about that. So, um, hmm. It's an option, you know? It's an option. There's a pick of the cooking results in food. Oh, one second, please. One moment. Yes, bitch, that looks amazing. Sorry, I use I use bitch affectionately here. I hope that's okay. That like that that yes yes yes. Um, <laughs> perfect freezer spot. Exactly, exactly. Fub nook. So, uh, where's the thinker, Kazi? Indeed. Totally not a drunk. I swear. No, you can enjoy something without being like addicted to it. It's fine. It's fine. So good, it does, it looks amazing. These crepe things you're talking about look boss, they do, they look so good. Yes. 
Media PC. Yeah, media PC slash ability to stream from kitchen PC. Like, I'm eating one right now. Delicious. We're keeping cooking streams. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Look, it's not going to be for a while. I still need it. Like, first number one priority is dentistry, as you all know. As you all know, but I'm working my little butt off. I promise I'm putting away everything I possibly can um, to, to hit that goal for my dentistry, but uh, we'll see how we go. We'll see. No steel PC. Exactly. And I don't, I don't want to steal PC, Jess. And that's why I'm trying to come up with other solutions to this issue. It's not a bad idea. Fear, no take candle. <laughs> Uh, saying what we're all thinking. I'm totally not looking forward to hopefully coming to PAX to have beers with you all, as long as you're okay with me making it a cider instead. Or maybe a cocktail, depending. And beer shall be consumed responsibly. Kitchen stream just set up, that's what I do. It takes an hour to do. Yeah, but I can't move my PC. Because of, like, just the way that my stuff is set up here, I can't move my PC. Um, also, my PC weighs more than I do. <laughs> it's a, it's, she's, she's a big and I, I could actually literally fit in my case curled up. Like, it's big. It's fucking big. Um, so I, we ended up using Jass's last time because his is a fuckload easier to move. Um, but again, he ended up with no PC for 24 hours because we had to set it up the day before to make sure that everything was fine. Um, and then, yeah, so it kind of sucked. And I, I'm sure you guys remember, we had to, like, I had to finish right at the end of stream and then Jas quickly packed everything down and moved it back so he could raid with you guys on the Sunday night. <laughs> it was hilarious. Ah, uh, same response to the squids are with responsible adult, not me. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, sold. An image of Jas wearing a cobalt suit. Oh, good. I can deal good. I took the CPU, PSU, and GPU from ATPC, shifted to a small form factor one at Christmas. The rest of the parts from the old build, new CPU built a media server PC. Yup. Yup. Uh, I found a good sour beer wherever I assist you to try it. Of course, like, I'll, I'll absolutely give it a try. As long as you're okay with me, you know, trying it out of your glass or whatever. Um, I 100% I will give it a try. Um, but, unless... <laughs> Unless I magically discover a food allergy before then or something, and it's got that in it, then I won't. Obviously. But... I'm of the mindset that I'll always give something a try. I just... You know. Who's <clears throat> in? An actual pick? Ah! <laughs> Bloody love sour beer. Remember, Jazz MVP, indeed! Indeed, what about one of those NUC PCs for the kitchen? What's an NUC? Brewery here in SA made margarita sour. Interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> Am I misremembering or is margarita the tequila one? Because if it tastes anything close to margarita, it will be a bad time for me. <clears throat> that tastes like tequila. No, because it's a small form factor PC. Oh, okay. Um, uh, right, so at the moment I can't afford new tech. Like, full stop. I just I just can't afford it because um, dentistry comes first. Um, second thing is, if I'm going to buy a new computer, it's not going to be so I can do different types of content. It's going to be to upgrade this PC because uh, this PC is older now. Um, it's getting there. It was, um, I think it's three-ish. I think it's about three years old now. Just a bit over three years old because I got it right near the start of BFA. So, um, and with the new stuff that I'm doing with stream, um, I would prefer to be able to upgrade this. Because if I buy a different PC with the intent of making it a media PC or for doing cooking streams literally once a month, it will put out how long I have to wait until I can upgrade this one by like a year or two at least. Um, uh, and the next PC that I purchase, I want to be from Artesian uh, because I'm an affiliate. 
And, you know, as as with most of my stuff, like I want to be able to vouch for, for I, I've seen them build their stuff on, on stream and they do a phenomenal job. And I've seen them help people put together their builds and stuff like that. And that's like, they do an incredible job. And that's the reason why I'm an affiliate with them without having used their services. But I, I want to, I, I want to be able to go all that way and be able to tell you, this is what my experience was from from concept through to watching the build on Twitch. Um, this is how long it took to ship. This is how much everything costs. Like I want to be able to give you guys that full rundown, like I would for any other affiliate program that I'm a part of. Um, and uh, they, yeah, that's um, yeah. Um. I would not recommend for streaming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can't do tequila. Even the smell of some hand sanitizer makes me want to yak just because it smells like tequila. Oh no. Sad beers can taste like almost anything fruity depending on what you're targeting. I'd love a good tequila. No one I know ever wants to join me for one though. Hey, more for you then. Hey, crazy. Bottle will last you longer, maybe. I'm not good enough for it then. Um, Got a particular PC spec in mind? No. I don't. Not yet. Um, it'll be a while before I manage to do something like that, as I have $23,000 worth of dentistry to get done first. Um, so I'm, I'm putting money away for that, and I'm, I'm saving as much as I possibly can to, to, so I don't have to get any, I don't have to accrue any debt, um, for the dentistry. If I do, I have, if I have to, I have to, then that's, that's fine. Um, I would rather not though, obviously, as I'm sure anyone would probably agree, I would rather get the dentistry done without having anything to pay off. Um, so I'm focusing on that. All my money, any any spare cent that I end up with uh, is going towards the dentistry at the moment. Um, once that's dealt with, then I'll start looking at a PC. But that's a long way off, so... Yep. Um, are you getting a freebie from Artesian? Not free. Not free. But not full price either. To me, heroes. Shield me with the Aegis while I tear this dragon from the shadows. You cannot withstand the power of the Legion! This is a fun game. You cannot withstand the power of the Legion! Look, I'm trying. This is not. <laughs> you cannot withstand the power of the Legion. Am I not supposed to kill? Ah, oh, the DPS is supposed to kill them. You cannot withstand the power of the Legion. <laughs> it me They're all just respawning immediately. Oh no, not all of them. Just some of them. The power of the Legion! 
Kill the shadows of Mephistroth during phase two. Right, so I just have to... But there are a million of them. My shadow blast comes from the shadow of Mephistroth. Ages. Indirect dealing damage. Hashtags. Kill the shadows of Mephistroth during phase two. I... Is this bugged? It must be. Cause like they just more and more and more of them spawn. So there we go. Good lord. It just lasts fucking forever. Understood. I hate that. Hey. Thank fuck for that. Ugh. Um. It serves those who fight for Azeroth. You're doing all right, Landa. How are you? I am a guardian of the Good Enjoy, Hendrix. We'll see you next time. The wrong job. All right, Hendrix. Since we go, mind where you live. No, I just have a lot of issues because I have genetic shit going on. I sense that the master of the Burning Legion. Thank you so much for telling me I'm not doing a regular job of stuff. <laughs> Um, given up on current content already completed it. A little bit of both, Cafe. I don't do, like, super, super endgame stuff. Like, I don't do mythic raiding or, or, like, even really heroic raiding. I mean, I've got my OTC, but, um, yeah, like, I like collecting. I'm a completionist, so, yeah. We all enjoy the game in different ways. Sure, let's do that. Ah, uh, so what did we end up on? To save hard this year to make packs. Master Skim Skim, long time rabbit, just invited me to his wedding at the end of the year. It'd be an epic year if I can afford it all. I can imagine. That'd be awesome. But you know, priorities and stuff. That's uh, definitely the way. Mmm, Sunday means Shazmark hunting. It does indeed. Never use ages. Oh, look, I tried that. Um, And the more of them I blocked, it just, they kept spawning. <laughs> more and more and more of them just kept spawning. But that's okay. Look, we got it though. It might just be a timed thing, which was totally shit. Okay. We're jumping to the Paladin. For the first time in a while. I'm pretty sure with Action Button, I did that. I did that. Mm. I had to die by being killed with the reflected damage. Oh, okay. But it said, like, in phase two, damage, like, deal damage to the thingamajig. So, I don't know. Look. Certainly very interesting. Usually on fear, I kill him. I just kind of one-shot him before he gets to that point. <laughs> so, I haven't done that mechanic in literally years. Uh, right, log out. Don't great keep it up. <laughs> Thank you, Jackal. Much appreciated. He'd Look, he died eventually, and that's what matters, right? Why does my doggo keep running away? I'm confused what doggo. <sighs> Her name is Desi. Excuse me. Yeah, not a problem, Josh. Have a great night. It wasn't quite the way I was supposed to be for sure. Yeah, something was not right. I think because I'm soloing it, it was a little bit funky, but that's okay. We got there. We got there. And it dropped an uh, upgrade. Dropped a, dropped a new piece of transmog, so I'm good with that. Dog event, I had three run away now. Hmm. Right, okay. Maybe you smell like cat or something. Um. Ah. Sniffles. Okay, we are heading for the underbog. But everything is now over 20% complete. The lowest is 21.43, so that's pretty good. My poor little giant viking. Oh dear. Try my mother this week, definitely a fan of both flavors. There you go. So if you like. Hmm. Okay. Um. Underbog, underbog, going to the underbog. Okay, 
maybe about a decade, really. What, weren't we doing the underbog just recently? Like, a lot. Well, you might not have been here for it, though. That's fair. Mmm, ball things interrupted Illidan's cast. That was mixed DPS syndrome. Mmm, okay. Gotcha. Well, there you go. Hopefully I'll try to remember that for next time. We'll see. No doubt you'll, like, maybe remember, remind me. No doubt someone will remember. Hmm. Sounds like a toilet draining song. <laughs> oh dear. I don't like the underwater pipe. Thanks for having to swim through. Wrong one. This one. <clears throat> Alright. I reckon we run it on heroic. Um, so the voice thing is still not working. Um, G Hub is still sitting there installing updates, so I think I'm gonna refund those. Um just because it's just something's wrong. I'll have to figure it out, maybe restart the PC. Holy shit. Oh wow, alright, so I'm Gonna start working through some of these redemptions. Holy mother of shit. Uh, I have obviously been neglecting these today. Whoops! Let's check. I'm gonna do a stretch. Thanks for the heads up. You're very welcome. I mean, if you had, I would have just refunded. Another no biggie. Um, but I forgot earlier that um, it, was, it was... And I was like, oh, right, I had a redemption for that earlier. And then I just checked it and it's still updating. So, look, we'll see. <clears throat> Redemptions? What kind? All the kinds! Oops. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm getting exploration XP. That's hilarious. <clears throat> have a bunch of stretches. Stretch. Something I have to do later. Um, just have to go from Wednesday rehab. Ah, oh, looks like an amazing, vibrant, and exciting recut. Devs want to rechop now. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Like honestly, it's um like it used to come down to like lower here. Um, I've had a lot of it chopped off, and the ends just feel so nice. Oh, it doesn't look quite as good like now that it hasn't been styled by a literal hairdresser. Um, like, she actually, like, blow-dried it and then curled it with a curling iron to get the kind of waves going. And I've got my fringe pin back at the moment because it's greasy. It's oily AF. And the, um, the, uh, oh, dry shampoo didn't quite do the job. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, it was... Oh, right, I'm supposed to be prot on this, aren't I? And then dropping Consecrate, I think, to get the AoE done. Is Fear a literal hairdresser? No, no, she's not. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm so happy with it. 
I'm so happy with it. Oh, we can do that. Uh, boop. Boop. Show me your emotes! All the little tiny pretty pictures from all your favorite places or just your favorite your favorite pretty pictures. That's okay. I would love to see them all. There's a belly. You have the first row, first talent row, third talent. Use that. I don't. That's a blessed hammer. Yeah, I don't have that. I've got holy shield. That's okay. I'm just dropping consecrate and everything falls over. Wait till everything's next to me. Press five. Everything dies. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Look at them all. Look at all those pretty pictures. Oh, they're awesome. Na, 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 na. Yep, no, I'll just check. It's a sound command. Oh. Dear. Okay, just a second. That one took a little while, hey. It's okay. Congratulations to Bod, View, Gruben, Dupe, Heiko, Fade, Channel, and Christian on all your bonus shit. Hey, I finally got my assists. Oh, thank fuck for that. Finally got my assists. So I'm gonna jump, no, into here. Collect that. And then I've got... Templars, five units. Uh, sorry, three flying uh, flying units. This is going to be fine. All right, we're going to turn emotes off. There we go. You are, you are able to use your words again. Thank you so much for spamming all those beautiful emotes there, guys. They look fantastic. Phenomenal. Cannot place a Templar just yet, but that's okay. I'm going to pop down my archer. Leveling her, oh, nope, okay. Getting her up to level 30. There we go. I was hiding in a bush. It seemed to work. Did I catch up on Discord from Weekray? It's totally fine. Someone makes an in the oven into a sound command. I know it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a clip. Oh, that's of course how you found it because you're watching the clips, right, of course. Um, Um, but I do have I do have two sound commands in my current redemption queue. Just saying. Those individual people will be notified when their sound effects the are done so that they can be the first to trigger them. Because I feel like that's nice, you know, that's a nice thing to do. too well with the underbomb today. Um, still 6 out of 28 and I've only got two bosses to go. I was just about to message you the Spider-Man made me all the little pop lights of this crazy Christmas. Aww. And loves what I did with Spidey. Uh, there is no for the horde just yet because it has not been redeemed. It has not been created by anybody. Okay. Um... Right, so, uh, whoop, splat. 
Uh, so I have another stretch from two hours ago. Look, I'm catching up. It's only two hours ago now instead of like four hours ago. Uh, and another stretch. Hello, Daz. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. Alright, um, I'm refunding pausing redemptions on the hydrates and I'm refunding 16 of them. So enjoy having your points back. <laughs> well, that cut down my requests. <laughs> um, posture check. Another stretch. Oh shit! Married with pets had to give me that scroll. Holy fuck, I did not see that. Good. Uh, fuck. Spending the weekend watching Vampire Diaries for the first time. Are you enjoying it? I hope you are. Oh, hello, Landa. Family World Safari. Well done, Fox. Well done. Oh. Right, so. Uh, married with pets. Jared, if you're there, let me know whether you would like me to use your gimme that scroll on this coming battle finish, or if you would like me to refund it to you. Because I, I imagine that it was probably timed for a specific um, battle. It usually is, but I, I may have fucked up. So let me know if, um, if you want a refund. I'm happy to refund it so you can use it when you want it. Um, or we can use it for the next battle. <clears throat> use them as night lights. Ah, cute. The Irish one is brilliant. Enjoying it, enjoying Damon too. He's cool. <laughs> oh dear. I watched it many moons ago. Many moons ago. Hey, is that actually too new? Yeah, 10 out of 28. Look at that. Bitch and you shall receive. <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake. I don't have to change characters for my next run, um, but it's Cathedral. So, <laughs> so we'll see how we go. Expedition Monday. Um, probably later on Monday, yeah, but I have other I have other mounts that are higher up on the list first, so I have to work through the progress towards each of them, and then once we get to an island mount, then we'll start doing islands. Um, that's all, yeah, that's uh, itchy. So, possibly, depending on how every, pro I mean, probably, considering how few mounts there are left that aren't, that are before the islands one, but yeah, I've still got to do those first. Um, all right, so that's it for that run, and it's now at 35.71, so my lowest is two, uh, still on Desi at 21.43% Cathedral of Eternal Night. So we're going to head over there and uh, cross everything. <laughs> Although actually, because I got some on the Warrior, that number might be higher now. Let's just double check that. It is cool. I do enjoy my mount on Mondays. Hmm. It's 8 out of 28. Yep. Which means that it's on 28.57. So, actual lowest is Piroa. So, let's jump onto the Shaman. 
it's Vault of Archivon. So let's jump on her and check the actual data, make sure. Do you have a planned time to put a team together to run the tour of Judy Achieves in Shadowland Zones at any point? No. No. Uh, I know it's something I should do before the end of Shadowlands, uh, but no, I have not planned anything around that. <laughs> mm, that's pretty explicit. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> mm, I, I have like little to no plans for any PvP, basically. Um, I am thinking about a few things, but overall, like, little to no plans. Just say them in when you do, of course, of course. Hmm. But yeah, definitely be, uh, that's definitely something I should pop on the to-do list, because it'll be held, like, it'll be held to get them done after, um, what's it, without, like, like planning to, you know, get a group of Alliance and a group of Horde to meet up in the same place um, and somehow manage to get onto the same shard and you know what I mean, all that kind of stuff. Um, that'd get a bit tricksy. Not that it's not possible, but it's um, it's definitely not as easy as doing it like now. All right, 49 out of 227. Unfortunately, it is indeed um, the, the right one. So we're gonna go Vault of Archivon. Uh, let's see. This way. Good! Doesn't people running them together during live makes it fairly quick, really. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, like, I don't have the, like, Najatar ones and stuff like that. Those are, those are gonna be tricky to try to figure out later, but we got there. <clears throat> yeah, Tour of Duty is getting a whole bunch of, um, honorable kills in each of the zones in Shadowlands to, uh, yeah. Technically, Winter Grasp counts. What? Winter Grasp, Winter Grasp counts as what? What do you mean? Oh, don't know. Upstairs. Okay. <clears throat> Will I get anything to drop on the shaman? Taking bets. All I need is like one thing to make it not the lowest anymore. Hmm. Is it even going to still be Horde? Is a good question too. Grasp Epic BG quest is 1500 honor and can be turned in in any zone. Only works once though. So you can cross off like your last one sort of thing. Alright, cool. It is still Horde. Wait. Ah, oh, shit. The battle's happening. Ah, oh, fuck. Does that mean I can't do the raid? I think it does, doesn't it? <clears throat> There's also only like three minutes left, so. Oh no, it's fine.
Here's Turo Duty account wide, and could you turn in the Winter Grass quest once in each zone on different characters? <laughs> so yeah, asking the big brain questions. Twenty one point five nine is my lowest percentage across the twelve classes. It's not bad. It's not bad. Actual new thing. 53 out of 227. Not the lowest anymore. Thank you, Seiko. Thank you. I'm so glad I got at least one thing to fucking drop. Ah, and now it's back to the druid with Vault of Archivon again. God damn it. The druid's already run it, so it means I have to do a different druid. At least I think the druid's already run it. Yeah. Oh, I think, hang on. Yeah, Vault of Archivon. Uh, Archivon, 404. Archivon, yep. Yeah. I mean, it's what I'll be once I'm done with this place. You can only do this once per character per PvP season. Hmm. I mean, it could be good to, like, tick the last one off your list, though. Like, hold it for the last one to see which one's the trickiest or whatever. Hey, Kerbo, how are you going? Welcome back. Actual new thing. 59. 59 out of 227. <clears throat> season PvP. Uh, season PvP 2 will end soon and season 3 for 9 2 will start, correct? Yep. And if we had known this back in, in season 1, we could have done it then. <laughs> Rest well, Squirrely. Thanks for stopping by. I know, actual new stuff rather than like shared appearances. How amazing is that? <clears throat> Look at all that shit. <clears throat> Alright, so... Cloth, cloth, cloth. Why, like, two of these pieces of cloth I don't have? Why could they not have dropped on fear? Like, fuck. Well, that's priest, so, you know, but whatever, still. Still, uh. And Emelon. Actually, I don't think I've done this on fear yet this week. Oh, true duty not account wide. Damn! Look, it would have been too easy, Jack. It would have been too easy. No doubt someone at Blizz HQ is like us and giggles while they think of all these loopholes and then tells their colleagues and then has all of them fixed. Like... <laughs> look, at the, look at this. This saved instances thing is going to look ridiculous when Lovers in the Air gets here. 
Nothing new. All right, we're gonna head on out of here. I can't do this on Phelan. The next is Volta Vagabond on a Druid, um, which is, by the way, at 22.03. So today our lowest when we started was 13 point something, and now it's 22.03. So I feel like I'm making progress. We're, we're getting somewhere, just a little somewhere, but somewhere. Um, so we're gonna jump onto a Druid to do Volta Vagabond. It can't be Phelan, so it's gonna be the next one on the list. And I don't remember who that is. And it has to be a Horty. Yaka. There we go. Um, hey Tessie, yes. Yes, um, I'm eight, like so limited. I'm not ATTing on all classes. I am ATTing Dungeons and Raids Transmog from Classic to Legion. Like I am, I've I've pulled a very like a very specific set of data from the add-on manually, of course, and put it into a Google Doc, a Google Sheet rather. Um, so it's very specifically that stuff, because I feel like the whole list is just too big. It's just there's so much stuff. Um, so this way, if I've narrowed it down a little bit, um, I have some incredible formula that uh, formula that Jack uh, wrote for us, which is just incredible. Um, so it pulls the, like, for each class, it pulls the lowest percentage, uh, the lowest percentage out of the whole column, all the columns, and prints what dungeon it is. But then there's also a little one that pulls the lowest from the whole fucking spreadsheet and tells me what class it is and what dungeon slash rate it is. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going for with whatever's the lowest percentage, um, which is... Oh, look, we're making progress. It, the number's going up. The The lowest number that it, what, like the lowest percentage is is increasing, which is really cool. Um, makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something. Uh, I don't think I'll be crossing off any dungeons anytime soon, um, but you know, it's, it's something. It's something. Um, 80, yes, that's the magic spreadsheet. It's fucking enormous. <laughs> There's so many numbers, so many numbers. That's nice, it's the most efficient way to do it. Look, it feels good to me because it feels like even if I'm only getting like three or four pieces of transmog in a day, I'm still making the, some of the numbers go up. Um, even if the big number doesn't go up by very much, the other numbers do jump by quite a bit. Um, so that makes me feel good. I'm just watching all of the viewers like boom, 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 increases the link got dropped. That's funny. Um, but yeah, it, it also makes me feel a little less overwhelmed because I can decide, okay, I want to target this class or I want to target this dungeon or I want to go with the lowest percentage. Like it, it makes it seem more doable from, I don't know, it's a bit strange. Um, my brain is just a bit like that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, and the best thing is you can use this spreadsheet too. Um, you can just, because it's Google Sheets, um, if you've got a Google account, all you need to do is under, I think it's file, you just go make a copy. And it will make an editable, because this is view only, for obvious reasons. Um, but you can jump on in and make your own copy to your own Google Drive, and then you can edit your heart to your heart's content. You can pop in your own character names for each of the classes, which have, should be pretty easily identifiable by the colors at the top of this, the page. You can put in your own numbers from ATT. Uh, you can delete expansions that you don't want to pay attention to, all that kind of Like, it's just, it's completely yours to customize if you so desire. Putting in the data is the hard bit. After that, you just kind of have to update it a little every so often, because um, sometimes, like especially if you're doing across all 12 classes, um, the um, if you get something to drop on a druid, it's going to affect your numbers for your rogue and your monk and your demon hunter, etc. So when you jump into a character, you may have to update it. Um, but like if it's saying, go do this, and you go, hang on a second, let me just double check that that number is correct, uh, and then and then move on from there. This is definitely still 50 out of 227, unfortunately. But 10 player has fewer, like a lower percentage than 25 player, which is interesting. But 25 player, I'll get more pieces to drop, so no. And they often share appearances, I think. Don't they? Yeah, 10, 25, yeah, it's, it's fine. 
Mm, speaking of, where's raid difficulty? 25. Um, I know you're super busy. Did you get a chance to check out the Titan spreadsheet? I, I looked at it and went, oh, cool. And then had to keep going with the rest of the emails that I <laughs> had. I haven't had a chance to actually experiment with it, but I love the way that it looks. I think it's really fucking cool. And I think that uh, Mrs. Helix has done something incredible with that sheet. It looks really fucking awesome. Um, but yeah, I haven't had a chance to actually play with it yet just because I've had too much else on my plate. Um, but yeah, I, I really, and I do have it sitting in my inbox still, like it's still there. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So like the way that I remember not to, like if I if I have an email that I've like responded to or something um, that I, I want to, like I need to hold on to because I'm like waiting for a response or I want to refer to it later or something like that, I like use the star in Gmail. Um, and so I have it starred so I don't delete it accidentally. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's how I know I shouldn't delete shit. I, it's cause it's starred. Um. This beautiful cat helping. Huh? Wait, hang on. Source 29... What is this? Hang on. It's given me stuff, but I think it was a duplicate. Trousers of Triumph. That was definitely a double up. That's cloth. Plate. Mail. Okay, so it was just the one. It just says, like, because it says Source 23295 were added to your collection, and then Rune Totem's Trousers of Triumph were added to your collection. So I, I'm not sure why it has the Source one. That, I don't know. It's confusing, but it's fine. All I know is that I didn't get any more numbers up here, and that's what's important and sad. <sighs> Prop is my cat. Ah! Cats helping make the tan. Oh, I saw that. It's so cute. Thanks for helping with the loom. It's probably a nice texture to lie on or something. It's super cute. Super cute. the source it's just the item idea to have trouble loading the item quickly yeah but it had two lines for the one piece being added that was what confused me jack because it had source and then it had a separate message that had the item name in it as well so that was that was why i was a bit confused i was supposed to check on cd uh i don't i don't know i had a posture check four minutes ago and i have a stretch There we go. <clears throat> two bosses left to give me something. Just one, one thing between the two of you would be lovely, but more would be very welcome. This one? Oh, that was new! Hey! Alright. 53. Nah, oh, shit. Where's the... I keep having numlock on. <laughs> hey. Ooh, and the next one on the list is not Vault of Archivon. How long have we got on the battle? Four minutes. All right. We'll see how we go. Um, it might honestly take me that long to get the next tune out to where it needs to go. So we'll, we'll see. The next one is Shaman Shadow Labs. So look, we'll see. We'll see. Let me grab this one, because... Oh. On. Something new. Fifty-three. 
57! Magic. All right. I'm gonna send them back to the garrison. And we've got slabs on the shaman, but we'll see how we go. This is our last battle, so once the battle's done, we'll be done. <clears throat> and my posture is fine. My posture is fine. It must be on like a five minute cooldown or something because um, like what's the point in checking my posture twice in five minutes? That makes sense. It's just me. Mm -hmm. I was just testing what Jazz said. Of course, of course. It was when he said it, yeah, because it was only the, the prior one was only four minutes before. So it makes sense. Makes sense. Late to shit, that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Shadow Labs twenty two point two two. That's not bad for like our lowest percentage. Fucking typing slab into fucking Zygor. No, that's not what it's called, Fia. Good lord. When do you want to come off cooldown to search your posture? Was okay in that five minute block. Thank you, too. Thank you. 15 minutes before she starts sliding left you. Just a little. Just a little. Ooh, I need- I've got transmog from the quest in slabs. That's kind of cool. What's the quick way to kill shit as a- as a shaman? Like, is there any AoE kind of instant car shit that they have? Just with that reference. <laughs> Me too. It was a reference to my own fucking- yeah. I understand those ones usually. Not always, though. Just usually. Oh, okay. There we go. That's all right. You're not gonna, there we go. Random question. Twitter seems to think that Azeroth is going to get another revamp. How many people here agree slash disagree? Okay, so first thing, If you are referencing spoilers, this is where the conversation finishes. Just just putting it out there. If it does not reference spoilers, define revamp. What do you mean by revamp? Like, cataclysm levels of fucking shit up? Or Shadowlands in like terms of squishing and adjusting shit? Or like, what what do you mean? What what does Twitter mean by a revamp? But yeah, the first thing is, if it references spoilers, do not answer. That is the end of the conversation. Yeah. <clears> hmm. <throat> spoiler, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Um. Like what happened to Azeroth and Kato? Getting the Fab Five in to redecorate. Oh dear. Um. Like what happened in Kata. Honestly, I don't... I don't think so. Not EK and Kalimdor at the very least. Um, there are still... So, 
Cataclysm was an opportunity for Blizzard to revamp Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor and use what they had learned about zone design and quest flow and all that kind of shit to fix their early mistakes. It's the like um, for a very long time uh, there was a there was a thing called the Kalimdor mistake uh, because of things like the Barons um, being this enormous zone and a whole big chunks of it had literally nothing in it um just a handful of mobs that were used for a single quest and stuff like this it just it was big open spaces flat open spaces with nothing to like break up the, it, i understand that it's modeled off real life places and stuff like that and that's fine but this is a video game and video game is not real life um so cataclysm was a chance for them to fix some of those mistakes those mistakes have been fixed through cataclysm um so I don't think that they would go back and do that again for EK and Kalimdor, uh, simply because it has been done. It's been done. Um, there are, like, those those mistakes still exist in BC and Wrath. Um, there are, like, Wrath was an improvement, but there are some huge, like, look at fucking Hellfire Peninsula. There are some massive areas of Hellfire where you have to run for minutes to get from quest hub A to quest hub B when you've got a breadcrumb quest. Um, and it's just, it's not, it's not that it's poorly designed. Ah, oh, Jackie with the resub. Thank you so much, love. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, it's not that it's badly designed, but it's not as well designed as some of the more recent zones. Um, so, however, that being said, there's not a whole lot of reason to go back and, and tweak Outland. Like, unless they're sending us back to Outland for an expansion, like, what's the point? There, There isn't much of a point to completely rejig that whole um, continent or even just zones within that continent. There isn't a whole lot of point. Um, the only reason that they'd spend manpower and time and money and etc. is if it was going to be used in current content. Um, and we don't know whether that's going to be the case or not. So, look, I wouldn't... I'd, as with everything in World of Warcraft, never say never. Never say never, but they'd have to have a damn good reason to do it. They'd have to have a damn good reason to do it. And I, from my perspective, don't see one. But that's not to say that there isn't one. It's just that me, with my limited knowledge, can't see one. Um, what's Twitter? <laughs> what happens in Baron's chat? It stays in Baron's chat! Uh, man, I hope you're well. I am. Thank you, Jackie. I really loved that about HFP, though. It made, f it made flight feel well earned. Yes! But it didn't feel good while you were earning it. And that's the whole, like, WoW recently has been very much for the new player. Um, it's very much for the, like, the new player experience. And a lot of newer players, like, they expect to earn things faster. Um, in more immediate, like, the gaming, the gamer generation has been conditioned to expect rewards every time you do anything. Um, so having to work for something is very much a 10-year-old concept. Um, as in, like, 10 years ago, not 10-year-old as in a human that is 10. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's fair. I think the thought of Azeroth being so old now is why people are questioning it. Hey, oh, yeah, for sure. But it's not that old, though. That's the thing. It's only as old as Cataclysm. Some zones, yes, absolutely, are as old as Classic. Um, but they weren't touched because, like, even like even some of the zones that were touched in Cata weren't involved in the, the Cataclysm level. Um, you know, like, Barons being split in two. There was some quest chain there. Um, thousand needles being flooded that kind of stuff like but anywhere that didn't like not everywhere that was touched had a quest chain for max level players or on their way to max but the other places weren't touched for a reason they didn't feel that the I, I believe that they didn't feel that the manpower was worth being spent there because they've got finite man hours and they have to spell it they have to spend that where it's gonna make them a profit <laughs> like it's gonna make them um, you know if if if, if they've got 50 man hours, it's either, you know, do we remake uh, fucking... Oh my god, I can't remember the... One moment, please. Name of location, please. It's in Kalimdor. Winterspring! Do we remake Winterspring? Or do we make a new dungeon? Or polish all of our dungeons, you know, do a polishing round with those fifty hours. Like, what do we do? It's gonna, it's gonna be what makes them the most money. Um, so yeah, I, I don't see them redoing stuff unless it's going to be involved in storyline. In which case, fuck yeah, absolutely. Um, those zones now are older than they were when Cal was revamped them. 
Those ones are now older. Yeah, and the, re the revamp was definitely needed. You're absolutely correct. Yes. Um, Kata was still 2010 ago. I know, but like, again, it's it's a man hour thing. It's a, it's a time and money, you know? <laughs> Is it worth it to them? If it's involved in storyline, yes. If not, no. And if it is involved in storyline, is it something that we can send a player to an instanced version of and tweak that map to suit our purposes? Or do we need to re like tweak the map as it is in the world where everyone can access it? There goes my phone. So yeah, it's, um, and that's a question they have to answer because that's their job. <laughs> Lots of them. Anyway, uh, Faden, Seeker, Grubin, Dupe, uh, Hanu, and Drabzi, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Bye, phone. Yeah, he's on the floor now. Here's a floor phone. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, can you uh, can you not be less so logical, please? What would you like to see? Um, what would I like to see? Is that a question or are you laughing? I'm confused. Um, if it's a genuine question, what would I like to see? I don't know. I don't know. If they were going to spend man hours going back and fixing or tweaking old world content, I think that it would affect more players and therefore be more valuable to them to go back and do things like adding skips to raids that have bosses at the end, things like Siege of Orgrimmar. Um... I think it'd be more valuable for them to do that than it would be for them to redesign, for example, Winter Spring. Um, if if there is no current questline involvement. If there is current questline involvement, obviously there may be some tweaks that need to be done and shit like that. But if if it was not, if, if there was going to be zero effect on current content, like 9.3 or 10.0, if there was going to be zero effect on that content... I would. Pre I think it would be more valuable for them to spend that man out to spend those man hours on, um, make it like quality of life adjustments rather than entire zone redesigns or tweaks or whatever, um, because more. I feel like more players um, do old raids and do completionist collectible shit than players go back and RP in. Uh, in open world zones or just explore or, or like, I mean, some people might mine or herb or something in old stuff, but redesigning a zone doesn't do, do much for them. Um, it just makes them have to change their route a little bit, potentially. Um, whereas it would make a huge quality of life difference for collectors to do skips and shit. But I would far prefer them to spend that man out, those man hours on stuff that would affect storyline content or affect current content in 10 zero. Yeah. In terms of what I'd like to see next expansion, no fucking clue. I would like to see a completed thing that has polish and is fun and makes me cry with the storyline. Tears is good. Like fucking Ardenweald. Oh my God, man, it killed me. That shit was phenomenal. Fucking for like from the moment I realized who I thought it was, I wish I wish those vods were still available. Um, I don't think there were any. I don't think there were any clips of it. But from um, there was there was a particular moment, not the first time we went into the tree stump to see the seed, but I think it was like the second or third time we went down there to help it. And there was just one little comment because Jas and I obviously were in we're in voice comms, and I was dressed up as Sylvanas and all that shit. Um, I think we were in Ardenworld on day one. I'm pretty sure we were because I think we wrapped up in Revendreth on day one. And then, um, and I just kind of went, because they're like, you know, who, who, who is, like, we know this person who has died recently and all this kind of stuff. And I just kind of went, oh my God, is it blah, blah, blah? And it just, it, it just, everything caught in my throat. And I'm like, oh my God, they can't do that to me again. No fucking no, they can't. They cannot do. And then as every single, and I'm like, fuck me, fuck me, fuck every, and I was choking up reading the quest text and everything. And then it all happened and I just lost it. I was bawling my eyes out. It was so, so fucking good and I hate them for it. That's the kind of shit I want in Ten One. I don't give a flying fuck what the storyline's about. I want that, those feels. I want those feels. Um. <clears throat> um. 
Also a genuine question. Uh, Katie really needs another dungeon. I mean, setback. <laughs> oh my god, would like to see Northrend revamped. I don't think there would be a reason to do it. Post Shadowlands shattering of Northrend would actually like Northrend icy like ice crowns specifically could absolutely be affected post Shadowlands. Absolutely, it could. Um, there would be a there would be a solid reason for them to do it. It's just a matter of whether or not they like whether it's worth their time to do it. Um, um, could be a Wrath Classic, yeah. It would like be likely to have Nomo. I haven't done Ironwood outside of the straight storyline. I'm pretty sure that was part of the straight storyline. The whole the seed being like, yeah, the whole Ardenwield storyline was around that seed, wasn't it? Ardenwield guys, so I'm so I fucking Oh my god. Hit me issues when you're at. Um uh, hit me twice though. You know, it's been over a year, right? Is that that's is that like the fair game for spoilers? Kind of thing. It's been over a year since Shadowlands was released. Yeah, yeah, okay. So they hit me twice though, because I just done the Legion chain for Yasera on another tune the day before, and they both cut me up. Yeah. I think you should have had to see it to be max level. I think it's fine. Yeah, okay, agreed. So yeah, um, the the seed, the 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 seed that was Yasera basically. And as we, uh, we, we turned in a quote, I read the whole thing out and they're like, you know, talking about someone, you know, you know them, they have a really strong connection. They're responding to you, blah, 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 blah. And as we were coming up out of the ramp, I kind of said, oh my God, could it be a Sarah? And Josh just went, oh, and I'm like, no, because of course your Sarah died. And I, 12 characters, I leveled through Legion. 12 and I did not skip that cutscene once not once every single time it broke my heart every time and I, I not once did I skip it so then like no and then you know the next quest and the next quest and it just kept like and I'm like this is this is Ysera this is fucking Ysera and after we saw in the cut in the the trailers and stuff we saw what happened with Ursok and that was heartbreaking but then the possibility that we didn't kill you, Sarah. <laughs> oh fuck, I just, oh my God. Like it just, it was so goddamn emotional. It was beautiful and I loved it. And, and then like ha for doing the fight from her perspective, having to swipe us all off and all this kind of shit. And then just that whole thing of like her being reborn. I was, I, I was bawling my fucking eyes out. I could barely read some of the last quests because I was choking up. Like, like when we were doing the kids we were and I was kind of like, oh, I was a fucking mess. <laughs> I was such a mess. Those feels. Oh, I'm pretty sure Taryn jumped in around that point as well. And I'm like, fuck you, Taryn. How could you do this to us? And he's just like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, she of the dreaming. Yeah, I lost it so hard for Ursok. Yeah, mm hmm. My bit Ur Ursok so damn dirty. Same, it just, ah, oh, it was everything. Hello, Stiletto, welcome on in. But yeah, that's what I want from Tenno. I don't like fuck storyline and, and setting and characters and all that. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me so much. Like I will, I will play through what they give me. If I enjoy it, then I'll keep playing. And if I don't, I won't. It's as simple as that. Um, but th I want to feel, I want to feel that's, that's what I want from Tenno. Alrighty. And no spoilers, of course, until we fucking get there. You bet your ass I'll be avoiding fucking everything. Uh, <laughs> um, let's have a squiz. Where are we gonna go? Uh, look, it's been a while. Let's go. Yeah, it's been a while. Let's go here. A lot of y'all will already know this wonderful cat. Yes, I'm aware, phone of the floor. Shut up. Ugh. It's my phone yelling at me. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, most of you will probably know this lovely cat. Um, we're gonna... <laughs> Thank you, Shiba. Thank you, Shiba. All right, let's jump over here and pop this on. Uh, so, tomorrow, 
The 17th of January is Mount Farm Monday. It's going to be fine. We're definitely going to get a mount. I'm sure of it. Fucking positivity, bitches. Uh, <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday, we have Chef Squad, and I'm so fucking excited. I'm so, 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 so keen. You do not need to have anything installed. All you need to do is rock up. Come to stream, jump in the kitchen with me, and it's going to be fucking ballistic. It's going to be great. I hope you'll join me. To, on Friday, we're going to do some Wrath time walking. I'm going to go through as many characters as I can to try to get those 500 badges on as many characters as I can. Um, uh, the reason we're not doing 50-50s is because you'll see that asterisk, and the asterisk means on Saturday the 22nd, which is this coming Saturday, uh, we are going to have our 50-50s marathon stream, 12 hours of leveling goodness. I hope that you'll join me for that. Um, and then back around, of course, to Sunday being another transmog hunt. I'm not sure if we're actually going to hit the 50-50s on Saturday because I don't think I'm going to have any time to catch up this week, but we'll see how we go. It'll be fine. Yes, fine, sure, whatever. Um, yeah. There we go. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you've had a lovely day. I certainly have. We've made some decent progress. I've gotten some new things and we're doing it across 12 tunes, 12 classes now, rather than just fear. So that's fucking exciting. The minimum on fear is 70%. What the fuck? And, uh, and the minimum across the board has raised from a 13% to a 22%. That's ridiculous. Like, holy shit. This is great. I love this. Excuse me. Um, Get your water bottles ready for that to a I'll oh, just refill this one. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, clip that, please. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Please, for the love of fuck, follow me on all the socials. I really would appreciate it. It would be great. <laughs> and I'm going to see you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time for mountain farming shenanigans. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys.